Hey guys, Fia back at it again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 16th of May 2022. It was Monday. It was Mount Farm Monday. It was very enjoyable. Uh, I will let you see what did and happened and stuff. Uh, if you'd like to catch us live, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. You can tack a slash schedule on the end of that if you would like to see when I'll be going live converted to your time zone automatically. And if you'd like to catch me on some other platforms, Excuse me, my goodness, I have the bubble tea and it's, look, anyway, um, <laughs> you can catch me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, we have a Discord and all of those links are down in the description box below, along with a couple of affiliate programs if you're looking for gifts for yourself or some loved ones anytime soon. But anyway, enough about me. Please enjoy the VOD and hopefully I will see you in chat next stream. Hello. I'm here, I promise. Oh, how are we all? What's going on? Uh, this one. Ooh, gold chest. Who wants some bonus gold? I want some bonus gold. Um, ages. Age. Bonk. Good. All right, place your units, do the thing. And uh, we're gonna head over to... Um, Hi, called? the sun well. Chaos! Gifting two subs! How generous of you. Hang on, I think there's more notifications. Give me a minute, let's... Hi, the sun well. Let's catch up on chat. How generous of you. Uh, where am I going? I've forgotten. Uh, top right, because I've got like one, one thing left to get. Well done, X on first. All of the hydrates. Fantastic. Uh, enjoy your luck. We will have a wonderful stream. Wish you were here, but that's okay. Time zones are a bastard. Uh, congratulations on last chaos. Uh, Demis tried to grab first, but that's okay. Mount Farm Monday's the best day. I'm so glad you feel that way. It is great fun. I enjoy it myself. Um, Tall Barred. Tall Barred. I know that there's more than just the like. I need more than just the amount. Um, so we're gonna do all the quests because um, oh, why did that not? Oh, it doesn't work from there. That's interesting. There you go. So I do still have a tabard, which is 40, and a staff, which is 80 bloody five. Plus, I'm sure there's other transmog and stuff I don't have from it yet, but that's all right. So we're going to do a whole set. Um, no, I'm not going to bother with that. And then here. Loktar. And then here. Brilliant. Um, everyone see stream luck actually works today. We will indeed, Panda. We will indeed see you. Hello, Tan. Also here, indeed you are, LK. Welcome back. Good afternoon, Crumb. Oh, captions. Crap. I always forget something. Testing. Sure, close enough. Um, and it chaos with a gifted sub to Crumb. So generous of you. Amazing. Congratulations, Crumb. Hello, Rel. Hey, Josh. Hey, Silva. And then thank you very much for the generosity of two additional gifted subs, Chaos. So lovely of you. Hey, did you beat BRD? Pet Dungeon eventually gave it a try. I didn't manage to complete it sadly. I did, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, Zufu's Pet Battle Strategies. It's wow-petguides. Dot com uh, has like massive amounts of alternative strats and stuff you can use. You do need a decent collection of pets because uh, obviously you can't heal any of them in the hard mode of the dungeon. Uh, but yeah, it's it's very 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 possible. Um, you just gotta get the right teams together. But yeah, that website will help you with that. The makeup and hair. Thank you, Chaos. I'm pretty happy with it too, honestly. Pretty happy with it too. Good afternoon, Seeker. 
husband isn't reading, can't log on properly yet, can learn all about mod on mobile. You can indeed. <laughs> yeah, I, it's not... Look, the mobile app is uh, just a touch restrictive, but that's fine. That's fine. We make do with what we've got, don't we? We make do. Is this thing so, so in a more awkward way? Yep, basically. Basically. Uh, I'll be looking for a bit. I'm starting to prep dinner. Delicious. Enjoy. Have fun. Hello, Sheba. What is up? What is happening? Um. So there's a few gifties earlier. Wonder if we're in hype train territory. Uh, no, because it was all from chaos. Um, hype trains require three actions from three separate people uh, in order to trigger. So you'd need two additional people um, to to do stuff and things uh, like that. I, there's there is a minimum. There's a minimum number of bits needed. I don't remember what it is. But it might be 10? Hang on, I think I can check. Uh, maybe it's under channel? I don't know, there are there are so many different sections to the dashboard and none of them and like, it's, yeah, it's a bit tricksy. It's a bit tricksy. Oh, dupe! <laughs> oh, that is so sweet of you. It is not under channel, maybe it's under stream. Clips, permissions, raids, squad drops, no. Oh my god. <sighs> Rel! My gosh. Thank you so much for the biddies as well. We've got four and a half minutes to trigger a hype train. We're sitting at two. It must have timed out from, uh, from Chaos's contribution. To see the bits drop in a kaboom like you mentioned they could indeed you can right they they explode so the larger the larger the cheer the heavier it is um ah oh, okay <laughs> oh my god you guys oh my bloody you lot you lot shiba with a gifted sub as well what the hell is going on Three streams in a row with a hype. What the hell is going on? Have you all been bitten by the, uh, I don't know, offload your cash bug or something? What is, what, <laughs> what is happening? Oh my lord. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh my gosh. You're all ridiculous. You're all ridiculous. Hi, Sunwell. Rooster with this with the resub for three months. Perfect timing. Much appreciate the generosity and ongoing support. Fuse, what mounts are you going to attempt today? Well, today uh, I'm starting off with the Spectral Wolf from Tolbarad because I am one Tolbarad commendation short of being able to purchase it. One singular. So we're going to buy that. That's a guaranteed. We are absolutely getting that mount today. Uh, next cab off the rank is Covenant Assaults. I have six characters. I've got eight 60s now, but I have a feeling only six of them can actually do Covenant Assaults at the moment, because I think that I, I know that you have to complete a certain part of your bits and pieces to, um, to, to unlock the ability to actually complete them. So I'm pretty sure only six of the eight have the, Paladin. Uh... have the ability. So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna do the six of them. Uh, then I've got a bunch of other bits in between there, which is like killing a rare on specific covenants or, or bits and pieces like that. Uh, and then there's, if we get that far, there's the oozing necro ray egg. There is in fact uh, a Maldraxxus emissary up today, just the one. Uh, so all my tunes I'm are, not paladin, well, uh, again, six I of the, so ah, well. my god. Six of the eight are able to grab that as well. So yeah, look, there's there's a lot of them. Um, I go by Data for Azeroth. So Data for Azeroth is a phenomenal website if you're a completionist or a collector, someone. anything close to what I am. Oh my god, you guys! Huh? Thank you in, uh... for the generosity and dupe with the bees. My god, my god. Um, far out. <laughs> uh, so um. Right, data for Azeroth. You can, like, if you upload all your all your characters uh, and then you go to the mounts section on your main 
uh, and you can sort by rarity. So like most common to least common slash rarest. And then you can filter out everything you have already. And what you end up with is a list of all the mounts you don't have from most common to least common. And my, my logic pathway here is that if it's a super common mount, then it should be relatively easy to get my hands on. So this way I'm maximizing, and it's been working pretty well for a little while now. We've been getting a decent number of mounts. Eventually, yes, of course, I'm gonna end up at the tail end where there's like all these super rare mounts, but hey, it'll be fun. We gotta get there first. I'm gonna get all those mounts before we get there, and so I'll be happy with that. Um, so it was Rooster with the resub. Chaos playing Fialadon for 50 biddies. Thank you for the biddies. Uh, Rel with two gifted subs. My god, the generosity. Thank you. What's the colors on your face today, Fia? We have, uh, colors that are on my face. That is correct. Dupe with the biddies. Oh my god. Um, what button am I using? This button. So, um, I have gray, I have red, I have cream. I own the mount and it's a ground mount. Good bloody luck because it's like Let me one third of all mounts look like this. So <laughs> No. Yeah, but that's uh that's what we that's what we're going with today. So have fun with that. Um, brilliant. Uh where am I up to? Uh and thank you, Dupe, for the biddies for Fialadin as well. And the biddy biddies as well. Good lord. Shamrocks for the win, they're so cute. And they, do you notice, can you see the one down the bottom corner, the one that was the 100? Every so often while it's sitting there, it'll actually do the, the animation as well. They're, they're adorable. They're super cute. Um, Chaos with Dad Gar for 50 biddies. Thank you. Hyped, I know, Shiba, uh, Shiba, you're Seeker. Good Lord. Seeker, this is the third stream in a row that I've had a bloody hype train. And I don't know what's going on. Something's broken, clearly. Clearly. Chaos with the gifted sub, my god. Thank you for the generosity. You do indo you do indeed return, shot. Welcome back. Hello. I hope you're well. My golly gosh. I am I don't know what to say. I I don't know what to say. You guys are ridiculous. And I am so grateful <laughs> so thankful oh yeah and we've got a new um new community challenge as well have fun with that too oh excuse me uh where's next shipyard lumber let's go grab us some lumber chaos with the biddies oh my god look at that jar a jar is getting filled up it's turning into some what of a layer cake. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, it was a belated for it was a belated for our luck mount drop, but I got life batters. Hey maiden! Ah, congratulations, chart! Well done! Look at you go! Yay for you! That's a very pretty one. It's a very pretty mount. May I have some wood? More wood. There we go. Let's go get some siege engine scraps. Oh! Loza! <laughs> Loza with the biddies as well! Oh my god. Thank you! Holy cow. And dupe with even more biddies. Layering up that jar. My gosh. Look, it's like they're all sitting on top. Yep. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you for the biddies. I want to blow this tip jar up. I mean, I'm not going to tell you not to. Ah! Holy cow, chaos. Oh, them biddies. Look at it. Holy cow. Oh my god. Battle Gargan Red Dick. No. No, it is not. Oh my god. Oh, far out. Yay, sheeps. Congratulations on the new emotes. Well done and good job, Rel. And Chaos, amazing. I've got all the level one emotes it so kindly told me. So no new emotes for fear, but that's okay. That's okay. Ah! <laughs> it's a cup explosion. Thank you for the biddies, dude. Thank you. And Roos 
sister got one too. Oh, super cute. I love that. The little dolphin one is so cool. It's, yep, very cool with these little sunnies and stuff. Lovely. Wonderful. Grand Black War Mammoth. No. Ah, dupe, you got an emote too. Well done. What? I know. You've told me three times now that I've collected all level one emotes. Why do you keep telling me? Chaos, thank you for the biddies. Holy cow. My goodness. You lot. You lot. So grateful. You're all amazing. You're all amazing. Just so lovely. And I do. You know, when, you know, it gets to the point that thank you just doesn't, doesn't cut it. I think he just doesn't cut it. Yeah. But I am eternally grateful. For not just not just for the financial support, of course. Um it is because of you guys that I get to do what I love. So yeah, I blame you. Blame you. What do the bits do? Uh they give me an income chart. Um so for every singular bit that is cheered in my channel, I earn one US cent. So a hundred bits is one US dollar, 150 is a dollar fifty US, etc, etc. Um, you, they're, they're purchased, for, so you can buy a chunk of them from Twitch and then, so let's say you buy 500 bits, you don't have to use that 500 bits in one channel. You could use that one bit in 500 different channels if you want to do, but the more you purchase at once, the greater the discount that you get. Um, but when you buy, like if you buy 100 bits, I think it's a dollar 40 or something like that. But then if you cheered all of those in one streamer's channel, uh, then there'd be one US dollar. So that's where Twitch makes their money um, on bits. But the more you buy, the, the greater a discount you get but we still get one US cent per bit. So the, the cut for the streamer gets better the more you buy at once sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, they're, um, it's literally an income. What do you need? It's literally an income, which is pretty freaking awesome. Speak, friend. Be safe. Lotar. Pretty freaking awesome. Wow, we're going bananas with a hype train. What a free way to help you out. Absolutely. Why not follow on social media? Following is free and support streamers expanding their reach, increasing visibility and opportunities for sponsorship makes a huge difference for the streamers. It is surprising, but it is true. Um, enjoy the socials. You can share them with friends nice and easily. Uh, Fia's next Instagram follower goal is 1111 and you can find all my profiles at the link provided. You can type exclamation socials to get that link or you can scroll just underneath the video player and they're all in the about Fiamma bar too. Thank you, Seeker, for the assist there. Hello, Tom. Welcome back. How are you? Oh, don't apply the down under filter. Yes. It's pretty neat. It is pretty awesome. Yeah. It's just, it's another way to support streamers financially, essentially. Like, there are loads and loads of ways you can do it, depending on the streamer and stuff, of course. But, um, it's, yeah, it's just another way to, to help, which is re really good. Oh. There's lots of different people have lots of different ways that they like supporting, so yeah. For the horde. Mount Get. What is this? 662. Mount number whoop. 662. It also counts as 663 though. Because it unlocks the Alliance version as well. So I now have 663 mounts. Ain't that amazing? 663. Fear has a shiny. Fear has a shiny. Fear got the shiny. Fear did get the shiny. Fear did get the shiny. Covenant assaults. Woo. All right, let's go do that. Oh, right. I didn't realize this wasn't rested. Oops. Um. Uh, well done, Tomcat, on the 1v1. Uh, does anyone know if there has been a blue post about what new class race combos are coming in 925 10.0? Um, there was an interview saying that Priest Mage Rogue 
will be available on all races and that they're working towards making it blanket but some classes require a whole lot more work than others. Obviously, priests, mages, and rogues didn't need much work. But imagine something like a paladin, where you've got your crusader, like your your d- divine steed, whatever the hell the the fast running, like the little the movement speed cooldown. That thing that you hop up onto and ride real quick is different for every race. Which means that for every new race that they introduce as a paladin, they're going to have to design something to stick them on. Maybe they'll use some mount models that exist already, but they still have to make that happen. They have to program that out. Uh, And then druids. Every new race that can now be a druid will need to have a boomkin form, a tree form, a bear form, a cat form, a ground mount form, a flying mount form. So there's a lot more work for some classes than others. Um, But as far as I'm aware, the only thing that they said in the interview was that they're working towards blanket everything, but priest mage rogue is what we've got, or they are coming. Um... Uh, no dogs. <laughs> oh dear. Elusive quick off. No. Shiny. Grey riding yak. No. I haven't seen that one before. Is squish. Is squish. Tomcat, can you read our chat? Okay, up there. It's in cooldown. Demon Hunter, Shaman, yeah, there's there's a Divine Steed, awesome. I thought that was what it was, I just wasn't too sure. But yeah, so there's like, there's a lot of work to put into, like some classes require a fuckload more work than others, uh, but some are a bit easier. So I think they're not going to knock over the easier one, ones first and then, yeah. But I mean, who knows? We don't, they do. They'll they'll know their, their plan of action. Um, until it's 180 degrees, fantastic. I'm trying to warlock dreams, one day maybe. One day maybe. Uh, all right, let's hop on to Lillian and go do this Necrolord Covenant Assault and maybe we can get them out. Wouldn't it be lovely? Um, but while, before we do that, actually, I have a package. Uh, Crimson Water Strider. No. I received a package today. And I did, I did crack it open just to make sure I knew what it was. Um, as you could probably tell. But I didn't actually like take it out, take it out. I just wanted to double check what it was so I could like ping the person if I could find them in, in Discord. Um, and I couldn't figure out who it was because they used a nickname, but that's okay. I has a mug. Isn't it cute? It is, it is adorable. Is, is mug. It says mage. Unwavering, intellectual, powerful, magical, potent, control, dangerous. Is a mage mug. So I've got to have my tea in that. Is great. Is delicious. Yum. Love tea. There you go. Thank you very much to Soul, who gifted me this one. And I think it was Anon who actually uh, suggested it as a gift as well. I think it was Anon. I don't actually remember now that I'm saying that aloud. Um. I usually try to make a note of that. Let me see if I did actually make a note of that. I'm sure. <laughs> Dupe. That's hilarious. Um, does it say? No, it just says because I'm a mage. I'm pretty sure that was suggested by an anonymous person, but Thank you very much, Soul, for the beautiful mug. I'll be using that tomorrow. Didn't use it today because it was still in its box and I think it needs a wash first because of the cardboard from the box. Uh, But I'm gonna mark that as received. Yes. Brilliant. Amazing, all right. Is mug, is mug indeed. Um. I love a transmog, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Stonehide Elderhorn, no, did you say no to Pale Gravewing? Oh, I didn't see that. No, it's not Pale Graveling. Apologies, Draenei Warlocks, Thousands of Draxus adjacent names. Add-on creators can choose this one if you've made a WoW add-on. Nice mug, I reckon so. I reckon so. Um, is mug, oh my god, that's a mug, I said, it was Panda! Amazing! There you go. That anon was me. Fantastic. There you go. Thank you very much, Panda, for the suggestion. And thank you, Soul, for the gift. Look at this. Teamwork in the community. Making things happen. Isn't that awesome? Yay! 
Yay mugs, indeed! Oh god, I just had an idea for like one of those heat activated mugs that has combust icons and flames on it. I mean, you make it, I'll buy it. <laughs> like, it's that simple. <laughs> ah, Black War Raptor, no. I think that means Tomcat or Jack. Yep, it'd be either Tom or Jack, I think. I, unless we have some stealth add on creators in the community that we don't know about. Watch the shadows. Covenant assaults. Covenant assaults. Ah, teamwork makes the dream work. It does, and it gets fear a mug. That's one way to out them. I mean, a look, they don't have to out themselves. That's entirely up to them. I don't think I really count as an add-on creator. You created an add-on. You are therefore an add-on creator. There are add-ons that do shitloads of stuff, like TSM. And there are add-ons that do teeny tiny little things. Like reskinning a particular window. That's fine. It, they're all add-ons. They all count as add-ons. They are just big add-ons and small add-ons. And since Stoop did not specify, you are an add-on creator. I created a half-assed hacky script. You did, which you uploaded as an add-on. <laughs> mm. Uh, High Lord's Ventral Charger, no. Buy some heat reactive paint, is that a thing you can buy and do it yourself? It might be. I mean, that sounds like something that would be a thing. Um, but how would you make the combustion icon and stuff? Like, that'd be, that'd look real bloody dodgy. Um, hold on, getting an ad, that's okay. That's okay. Been a half hour second screw. I see Gordon Ramsay, brilliant. Probably better than 40% of what's out there. Or a sinful graveling. Grave wing. Nope. That scared the heck out of me. Oh no. Smoky Die Wolf. No. I just Googled it. Fear there's heat reactive nail polish. Yes. Yep. So it gives you like an automatic uh, French tip. You guys don't remember from like the 90s the, the heat reactive t shirts? Like the Dayglow kind of heat reactive t shirt stuff? And so you'd have people running around with like handprints on their chests because ha 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 boobs. Like, <laughs> there are a ton of heat reactive products out there. I <laughs> uh, heard my name then an ad back now. Oh yeah, so Dupe, Dupe um, redeemed a, a voice redemption. So I'll change my voice with the, with the filters and an add-on creator. Any add-on creator is allowed to, to pick one of the of the filters, uh, one of the effects. Um, so we believe that that's either you or Jack. There might be stealth add-on creators in chat, uh, but we are uncertain. Onward. Onward. Uh, Amber Ardmoth, no. Oh my. Hypercolor or something. Yeah, that thing. Yep. Yep. Uh, this is ah, sorry. Um, get no t-shirts and those wacky noise all the kids had. Ah, uh, wacky noise tubes. Ah, yes. Ethereal. I can do that. I can do that. The spinny ones. Uh, Ruby Panther. No. Google search for personalized mug. Heat changing suggests a lot of companies which do them if you upload a photo or picture, etc. How many of those would be hilariously terrible? Have you, you guys have seen, like, the, the internet meme where it's like, yeah, I, um... I uploaded a picture and it was like, here's a preview of what your mug will look like. And then they got the mug and printed on the mug was a photo of the preview picture. So it had a mug with their picture on it, on the mug, a picture of a mug on the mug. Yep. It's great. It's great. Like terrible businesses are terrible and hilarious. Ethereal, here we go, two minutes on the clock. Portrait Draco. Let us report to Draco. Um. For the honor of the blade sword. Apparently, they're called Grinches. A blood flake charger. No, Tom Cat has spoken. Tom Cat has indeed spoken. Uh, Battle Dog and Celessa. No. Mugception. Blood and thunder. Uh, yes, or the broken image picture. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, it's terrible if you actually pay for those products, then I, I'm so sorry, but like, also, ha! I always have time for my brightest people. Alright, it's like a chunk gun to assist you in the floor. Oh, it's like, well, no, we got this one's really sending me. Good. I'm glad. Uh. Fresh up film. Do I no, know you? Stress. Am I supposed to? <laughs> waiting in the wings, waiting in the wings. No, 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 waiting in the wings. Uh, so we're looking at Mr. Seven, have that image listed in the uniform policy? Huh? Which? Which image? I'm just saying I've had a gift suggested by a throne. Thank you so much. Whoever that is, I will check it later. But, um, yeah, that's a, that's a function. So the, the, the mug, right, sent to me by a viewer, um, it's purchased via throne, which is a privacy first. Let's try that again. A privacy first wish list platform created with creators in mind. So not just streamers, but um, like YouTubers and uh, Instagrammers and TikTokers and all of the uh, all of those type of creators. Um, it prevents you from finding out my shipping information, and it prevents me from finding out any of your personal information, like your billing details or you know your name. Uh, so all that's kept private. Neither of us see the others. Uh, Throne, of course, sees both. They're both, and as a company, they have privacy laws and that kind of stuff that they have to abide by. Um, yourself in battle. And uh, you're able to suggest things you think I might like. Not just things I might like, though. Things you also think I might need. Um, like if if you kind of see something, you go, oh my gosh. Fia absolutely needs one of these, you can drop the link into the suggestion on Throne and I can see it and if I decide yes I also need this in my life, then I can add it to the wish list and you get notified if you add, enter an email address at the time. I don't see I don't an email address, I don't even get a name, you can put your name in the why you need it kind of box but uh, yeah and then like anyone can, can purchase. They're working on a crowdfunding side to things as well so like if i list something that's maybe a little pricier or, or something like that that people can or it's a special occasion like if it's a birthday or something and and people want to chip in and and together and, and get something then like that's something that can be done as well well in the future it's something that might be able to be done which will be super cool but yeah we're still waiting on that part um but yes um Broken image link thing. Ah, oh, that's really funny. Oh dear, such an unthrown situation. Ah, perfect. It was you, Panda. Brilliant, thank you. Uh, Gara, Draz, Pulse, Toasty, and Sass. Congratulations to all of you on your shit. Well done. She's in Bicker's Puppy. I can do that. I can, uh oh. I can also apparently die. Oh, I'm standing in a circle of. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go back to the NPCs. I think this is a. Slightly safer bet. Cool. Um. Okay, I can't place another mage. There's a tank. And. Where's the barbarian? There, I'm gonna place the barbarian first, because I want the scrolls. Good! Place your units. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. That's. My favorite. She's in. Beautiful. Uh, where's my. Whoops. Ten pieces around this area. Select follow up quest. No, but it's the other direction. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so I've done the mount thing, so I can take that off. Um, Crimson Shard Hide. No. Hello, Harmonic. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Chippy. Fear and chat. Here's is a question I love reading. Answers to. If you could pick one of the thousands of fantasy worlds out there and get the abilities of said world, what would you choose and why? Uh. I am a busy steward. Yeah, I have no idea. Um.
Um, I mean, I'm most familiar with the powers I'd get if I became a mage from Azeroth. Uh, so that might be probably the most beneficial to me just because I know what I was doing to a certain extent. Uh, and I'm not sure that I know enough about other worlds to be able to know what I would be getting myself into if I chose them, really. Um, that's probably a disappointing answer though, hey? Spooky is them do that when cancelled. As I take colors. Oh, welcome to chat indeed. Lance hold or neutral. Sheeps, it's been like not even half an hour. Ah, <sighs> Yoda today. Ah, uh, does it like Ruse effects one by one? I assume because especially the echo effects are duration based. Yeah, that'd that'd probably. Yeah. So maybe when I turn them off, I just need to keep my mouth shut for five seconds or something. In future. Maybe. It's more booked than usual. Death Runner, new. Can we kiss my nut? For sure, good decision by far. Here with being a Q also. Uh, traveling would be so much easier. Also, conjured snacks. Mmm, cake. I like cake. Is it not so bad? Oh, it's been half an hour. Yeah, I know. But it's only been like half an hour. Are you are you giving up that easily? Uh, powers of one of the charmed ones. It was such a good show. To be humans actively messing with people for fun. Uh, Amani Ball. Oh, Am bleh, Amani Warbear. Noob. The Q were characters on Star Trek. Q, Gentle Nancy. It always got up to no good. If you're a toss person, think Trillian's. Definitely be a mage. Don't need a torch. Can teleport instantly. Never run out of food. Can undo mistakes. Can turn annoying people into sheep. Can turn invisible. Can steal other people's powers. Can speed up time. Oh, and also don't need a parachute for skydiving. You just have to remember that it's going to fade off every 30 seconds. You need to hit the button again. I remember, um, I did a, an, uh, oh gosh, what was it? It was my, it was my 24 hour Beyond Blue charity stream back at, near the start of Legion. And my mum rocked up right towards the end because she was horrified that I was actually streaming for that long and not taking care of myself. So she rocked up close to midnight to like encourage us for the last kind of hour or so. And then at the end, I went, I climbed that really super high mountain in, um, in the, in high, high mountain, you know, yep. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and jumped off the cliff and slow fell down towards Surma and good lord the view. This is of course before we had flying and stuff, but um, good lord the view. It was just beautiful. Um, and every so often I'd start falling and go crap and have to recast it again. It was really funny. I'd had to cast it like three or four times before I hit the ground. Silence! Uh, if you said there's some I have no knowledge of, Star Trek's a show I never watched at all. Chose after losing God of Harry Potter, being able to harness magic and fly on brooms, etc, etc. Brilliant. I mean, there are brooms you can fly in, well. But no, yeah, that's, uh, that's awesome. Crimson Water Strata, nope. Grand Black War Mammoth, nope. Which used to be a bender in Avatar Universe, either in ATLA or Legend of Korra. Absolutely obsessed. Oh, so you get to just be 5% smarter automatically? I know, right? Be interesting to see how that like how that actually gets calculated and how that functions. How do you quantify five percent intelligence? You know, like what is what does that mean in a practical sense? Ah, uh, to pilot. Nope. Yep. Oh, to G's. Um, wouldn't that need PVP? I'm pretty sure I've got that one. Isn't that one that drops from um one of the raids? One of the weird raid things that drop PVP gear? Don't forget blink in dude. Instead of using 10% brain power, you use 15%. Yeah, but what does that look like for for humans? But also that whole 10% of brain power thing is bullshit. Um, that's not there's no scientific basis for that. <laughs> um 
every every little tiny part of our brains does something different. If you only use 10% of it, you wouldn't be a functional human. Um, we, we use all of our brain. <laughs> um, but yeah, but like what, what does that extra 5% even look like? Uh, I probably go with Lord of the Rings, just want to be a trippy little hut with a nice garden. Winter Grasp, isn't it? It might be that one. The Winter Grasp uh, raid, potentially, I don't remember. God, I've got too many mounts. <laughs> yeah, not enough! Also, free food too. So no, just look at that. Let's make my way down based on colors. Hand of Salaranga. I don't think I've got any. I don't have any of the hand mounts. Uh, yeah, achieving Winter Grasp. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, I was pretty sure I like I'm pretty sure I've got the, the Grand Black War Mammoth, like everyone. Uh War Mammoths were purchasable. Ah, okay. Hogress Swine of Good Fortune. No. Uh to catch anybody else up who wasn't here at the beginning, um, the colours in the Mount Makeup look today are grey, red, and cream. And it is a mount that I own uh that is restricted to the ground. Oh, Traveler's Tundra Mammoth. Ah, the Earth Race Eater. Ineffable Skitterer. What is, what? Ineffable Skitterer. I don't even know what that is. Do I have that? <laughs> no, it's not that. Ah, uh, I think so enough TikTok as humans are biodegradable. And if you're an organ donor, you're also recyclable. That's adorable. Ah, uh, wait, green or cream? Cream. The shade on my lids is a champagne shade. It is a shimmery cream. Ah, uh, well, as death will no, should have Skittera. Or, oh, well, this is the amount. Ah, okay. Uh, reuse is more efficient than recycling or biodegrading. If you get a divorce, be sure to remarry! <laughs> oh dear. Ah, uh, so can I have Skittera? Molly, no. No. Got eight minutes until 5 pm, and I'll give you another clip at 5. <laughs> Literally, more at 5. Skull Ripper, no. Yeah. It's really funny. Sheba is gonna be very unhappy with me. Very unhappy. Zillion Tiger, is that what it's called? Ah, uh, it is, but it's not that one. Thalassian Warhorse, no. Reusable and compostable. We are indeed compostable. Anything that biodegrades, essentially. Is kind of cool, hey? Snapback Scuttler? Nope. I'm pretty sure I don't actually have that one. Um, because it's the one for... Is that... Wait. Is that the one from Islands? Or is that the one for the meta from Najatar? <laughs> Eclipsed Tawny Windrider. <laughs> no. No. resort to violence. Bloodhoof Bull. No. I don't know what exactly we're guessing for. Uh, so most streams, not all, but most streams, I do mount-inspired makeup. So I choose a mount from World of Warcraft, 
and I have a look at the colors and the design and that kind of thing and I use that to inspire my, my makeup look. So today I've got gray eyeshadow, I've got red eyeshadow and I've got like a shimmery champagne color, uh, so cream. Uh, so those are the colors on the mount. It is a mount that I own. The one that I've chosen is a mount that I own and it's a ground mount. So the first person to guess the mount correctly uh, wins a steam key. Random steam key. Uh, Bristling Hellborn, no. Swift Albino Raptor, no. Amber Arden Moth, no. I want to say like Black Primal Raptor or something, nope. Oh, that's really cute. I like it. It's good fun. It means I get to merge my, my passion for World of Warcraft and mount collecting and all that kind of stuff with my passion for makeup and having fun and, and playing around with basically art on my face. So yeah, it's uh, I like it. It's good fun. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Does ground mean aquatic too? No. It does not. I will be very specific with you if it is an aquatic mount. Uh, which is why I don't just say, no, it doesn't fly, because that could be ground or aquatic. So I'm, I'm quite specific about it being a ground mount. Uh, it is not the Crimson Tide Stallion. I've had this question before. Aquatic mounts aren't on the list. Um, they are on the list, but it's not an aquatic mount today. It's a ground mount. Uh, Gore Strider Grunling, noob. Mm, uh, hog no. Red Karaji Battle Tank, no. Russet Ruin Strider, no. Ice Mammoth, no. And I think I know what, goddammit, there's like six. <laughs> Goblin Turbo Track, no. Red Kin, no. <laughs> Red Mechanistrider. Nope. Predatory Bloodgazer. Nope. Crimson Primal Direhorn. Nope. Said Vicious War Turtle. No idea, but nope. Free Strider Stallion. Nope, but welcome on in Remedies. Hope you're doing wonderfully well today. Death Runner. Nope. Phalanx of Humility. Nope. Great Brewfest Kodo, nope. Scarlet Hillicid, nope. Orgrimmar Wolf, nope. Yeah, there we go. Armored Rizashi Raptor, nope. Midnight, no. Turbo Strata, nope. Skull Ripper, nope. Well, I'm wrong. I thought it'd be one of the new Red Silver Creams here. Mounts. Uh, meat Wagon. No. I don't actually have the Meat Wagon. It is on my list, but I'm broke, so there's that. <laughs> it's like 85 Australian dollars to get the Collector's Edition, and I'm like, I want you, but I also can't afford you. But I mean, like, also if I bought it, I'd then also have to play it on stream, and I don't have time to do that right now, so... <laughs> Um, Ruby Chlorellas, no. Stormpike Charger, no. Are you right there, Sheeps? Yeah, you having fun? Swift Red Hawk Strider, no. Hawkron Juggernaut, no. You've got Shiva. Shuzen. Nope. Mechano Hog. Nope.
dire wolf. Odysseus got it. It is the dire wolf. And only a minute before I was gonna ask Sheba, what faction is it, Sheebs? And Sheebs gonna go, it's bloody horde, isn't it? I'm gonna go, yep. <laughs> but nope. Unfortunately, nope, we miss out on that fun time, but that's okay. Congratulations to Sir. It is in fact the Dire Wolf, which I can't show you because I'm on Alliance tune and it's a Horde only mount. <laughs> Can I have a number from you, please? One to a hundred. <laughs> the fucking saddle. Every time, Sheaves. What, am I gonna do an entirely gray eyeshadow? No, absolutely not. That's less fun. So yes, if the entire animal, the entire beast is one bloody color, I am gonna pull colors from the saddle. For sure. Because it makes it more fun and more interesting looking on my face. Always check the saddle. <laughs> 13 can do, sorry for yelling. Totally okay, you're excited. It makes sense that you'd be yelling. Uh, all right, give me just a second. This one. That's what I'm using at the moment. Hey, there you go. My ass looking at tiny hints of all colors on mounts. <laughs> yeah, I tend to go for like the three biggest, most obvious colors on the mount. I like, I, I make it tricky, but I also don't want to make it completely impossible. You know, like that's just, that's not fun. That's not fun. Uh, okay, the messenger. The game you have won is called The Messenger. There you go. Congratulations. Well done. Alrighty. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, I'm not sorry for yelling. I was thinking more like River Beast. Ah, my crown is falling off. Nah, Sheebs, you're fine. You're fine. You still probably won more than 60% of all the things. So like, yeah, do not stress. Always check the saddle for your Warcraft May 2022. Love it. I'm lost. Why are you lost, Schuster? What's up? Ah, uh, like... There's an emote for that feeling now. <laughs> Welcome to so the mount drops. Are more lucky on certain servers. I mean, I I'm still convinced that certain char like characters have like a luck coefficient programmed into them the moment you create them. Like, I've got tunes that are so much luckier than other tunes for sure. But if I focus on those tunes and I try those tunes first, they never get them. Like it's yeah. <laughs> um, Burning Shiva is the true reward. Hi, Lich. Ah, uh, you have 500% more chance to get a mount drop if you run it with fear. Yes, this is also definitely a thing. I don't see a mount named Dire Wolf because it's not one word, it's two words. It is Dire Wolf. It is also a horde only mount, so if you are not on a horde character, you won't be able to see it in your listing. Like, if I'm I'm on my alliance tune here, if I pop in di Dire, it won't, like, none of those. There's a smoky Dire Wolf there, but there's no, like, and then there's an infernal Dire Wolf, but the Dire Wolf isn't there. It's It was introduced in vanilla. It was one of the original mounts. It can be purchased from Orgrimmar. It's a very old mount. Um, I want an alliance tune. It's horde only. Correct. You can also select unusable. Ah, right, of course. Um. There you go. Dire wolf. If I take the character off I so you can actually see, see the colours. There you go. That's what it looks like. Thank you, Seeker, for that. I forgot about that. Uh, Holly with the race up. Hello! Any mounts yet? Yes. I bought my mount from Tolbarad at last. 165 commendations got. Yes, awesome indeed. Very happy about that. And it also unlocks the Alliance equivalent of that one too. So technically I got two mounts. So I'm at 663 now. Very happy about that. Uh, 
do you j play just on stream or on off days too? Uh, what off days? I, I work entirely, like, a lot. Um, I don't have time, really, to, to play anything off stream. Uh, but occasionally, occasionally I get a little bit of time here or there. Um, especially, like, if it's a, if it's a weekend and, um, Jas and I sort of get through the, um, housework, like, really efficiently. Like, if we really do it properly and, and get it done, then I might have a couple of hours spare. Uh, but, unfortunately, I don't get much of a chance to play outside of stream. Uh, just because I'm busy as all hell. Um, uh, for those of you who are relatively new here, uh, I have a day job. Um, I work two days a week as an assistant accountant. And all in all, I so that's 15.2 hours a week that I spend at my day job. And then in terms of like all stream stuff, like back end, being live, all that stuff, any, anything that's stream related uh, takes me around 50, uh, sorry, not 50, 40-ish, just over 40 hours a week at this point. Um, so it's essentially a full-time job plus the part-time job on top of that. So yeah, and then of course I have other responsibilities like housework and, and all that kind of fun stuff. Getting groceries and yeah, so it's all kind of, yeah, it's a bit much, but um, essentially it's it's worth it. Um, I might not be making bucket loads from it, but um, whoa, okay, that's a charge noted. Uh, it's something that I truly enjoy. Um, it's something that brings me mass amounts of joy and happiness and all that kind of stuff. So I uh, I find it to be worth it. I would like to become a full-time content creator. I would like to earn uh, a livable amount of money from my my content creation, but I'm I'm a ways off that currently. That's okay. I'm working on it. If you'd like to help me work on that, you can follow like someone just so kindly did. You can follow on Twitch. You can follow on Instagram. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's actually a really big deal, especially in Australia where. Um, sponsored streams and things like that tend to be rather few and far between uh, in terms of cash payments for, for sponsorships like you'll get a ton of offers for like here's a steam key please stream the game or here are some products please talk about them on stream that kind of stuff which is great and awesome and wonderful uh, but eventually you do need to earn cash because that's how rent is paid or mortgages maybe one day bills etc um, but Instagram sponsorships, like paying for sponsored posts and stuff like that, are a much bigger thing in Australia. Much bigger. Um, recently hit a thousand followers on Instagram, um, which is amazing. Uh, there is an app uh, that I am a part of in, in a smaller sort of way that um, basically companies who are wanting to do a social media campaign will post that they're looking for creators and then you can kind of give them some idea of what sort of content you'd create and then if they want you to post it they'll pay you the problem is that you need a minimum of 3,000 followers to start being able to apply for those campaigns on that platform um but it still gave me a pretty good idea of you know what I could charge if I were to do sponsored posts and stuff like that but yeah so following on Instagram is a big one uh, I've also got Twitter TikTok Facebook um, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, if you want to support for free and help me achieve my dreams, these are these are ways you can do so. Because I know that not everyone has the ability to to support people financially, and that's totally okay. Nothing wrong with that at all. Everyone's on their own journey and in their own place. So yeah. Um. Um. That sucks. Hey, coach. You're going through a lot of wow streamers, you have a lot of crit- Aww, that's so sweet of you to say! Thank you so much! I try. I've been streaming for just over six years, so it is definitely a skill that you can pick up and learn over time, uh, but it's, uh, thank you. I really appreciate that. I, I try. I, I really try. <laughs> so it's good to know that, that that try is paying off. Uh, speaking of housework, time to lurk. Enjoy. Have fun. 
Uh, before I go, is there a new goal this week? There is! If you want to see me level some tunes, you can contribute your channel points. It's a 5060s leveling stream for next month. If that is something that interests you. Oh, excuse me. Christmas is for warlocks. Look, originally, my very first original character that I ever made was a warlock. Remember. Okay. Crossing the bridge, crossing the bridge, crossing the bridge. Do 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 do. Lego. Armies of Maldraxxus to battle. Caesar victory. All right. Wouldn't it be nice if I just got them out this time and I didn't have to do it on all my other tunes? Wouldn't that be good? All right. Blow the horn. Make things die faster. Hi. I have lots of hydrates. I should use those. Do those. One, two, three, five. <clears throat> yes, Shiva. Yes. That is the, like, oh, that's such an appropriate emote. Such an appropriate emote. God, there are so many emotes now. I'm having such difficulty trying to choose, like, what will I put on stickers or badges I or magnets or like I'm just I'm like I'm so lost I'm so confused like what do I do help there are so many amazing emotes so like mm. panic exactly it's it's time to panic because I don't know what to do oh actually I did have a question for you guys um if you were to imagine a pair of colors and one of them is white, or shades, whatever, it, one of them is white, what's the other color? <clears throat> what goes with white? What, what is the other color that you're imagining alongside the white? Like the first one that popped into your head when I finished that sentence. Blue, green, black, purple. This is so cool. Like, I, I love this kind of stuff where everyone has like a wildly different answer. It's so good. So good. Black, hello cryptic, welcome one in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Red from Rooster, okay, okay. Peach, ooh. Peach cute color, it is, it is. What's the question? If you were to imagine two colors in your head, one of them is white, what's the other color? Like a soft lilac color. Ooh. Pretty. Yes, I'm doing my nails tomorrow. And <laughs> the next nail polish on my list that I wanted to like, use to try to figure out if it's dead or not is white and so i'm trying to figure out what i should put with it so these are all fantastic uh thoughts and feelings Alrighty, 10 harmonic silver neke and draz congratulations to you all on your ownership well done green red reason why my mind was that was because of you wore the white shirt, all the purple around you! That's great. I mean, the headset. I could actually... <gasps> Ooh! Okay. I am always now, like, now that I'm actually trying to do the whole content on all platforms thing, 
I am constantly trying to think of what can I do to create more content, particularly for Instagram. Um, because, you know, that's a big thing. And I know that um, there are some of the affiliate programs that I'm a part of who every so often they'll reach out and be like, hey, do you have anything that you've put on socials recently that we can maybe share? So like, do I have the right shade of nail polish to make headset nails? <laughs> oh, this is a good, ah, crap. This is a good question. I am going to die. Now that I'm out of danger, let me select the next battle. Uh, let me switch up. I know I did. I was aware. I was doing it on purpose because I needed to select a new battle, which you can now place your units in. Um, tank. Tank is the one with the little baby shield, isn't it? This one. Yeah. Uh, alrighty. There we go. Alright, so I am absolutely, when I do my nails tomorrow, gonna pull out my- I've got swatch sticks. Like, I've put all my nail polishes on. It's like a long stick with like a nail-shaped thing on the end of it. Um, so I can- So I- and I've painted each of them, like one with each of my nail polishes so that I can compare them and stuff. Like, what they look like on- like, painted on rather than in the bottle. Cause some dry differently and stuff. I'm gonna see if I can find a pale purple that matches the headset and then create me some content the more powers before us Luptar, brothers and sisters all right Alrighty. oh i've got a wisp of memory so i've got five out of 25 attempts may i please have an undying dark hound no i cannot <laughs> six attempts i have five tunes to go though so that's fine it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. So what is everybody up to this lovely evening? Whatever time it is for you. I'm gonna go stick this conduit in the thing before I switch tunes. Because otherwise I'll forget and I'll get duplicates because that's a thing that happens. I should go get that item that gets everything unlocked at 200. That would help. Oh well. Is it a misery, Lamau? Patterns and patterns and patterns. But I love the patterns. I I love puzzle games and stuff, so all the puzzles in ZM just make my heart really happy. So <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I really enjoy them. Uh, but fingers crossed you get what you want to achieve achieved shortly. Thank how strange lady in the privilege of singing. Oh, uh, oh and uh, who signed up for the Arclight Rumble beta? The closed beta. The Arclight Rumble account uh, tweeted out today, I posted it in the Warcraft channel, that um, their closed beta is available in Australia. Warcraft Arclight Rumble has begun limited closed beta testing in Australia. So do be sure if you're interested in that. If you're not, then that's that's fine, obviously. But if you are, definitely recommend you go sign up for that. Um, the tunes are friendly with ZM. They get a 236 one or 226. Oh, cool. Yeah, none of mine are. Well, actually. Maybe one or two, maybe, 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 maybe. You have? Brilliant. 
Currently farming 200 balls, 50 of my tunes come for the summer. Fantastic. Well done, Rose. Um, Alrighty. Off we go. Covenant assaults. Wait. Um, here's a domination quest line. How far? Torgas quest line. Okay, no, so I can't. Shit. Check this grasp. Okay. So I can skip that, but then I don't know how much further I have to go through. No. All right, I'm going to take Jasmine off this list for now because I can't actually do Covenant Assaults on her yet and I'll have to add that to my to-do list. Crap. Okay. You're trying to do do a covenant assault. <laughs> I want to, I I haven't done anything clearly to step towards unlocking those. So I was like, ah, oh, that's okay. It means I've got five attempts instead of six this week, and that's okay. I think I'm still like a month away from getting the thing. Ah, yes, follow Fia on social media. It would be amazing and fantastic. Seeker, do you have a goal for today? Do you have a follower goal for today? We're at 1,031 at the moment. Reckon we can get another four followers today, make that 1035. Some of course we need to start tomorrow reading the syllabus and looking over the schedule. Awesome! Oh, that's I. I mean, by the end of a course, I'm always like, Gah. but like at the start, reading the syllabus and getting all my pages and all my books and, and stuff like that. It just oh, I love that feeling. Love that feeling. Um, signed up for Rumble. Yes, Gita. Awesome. And some of course, what are you studying? What are you trying to do? You're not wanting to skip Cosmogs, I guess. I have no idea. I, I don't know if there's any mogs, actually. Um, not too sure. But, uh, it just, it, it seemed like it was more than two seconds of work. Like, it was more than kind of just going and turning one thing in and then bam, I've got access. And I'm like, no, no, I want to, like, there is there is a chance that um, Jas was talking yesterday about the potential for us to do some more Mythic Plus today to bump up my rating, to try to get that mount as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid much kind of unlocky questing as I can. Like if if I get a spare hour this week, then I can go through and unlock them. If not, um, this is an international relations course. Just agree requirement. I need to meet. Ah, oh, fantastic, fantastic. Um, you seemed excited. Indeed, very excited. And as you as you could be. Like I mean, Arclight Rumble looks adorable. Can we just say? But I don't even have so many boys any gifts. That's okay. Is that even a question? Oh, correct. 1035 is today's goal, so we only need four more followers on Instagram to hit Seeker's goal. I know, no, I know it's my account, but Seeker has goals for me because Seeker is a wonderful human. Um, I do also use a click between windows and I'm playing well. And the other, yes. Uh, look, because in car passage, we super sick if I do. Of course, meaty, absolutely. Hopefully, you can pop us on sound only. The march uh, all the, the skips are just talk to tell an Arab or an Arab. like three skips there. Ah, okay. Mm, yeah, then I might want to do them for the transmog and stuff. That sounds like something I would want to do. 
Um, you listen, but do not look. Don't want you to vomit. Why did listen not work? Oh, because it's a reply. Reply, the bot can't figure out what you're doing with replies. We figured that out a couple days ago, I think, maybe? Um, was the goop the biggest amount of tries for a mount you have done? No. The strange group was not the largest number of- uh, the, the longest time I have tried for mount. <laughs> the pond nettle was 4,713 gasts, and it's a 1 in 2,000. Ah, uh, we see you see the steward when you see Seeker, both very precious. Amazing. Uh, the replies don't work, I was wondering, did last time too? Ah! <laughs> go us, look at, look at us go. This is great, wonderful, brilliant. Always ready for battle. Meet me in position hold when you are done. Got the moss will on your tremble bones, huh? at our might. Blood and thunder! <laughs> Blood and thunder. Replies are technically not standard IRC messages. Also, 4713 attempts of fishing man is a lot easier than 200 tries at Shah. It is. And I'm on like 500 tries for sure. Four. Wait, 477. So far for sure. So far for sure. Anyway. Uh, but casting that, like, that many casts is also, like, at least, at least when I'm camping Shah, like, there is a limit to how much I can do each week. And I can do the engineering toy or Minecraft, uh, not Minecraft, uh, Minesweeper while we're waiting for the, the thing to pop. Mm, get in on the raid action, absolutely. So what you're saying is next shot stream we hit 500. Yeah. No. No, we don't hit 500, it bloody drops. It'd be nice, it'd be nice if it dropped, but otherwise yes, we'd be hitting 500. This hurts. Uh, yeah. Yes! No, wait, no. <laughs> it will drop on 500. That'd be beautiful. I would, my brain would love that. I would love that for me. Yes, Shah, correct, exactly. <sighs> but we have to, oh no, we did unlock it, didn't we? We did, yeah. We finished that goal yesterday. Let me confer with my sources. No. That's not very nice. I don't believe this up Sharon Hallon drops, please. Nah. Hallon's fine. Hallon's just like a 1% or whatever. Or half a percent or something. At least it's not 1 in 2,000 like Shah. Hallon is fine. Plus, you can kill Hallon more than once a day. You can camp Hallon endlessly. You can only do Shah once a bloody week. Even if you have a full account of 50 tunes. What, what is that? Now that I've reinstalled Calculator. It still take you 40 weeks to hit 2,000 attempts with a full account if you're doing every single one of them every week. Nearly a whole bloody year. Like, nah, Hualon is fine. But also at the same time, I'm kind of okay with it being that much of a challenge. I like a good challenge. The more challenging something is, the bigger kind of yes when you actually get it. If it's not challenging enough, it's the getting it's kind of a disappointment. Well, not, not a disappointment, it's still good, but it's not like the... Yeah. Um, I've been camping once a week this whole time. Well, aren't you a numpty shot? You need to check Wowhead comments. Always, before you farm anything, always do your research on Wowhead. Always. Zero exception. Um, 
Straight for all. For sure there's a reason some people stick around after the kill. The rush are getting it. Yes. Technically it also found the bone tools for shard doubly attempt. So yeah, but that's also like a lot of time spent. And I mean, I don't have 12 hours a week to spend on the actual attempts, let alone the extra hours it would take to, to farm up the coins. So yeah. Um, you could, absolutely could. If you're somebody who has a ton of time and you're purely focusing on Shah and only Shah, then yeah, for sure, go get the coins. But for my personal circumstances, I, I, I can't. Even if I want to do, I can't. Uh, but that's okay. I accept that. My circumstances are of my own creation. I don't have to stream. I don't have to try to build my business through social media. I don't have to do any of that, but I choose to. So that's, that's on me. And I'm happy with my choices. Well... Happy is a strong word, but <laughs> I'm content with my choices. Uh, every time consuming, I'll be, of course, of course, too much work. Need to check my vibe. Uh, comment section carries wow head guides. Yes. What do you mean? No, you're fine, shot. You're fine. Just, yeah, always, 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 always check wow head. Be easy to earn the gold to buy another account to level another 50 tunes to farm Shah, then bonus rolls for every tune. But that'd add another 20, uh, like another 12 hours onto your, your farm each week, Jack. Like. Uh, hello, Boot. Greetings. I too hope you've had a great day, like Sika. All done something a bit silly about. So, fun, fun story. When I had first started streaming, um,. Uh, actually, no, it wouldn't have been, it would have been after a little while, maybe a year or so, I think. I'd gotten Ashes. I got Ashes on stream. It was a great moment. Loved that. Um, but I, I was, uh, during the day, this is before my life was ridiculous. During the day, I was sitting in a, a random, I was just browsing random streamers and I saw that somebody was farming Ashes. And so I jumped in and I'm like, oh my god, I got this a couple weeks ago. Best of luck, you know, I hope this is awesome. And they're like, oh my god, you got it, that's so cool. How many attempts did it take? I was like, I don't know, it was like a 97 or something like that. I was very happy with that. Um, and I'm watching this, I'm watching this woman. She goes in, uh, she kills a law, and then she zones out. And I'm like, um, hey, you know that the mount drops from Kaelfas? the last boss and not the bird, the first boss. And she just stopped dead in her tracks and she said, you are joking. And I'm like, no, check the loot tables. Like I know it's a bird and you, you know, brain thinks bird drops from bird, I get that. But it's also, it's a big ass mount. It drops from the last boss. And she looked it up and I swear to God, I saw her soul break and I'm like, what's the what's going on and she's like i've been farming this mount for six fucking years and i've never killed chaos i've always only killed a and i'm like i am going to leave now <laughs> she was uh unhappy to put it lightly she was unhappy we have all been there We have all been there. This bloody hurts. Would you fall over, please? <laughs> I don't want to be hitting you anymore. Please fall over. You hurt too much. Um. Okay. Uh, how long does 50 bonus rolls take, though? I have no idea. I would imagine you wouldn't farm one on a tune and then one on another tune and then one on another tune. I'd imagine you'd farm up like a few weeks worth on each tune. Um, and so it'd be more time efficient that way, but I, I genuinely don't know. I've never actually tried to do it. Um, it is 9.30 here. I'll give you an insta follow. Thank you, Storm. Much appreciated. Yes, get those numbers up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I need to level my ult so I can sit and farm mounts. Yes, agreed, correct. This is the thing that you should absolutely do. Um, it was a great one, absolutely. Story time, the original Mage Tower. I dropped my favorite artifact weapon, weapon mog. They showed it the year before BlizzCon. I said out loud to my friends, I need that. When I finally got it in the first week, it was up. 61th attempt, started crying, was to proud of myself. And the red skin from it, he was just a matter of enough tries. 
a few days later, I then crafted IRL across my foot. I get home and hang on the wall. Fantastic! Amazing. Go back into classic WoW after some time away from the game. It's so much better. Oh, good, Coit. I'm, I'm glad that you're enjoying yourself. Welcome back to Azeroth. It's like, yeah, video games. You gotta, you gotta enjoy yourself. It's not, like... Why well, suffer through it? You gotta enjoy it. Um... Uh, more three people in stream is cool as storm. Agreed, right? Oh my goodness. Just that, that's right. Uh, next one. Uh, miss the good communities that are around and the non-toxic people. There are plenty of them. There are plenty of them. Uh, they just don't tend to go advertising themselves all over the shop. Because it tends to be the, the ones who are constantly spamming and pinging themselves and, and all that kind of stuff tend to be the ones who need the attention. Um, not always, but a lot of the time, in my experience. So yeah, they're definitely there. Definitely there. Oh no. I'm I'm sure that boss is 100% on every tune. Uh, I have a lovely toxic community. Join us. We do. We do. Absolutely. Uh, Alenia is also a fantastic- if you're looking specifically for classic streamers, uh, Alenia is, like, my recommendation. Um, she's a lovely human. Uh, and she does all the classic. Occasionally some retail, but mostly classic. Um, I hope she got the bird by now. I too hope this. I hope that she didn't give up and walk away. Did that with a guard fun for years on normal, found out needed to be on heroic. Ooh, panda. Yep. Yep. I mean, the Battlegrounds just sold their win condition. 100% chance to win now. Brilliant! Fantastic. Thanks for coming to me the last drop chance to have a check that I was doing it right like 50 times. Yeah, same. So, so would I. But, um, I don't know. I guess not everyone... I guess not everyone double checks their stuff. And I mean, that's, you know... Nothing necessarily wrong with that. I would just definitely advise double checking your stuff. Especially when it's a time sink. Like if it's something you need to spend time and effort doing. What do they say? Like measure twice, cut once? Same thing applies, just slightly different. Check twice, kill once. Or 70 million times, depending on the rarity of the mount you're trying to get. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I could do classic again after going through it all originally. Just uh, I think I get too frustrated with things I couldn't do. Glad you're having a good time though. Absolutely, for sure. I'm definitely a fan of the like quality of life improvements and you know the the collecting the collecting side of things and the achievements and all that kind of stuff. Like those are those are the things that really draw me into WoW. Uh, so classic's not really my jam, but you know uh, we always say never say never. Um, I have played a little bit of TBC classic when it released uh, and the uh, reminiscing of my first steps into Azeroth like my my because I started playing at the start of BC um, the original uh, so recreating my first steps into where I was a really special feeling but yeah it's cool Elena's body gorgeous oh Elena's amazing she's fantastic she's fantastic I think I'm actually potentially going to meet her at some point next month um, which is cool. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully. We just gotta sort out some scheduling things, of course. As always! I'm going through Throne of Winds, whatever it's called. Back in Cat, I had to roll for loot. The Drake dropped on 9 10 rolled 100 and got it. Never seen it drop since. Oof. Throne of, Throne of the Four Winds from Alakia. But yeah, that one's super easy to, to farm now, at least. Um, that was another one that I went and farmed as well. She's absolutely bad. She's a lovely human too. I guess she's one of my favorite streamers. Are lovely humans for some reason. Maybe that's why they are. Maybe that's why they're on your list of favorites. So many lovely humans in my circles. Kraz and Trevor are also lovely. And I just have a bunch of people who are helpful people, all who I've met through fear. Keep that warm, happy, wow vibe going. That's pretty cool, hey. That's pretty cool. The community may not be like enormous, but it's it's pretty good. Uh, I 
remember waiting outside a game store at midnight for me. Save launch, going home and downloading the eight discs. Yep. So, um, I had six discs for vanilla. Or six or eight, something like that. And then I only had two for BC. I'm pretty sure I've actually still got them out on the shelf. Mm, just going to look up that as, yep. And then waiting for it to be able to actually log in. Yeah, the first time I installed, like, vanilla right through to BC on my laptop, like my, my original laptop way back in the day, um, it took hours and I started reading the they used to back then they had like an overview of all of the lore like the entire story of azeroth on the website and so i started reading that while it was installing and it got to the point that i got the pop-up saying installation completed i'm like yeah yeah cool I'm, I'm i'm reading i'm still reading and so i finished reading it all before i actually logged in yep so my brain is on it no you're fine you're fine it was a very long time ago <sighs> I've been playing for over 15 years now. It's just bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Alright. Aminomotes. Let's go get them. I went through all those boxes and the books. I'm pretty sure I've gotten rid of a few over the time. They're just, they just, they do take up so much space and like as much as lovely and nostalgic as they are and all that kind of stuff i've got i've got my collector's editions um i'm only missing vanilla for collector's editions for ce's and um yeah so like i've got that kind of so why do i need the little boxes there have been times where i've taken the stuff out of the little box put it into the ce box and then tossed out the little box just because you know whatever um and i'm keeping the collector's edition boxes so it's okay if they've got stuff in them sort of thing but uh yeah it's a whole thing any mounts yet yeah i got the the tolberard mount we old now geriatric gamers bugger off we're in like come on i'm only in my 30s my early 30s to like at that Where's this walking stick husband only threw in my kind of mouse pad a few weeks ago Nah, uh, stick the mouse pad back in the collector's edition, stick it back on the shelf. This is my Mac community, there are many like it, but this one is mine. It is mine and I loves it. I'm so glad that I've managed to, like, over the years, attract, a, like, this kind of people, you know? Yes. Kids have destroyed it. Oh, bugger. I still would have kept it, put it away. 29, but my knee is 80. Yeah, my autoimmune condition affects my knee. I had arthritis since I was 26. Keys done on a. Um, look, I reckon so. We can do some keys. I do need to up that rating. And I mean, I, it's not like I have two days to do it, but I also don't have two years to do it, so I do need to get onto it. Um, maybe, do, 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 do. maybe I finish this Covenant Assault and then I'll switch to Fear. How does that sound? Mm, it is just. It is indeed. Sounds good. Awesome. Do you do groups with your followers sometimes, or do we sit back and just chill? Um, I don't often do keys. Uh, I'm not capable of carrying or anything like that. So we're not, we're not a key stream. Like it's not, that's not what we do here. Uh, I'm like, yeah, sometimes we bring viewers along, but it's very much like, this is the key we're doing. We need to time it. Who feels comfortable, who, who, who believes that they can time that kind of thing. And if they do, then they more than welcome to come along, that kind of thing. Uh, but it's not like, this is not a, hey, we're just going to give this away to whoever and we can carry you through it because it's not my skill level. Um, but yeah, we do occasionally do bits and pieces that involve viewers, but, um, it's not like a, not a super, super regular thing. 
Um, still jamming Fire Fury Mage? Yes. If we have Dance with Frost, no. I don't enjoy Frost's play, play, play style. I never really have, so I, I don't play Frost. Uh, it's not something that I do at all, ever. Um, I could draw a Mega Bash with my Matrix and be like, why does Mel see on me? I mean, even it's good to watch, see how it's done, trial and error. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, how it's done is probably an overstatement of. Uh, <laughs> But it's fun. We have fun. And that's the point. We have fun. And that's what video games are all about for me. It's it's a happy place. It's having fun. So if I'm not having fun, what's the point? If I'm not enjoying myself, then what am I doing? Yeah, you'll see shortly what, what keys, like, fear does keys looks like. Um, oh, that hurt. I exploded! Ah, uh, there were a bunch of those cone attacks and they all went off and I didn't see them. I know exactly what I did. It's just hilarious. Um, I can't take super serious raiding groups. It's fun to just progress and be chill and not having lots of pressure if we like whatever, though I rarely do mythic. So, so yeah, look, it, if, if you're doing mythic raiding, you do need more of a, like, you, you do need that kind of level of seriousness. Um, but for, like, if your group has the capability to kill that stuff, then you're going to be able to do it as long as you take it mildly seriously. You know what I mean? Like, it's, you don't have to, this isn't, this isn't a life or death situation. You do have to pay attention. You, you have to keep comms clear. It's not just constant shit talking and all that kind of stuff. You do, you do need to actually treat it like it, like the challenge that it is, but it shouldn't need raid leaders barking at people to shut up and because people shouldn't be talking and uh that kind of like it, it's it's when people don't it's when there's differing levels of seriousness amongst the raid team that's when you start having issues because you'll have a couple of people who take it very seriously who do all their pre-prep make sure they've got all their consumables all that kind of stuff and that they're, they're going to concentrate 100 percent during the fight and they're not going to talk because they want to make sure that everyone can hear the raid calls blah 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 and then you'll have the people who rock up with literally nothing they don't they've got pieces missing enchants and and no consumables and they'll just constantly chitter chatter with their friends and all that kind of stuff so when you've got those different levels of, of seriousness in a group, that's when it tends to cause issues. Um, or if you've got a bunch of people who don't take it seriously but think they're top shit and that they don't need to take it seriously because this stuff is easy, we'll just knock it over. And then you have all the competing egos having problems. Those are kind of, yeah. V, Cat, and Harmonic, congratulations to you on your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, from my personal experience, that's when that kind of stuff gets kind of tense and uncomfortable and not fun uh, but as long as everyone in the group is doing content that is appropriate for their skill level and as long as they are appropriately uh, prepared for the content that they're going into like if people have asked for consumables to be got then they've gotten them that kind of stuff like if they're being respected uh, respectable god damn it uh, if they're if they're respecting the time and the effort of their other team members, then everything should be fine. Um, but yeah, mythic raiding is difficult. It's it's not it's not easy. There are a lot of people out there who make it who can make it look easy for sure, but it, it's not. Um, it is a challenge, but it's designed to be. <gasps> Jackie with the resub, sixteen months. Oh my gosh, amazing! Much love. Thank you so much for thank you for your generosity and support. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, one of the big things that I really took away from my um, experience with raid leading and stuff like that is that if you yell at people, all it's going to do is make them more flustered. They're either going to get angry back and retaliate and stuff like that, which is going to distract them from what they're supposed to be doing, or they're going to, ah, oh, shit. Shit. Sorry, um, the Fallen Charges are spawned. And it'll be dead by the time I get anywhere, I'm sure, but...
Oh, bugger. I'm on a different server. Alright. Every time I've seen it spawn, it's come from the same spot. And I'm in the wrong, I'm on the wrong path for it to be this one. I'm going to take the risk. Wait, does it come this way because of the Necrolord? I know there are some weird things about where it goes depending on which invasion's up and stuff like that. Uh, assault, sorry, not invasion. <laughs> it's the same bloody thing. Uh, same mechanics. Is everyone waiting for the charger or? <laughs> I think they think they are, maybe? So he's definitely gone the other way. So all that, all those people on the bridge are going to miss it. Yes, agreed. No one's posted that they've found it. I think it's gone. It does post, it, it has an announcement when it despawns, I believe. When it's killed it does, I know that much, but I don't know. Unless I've been punted back to a different phase after I joined that group. That would piss me off. I think I'm... I think I've missed it. That's something I've been camping on and off every so often. The Fallen Charger. It's got like a 10% drop rate or a 15% drop rate or something. I've killed it a couple of times and it hasn't dropped yet. Otherwise I wouldn't be chasing it, would I? But yeah, it's a... Um... Oof. It's a rough one. The spawn's anywhere between uh, 4 and 12 hours. Yeah, it's a, it's a sticky one. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't find it. It may have just punted me back to a different... Um, What's it? But that's okay. That's 
okay. All right. Um, I'm sure it's a group that's screaming at each other like it's a life or death thing that's insane. That is a group that's playing above their current skill level. Correct. They think they're top shit, and so they're like, yeah, we can do fucking mythic, we just need 20 people. And then they start blaming each other. You need to do more DPS. Nah, you're not tanking properly. Nah, you're not the healers. The healers aren't pulling their weight, etc., etc. They're just, none of them, they're just not capable of doing it. But no one wants to accept that because that's a bruise to their ego, and so everyone just bashes their heads against it until they break apart and destroy, this, destroy themselves as a guild. Like, it's just completely stupid. But it's what they do, because... Egos. Um, there been a bunch of those, remember we have like once little lost shit started kicking people. Yep. Yeah. That's somebody who is afraid of everyone else discovering that they are the issue. <laughs> like, legitimately. Burnish it! Yas, happy! Yas. Look for charger, thanks, Chop. But oh well, unfortunately, could not find, but that's alright. Um, that's definitely not a stream camp kind of thing. That's a, that's an, like, AFK camp while doing housework kind of deal. Unfortunately. No, go, go, go. Please, you say run. Uh, I had a spawn in front of me while I was respawning in the grave. Oh, Veil, vale, that's awesome. Nicely done. Nicely done. I mean, don't get me wrong, if it runs past me, I'll absolutely smack it, but, um, yeah. You bear interesting craftsmanship. It usually gets grabbed well before then. Mmm, yeah, I'm no rating is better than bad rating. Yes, I agree. I agree. And I, like, I mean, I used to be in guilds that were like that, and I used to kind of work my ass off and try to do all that kind of stuff, but it's, like, I'm at the point in my life now where if that's the kind of environment, I'm just going to be like, y'all, I'm out. I'm, I'm done. I don't want to, I'm, I'm not interested in participating anymore. Um, reading, second good restaurant, bad reading is like soft blueberries. <laughs> Uh, this up me so much. Aw, thank you for being here, Jackie. Much appreciated. Intensity. You gotta find a group that's doing the content you wanna do at the level you want to do with a time commitment that suits you. Less commitment won't automatically make it more chill or your experience better and people you gel with absolutely. For sure. 100%. Yeah, that's, that's like literally what it is to it. And it's, it does take a while. Like, the first guild you join likely won't be the group for you. Like, it, it's... It's kind of, it's like picking a therapist or, or, you know, medication and stuff like that just because this is what, what, you know, just because it looks like it'll help in the first place doesn't mean there isn't a better fit out there. You need to, you know, have a shop around and see what you can find. Um, obviously give it a chance, but uh, if, it's just, if you're just not having fun, then don't bother because it's a video game. It's supposed to be fun. Like literally, that's the whole point of its existence is to be fun. So, EAs. Mm, I don't remember to breathe moment. I'm paused watching. Crack you ending the charger. You get it next time. Yeah, I will. It's totally fine. All good. I thought I saw it pop up and I'm like, ooh, wouldn't that be nice for Mount Farm Monday? But um, no such luck. No such joy. That's okay. waiting. <laughs> um, certainly killed Chajor doing more dailies. Didn't even realize it was a different rare. That's hilarious. Well done. Now goes the fight. Even here, we must push I forward. protect the weak. More walker. Signal the advance. Uh, Strange just waiting till I can solo and go back for all the nice transmog. This is the first raid. You can get most of the mythic transmogs without stepping into mythic. Ah, uh, probably, yeah. Uh, probably. I don't think there's ever been like an alternative way of obtaining that kind of stuff. I don't think. I could be wrong. It's been known to happen before. Ah, oh, Jack, did you want to come do keys with us once I get this chest? And the mount it contains. Armies of Maldraxxus, to battle! Caesar 
also the think emote is freaking adorable as well. A new trick for Prince will find just for magic. Ah, brilliant! Last two minutes of shift, something explodes. Of course. Of course. It's because everyone simultaneously goes, oh crap, they close soon. I need to call them today. Oh no, wait, they're gonna kill me. Um, no, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Stones and disorients. And then shift to close another couple hours. I love what you kill. Ah, okay. Fair enough. That's alright. At least it means you're actually being distracted rather than just staring at the clock while it ticks down to the end of shift. Always a good thing. These conquerors are absolute pains in the ass. This is the amount you were fishing for a part of Deep Star Orolid. Drops from Hiracon. With the 6-6 six, six at the start there, Seeker, I was kind of convinced you were trying to summon some kind of demonic uh, squishy. Um. <laughs> them into dust. Fishing, yas. Key six, that's hilarious. Well done. See, I bind it to a mouse button. The side button. So cast, catch, cast, catch. Yeah. Or oh, rather, catch, but you know, whatever. However you hold your mouse. <laughs> yep, the light bulb goes off. Excuse me, very rude. What are you doing? Jumping on my face like that. <laughs> this is really love my kind of fishing, fishing folder. Fire, nice. What's your eye level? Uh, this one is 202.94. Um, if you're asking about my main, more than that. 250 something. I need to wow better? No, no, it's like, it's those little things you just don't quite think of. Like I've always used my, like my mouse buttons for like cooldowns and stuff like that. So I don't have to, you know, have funky key combos and bullshit like that. Um, because it's easy, it's quick. It means I get it off when I need to get it off. Uh, but yeah, and I, it, that also translates to stuff like mount, uh, uh, fishing, excuse me. And stuff like that. Anything like anything that needs to be repeatedly pressed like that, I'll just stick it on the on the mouse and go for it. It's great. Same again. Nah, you just pick up things from other people. There's no harm in it. 
you hear someone who has a good idea, you go, oh, that's funky, and then you copy them. You know, adopt the idea. Mmm, okay. Evelana the Dread, may I have a mount, please? The more cowers before us! Loktar, brothers and sisters! Undying Darkhound! Seven attempts. That's okay, it's fine, it's fine! Yeah, you can't do it. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Whatever. I've got two of the body same one. And then I'm gonna upgrade it again. Good. <sighs> Whatever. Uh alrighty. So I've done Melissa. I'm gonna jump onto Fia. See if we can't do some kiss. Oh good lord. Mm, good morning, imagine. How you doing? Let's see if we chase this life changed. It's good, isn't it? It's good. I have a little section of my LVI where one of them is like button one and then middle button and then button two on the side. Yeah. So everyone, I don't have to run these bloody mount dungeons. <laughs> one day, Panda, one day you're gonna, like, I've gotten to the point where there's not, like, there's maybe two or three mounts that I can get from raids. And I can't really solo many of them at all. Like, not, at least not on all 50 tunes. So I'm like... <sighs> It's a thing. It's a thing. Do you guys like your Wordle channel? Oh, goodness gracious me. I am apparently quite tired. Banana tape? I don't do them at all. So that's, you know, I, I do not desire to add another thing to my daily to-do list currently. <laughs> um, oh, here's Jeff's online. I'm back. Run away, little girl. Run away.
Okay. Oh, what have I got? Let me see. I cannot type today. There we go. <laughs> so we're doing a theater of pain, apparently. Um, I've got a 13, Jas has got a 15. So I reckon that's probably what we're doing. Um, anyone in chat feel comfortable and confident timing 13s or 15s? Uh, I am 257.5 to the person who was asking earlier about eye level. I don't remember who it was. Um. No, I just need to think one of us, one of us. No, I don't have, I don't have time. Okay, like every so often, if Jas is doing his wordle, like while I'm in the vicinity, then I'll help him out with his. And usually it's all good for him. Um, <laughs> like yesterday. That was great. He's standing there. He's like, I don't know what I, I don't know what it is. Like, I, and I'm looking, and I'm like, try this. And he goes, oh, bam, yep. <laughs> it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. I'm good at puzzles. That's what I do. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I've got enough on my daily plate to add my add myself another quest unnecessarily. With the eyes. Yeah, this is Chair. Chair is the most supportive member of the stream. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, I got home for the best bit. Chair stream, how are you today? Yes. This is um, Yes, but on you. Oh, bugger saint. That's okay. Thank you, anyway. I'm so the ages of being a whole conversation with Chair. Brilliant. Wonderful. You want to do a 13 lander? Are you tank killer DPS? I always forget. Or do you play on EU servers? I also forget that. Confused. I'm fine. Uh, technically Floor is more supportive than Cher. Yeah, but Floor is not anything. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> Look, you! DPS? Alright, awesome. Alrighty. Strength means everything um. to the Maldraxi. Prove that none can match you in the arena. Uh, do I have you on mm, yes. I'm assuming that's the right tune. Yes. That should go through Jazz. He should be able to hit that. Um, it's in the back has no eyes. Exactly. Exactly. It's different. It's different. <sighs> I need to put a rug so you can't. Anyway, it's fine. Um, anyone else looking for a DPS and a healer? Otherwise, we will pug. That's totally okay. Um, oh, do the 15. Okay. Perfect. We're gonna do 15 top. I forgot a healer and a DPS who are comfortable doing 15s. You're more than welcome to join us. You can type exclamation invite into chat and you'll get a copy paste that you can send me, like a copy paste that will make it easier to whisper me, depending, like, regardless of what server you're on. Of course, it needs to be North America region, needs to be Horde. Um, otherwise, we will pu -pu -pu pug. I'm gonna get some work done tonight. I mean, I could take mod off you and then time you out, but that doesn't sound like a very nice thing to do. What work are you doing, Shiba? Vague is fine. 
trying to get your mind focused on that. Yes, meaty. Yes. Oh my god, why am I so good at tired? I must have slept like poop last night. Those conversions, brilliant. Yeah, you should definitely get on those. Because there'll be people who are relying on that. And, you know, it's a good thing. It's a nice thing to do. Just get them done. Even if you do end up, like, getting it done before your deadline, you then have a couple of days to kind of go back to it tomorrow and be like, hmm, do I want to tweak that or something? You know what I mean? Like, it's a good idea to get things done early. Uh, oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, and change my talents. Good. I can do that. Uh, what, did I already change the talents? No, I did not. Oops! God damn it. I hate myself sometimes. Unless... So many fucking buttons. So many buttons. I'll be fine. Let's. <clears throat> The, um, I swear to god it's the weather. It's just been so sticky and humid and gross. Take along my major top. Only if you don't report his name. I can't guarantee that. If it's an inappropriate name, then like that's not okay no matter who has it, you know. Um gosh. I mentioned the other day. The commission mentioned the other day or Um, it hasn't stayed place. Well done. Well done. You've been a ghost and it's been raining like crazy and cold here. I'm, I'm near Brisbane City and it's, it's been raining almost constantly, but it's also not been very cold. Um, like I've had laundry take three days to dry on a rack because it's like stuff that I can't toss in the tumble dryer because it's like delicate and stuff like that. Uh, and it's taken literally, even though it's fine and delicate and stuff, it's taking two to three days to dry just because of the humidity in the air. It's disgusting and gross. I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, Metaphors will get all slimy. Yes. Slimy. Fair enough. Ah, uh, we'll be back lately. Yeah, it has been a bit iffy. Uh, and then the flood watch we had the other day. All good and fun. All good and fun. Da da da. Uh, like, Neke, Loza, Harmonic, Kata, and Silver. Congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Good job. Boss defeated. Boss defeated. On to the next one. Good morning, Ness. How you doing? It's so sunny and warm to sit down for overnight. I was back and forth. Just doing a lot of gross things to my mental health. Sucks. Overnight. Lucky you. It switches back three times over the space of 20 minutes here. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh it's it's not it's not fun. It's not fun. Uh here so is messing with you. Mm. Hmm. Okay, I think we do a pug.
Okay, so we're inside, right? Okay, whack, yeah. It's it has been it has been very interesting here the last couple of like the last week or so really, I think. Everything's just been quite um variable. Um, I'd be feeling okay. You feel on the floor of the car. I can reach you, so you stayed there. <laughs> I fell on the floor. Like, you dropped me, meaty. You dropped me. How dare? How dare? Do you find me having two stressful weeks? Finish up my major essay for uni studies. Not sure what it's called, but yeah, intense. Now you to relax. Oh, fantastic, Ness. That's so good to hear. Congratulations. Regardless of what grade you get from here, you did the thing, and that is one hell of an accomplishment. So good job. Well done. Well done. Uh, I am, I'm doing okay. I'm very yawny. I'm, I seem to be really tired, but I can't, I think I must've just slept like poop yesterday. I'm, I'm not too sure, but I'm not feeling super awesome. Uh, but um, apart from that, I've been quite productive today. I'm very happy with that. Um, yeah, I've, I've done some fiddling with my new laptop and my phone and I've worked out, like I've paired them up and I'm, Transferring things back and forth and and having a blast with that. So that's good. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's been good so far so good I'm the driver and camera bends perfect meaty totally fine wait jazz come help summon good god It's tyrannical this week, right? Oh, hang on, I can't hear you again. <laughs> there we go, how's that? Hello? Oh, no. I'm on push to talk. There we go. Fixed. Uh, just tank and only tank, no summon. Well, I mean... Brilliant. Has everyone gotten the... Yep. Yeah. Awesome sauce. Let us in zone. Oh, yeah, for coastal good times. Uh, it's tyrannical this week, yeah, Jazz? Mm -hmm. So does that mean I can save my cooldowns for the bosses? No. Oh. <laughs> But I wanna. <laughs> Actually, this is great for meeting to study top. Fun, interesting. Like, if, if it's the pool before an arena boss, yeah, you can save your cooldowns for that. Alright. Like, it's one mob. <laughs> Which one is Jack? Pick. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Hello, Jack. Hey. Congratulations on finishing up your uh, on call. Hey, Jack, you reckon I could double pull the trash here? Yeah, he is quite. I've turned him down oh. so many times the last couple of weeks. Oh, no, I lied. He's on 166% volume. Isn't one of them inspired? Wait, what? No. Found out in you know, five minutes when we pull it. No. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. I'm feeding my story in the south coast. Oh, good. It's waking me. We usually, like, invest skip the men and pull the water and water the water. Yeah. That requires everybody having pots. Mm. Yeah, contender. Welcome, That's a shame. one and all, to the theater of pain. It seems these upstarts think they can compete Dispel. with the best combatants in all of Maldraxxus. Ha! I'll believe it when I see it. Either way. We just have to double pull that. <laughs> Your damage is nutty. 
Ah, uh, you know, it's sometimes better to be safe than sorry. I can spell still the healy thing, just by the way. <laughs> and it actually heals me. Dispel Boris. Dispel Boris. Um, well, there we go. Dispel boss. Dispel boss. I will not be beast on your souls. Uh Trank does you, thank you. Your agony should prove enlightening. <sighs> Dispel boss. Dispel boss. Super cool to use a new writing feature. That would be super cool. Even if it's just one dungeon that has a section you have to fly through, it'd be cool. Hey, Noisy. We get to dispel boss. You know what's even better, Shiva, is when I do dispel it and the, the, the buff, the debuff jumps to me, it says dispel boss again. It thinks I'm a boss. I'm a boss. The priest wanted mage food. I dropped mage food twice already. Good fucking god. <laughs> yeah, I did see. I'm not paying it. I know. Well, oh, like. So uh -oh. fleeting, so that was not what I wanted. Yeah. Interrupt. 
Put your little TikToks out there. Because the TikToks are, are clips. Shot, what is that from? Which, what song is that? That's gotta be song lyrics. Oh, no, Shiba, you can drag Landar up. You, you have permission. Yeah, we busy. Um, I, I understand the reluctance and I appreciate that you take that responsibility very seriously, but you absolutely can in this case. Interrupt. Yeah. So good, at least you don't have the hard cars on strike yet. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, they're all dead. Mm, that aim shot damage. <laughs> um. Yep. Sorry, my friend. Please don't look us. Bougie Jerry, I kept on the better ones. <laughs> Thank you, Seeker, for plugging the social media. And please do follow. Would very much appreciate. Uh, it really does help, like, immeasurably. Well, no, it's actually probably very measurable, but I can't measure it yet because I'm not big enough just yet. Drops on the Magus. I always forget which way I'm going. Arg. This way. Uh, hello, Rusty. We had Mount Farm. Uh, what's it called? Um, KSM Mount's a mount. It has a name. We don't know yep. what the name is. I can't it remember what it is. It's the Red Swirly. The Red Swirly of Death. It's a mount. This is how you get the mount. You do Mythic Plus. Is absolutely mount farming. Brilliant. Uh, I just to to right know done did the thing. Awesome. Uh, ten thirty three. Ooh, ten thirty three followers on the Instagrams. Can we get another two? <laughs> For today. Uh huh. I mean, hey, if we hit that goal, we can always bump it up. See if we can't get another five. Every single one your step? is a step towards 10k. Like. A 10k is the big one, the big number. What's um, your else's? That's when the, the world of Instagram really opens up to you, but every thousand on the way there definitely helps. But yeah, every. Every individual follower is another one towards 10k. Watch your step. We don't have an AoE stun for this group, do we? I've got the Disorient, the Dragon's Breath. So I'll just stop the whole thing. It's in the Construct Quarter. I can just mask her from the bone up there. That works too. Focus the bone magus. Watch your step. Watch your step. So bind up. Roll interrupts as well, please. We're making more kilos life. Anyway. Watch your step. Watch your step. Oh, I, I can focus targets, by the way. I, I cannot choose. Uh, stretch goals! Let's do it that way. The other two to do it at least. <laughs> Um, yes, contribute embers was a leveling stream goal. Tomorrow, pre-vote, don't get fired, my license cancelled. Uh, good. 
Good. Not for Monday looks a lot like top. It does indeed pick a welcome on in. Uh, this is because I don't have my KSM mount yet. And this is an opportunity for me to get a couple of keys in. Um, we did some Tolbarad at the start of stream, and I got my Tolbarad commendations mount, which is fantastic, finally. Let that one slide. I um, was doing some Coven and Assaults because it's Necrolord week, and there's a mount in those caches. And we're just doing a bit of a pause to do a couple keys, uh, because this is a time that my housemate and best friend has available to do keys before he goes off to raid. Right. So we'll be back to Covenant Assaults real soon. For God's sake, I was on the hands! Watch your step. I'm so good at this. Are you kidding me? Watch your skin. Chop up back here. Oh gosh. Let your fears consume you. Watch your skin. Relinquish your soul. Let your feet stay for you. Relinquish your soul. Let your fears Watch your skin. Relinquish your soul. Really Watch your step. In fact, I don't like DPS for like a third of this vibe. I know. It just sucks. Relinquish your soul. Every single draw soul. I haven't missed one. Yeah, I don't know why. I, just, I, just <laughs> not end oh, I wasn't getting draw soul, which is yeah. Our challenges have passed That's the first weird. trial. Yeah, I, literally every single cast. Because, yeah. <laughs> so, I, yeah, can't do shit. Military area. Ah, well. It's over now, and that's what matters. Bitch is dead. Oh, my other flag. Try and of sight that arbalist. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh well, it's worth an attempt. Mm. Should be watching next step. I know, right? Welcome to chat, indeed. So Zim has revived my fun of the game. Oh, good, Seeker. I'm so pleased to hear that. There is so much to collect in Zim, hey? And the catch up gear is fantastic. It does make the rest of the game just a whole chunk easier to do, which makes it more fun. Because, I mean, a challenge is good, but a bonkers challenge is not so fun. Uh, 
ones that kind of like hold my beer. Things are obviously brilliant. Interrupt. <clears throat> this guy would be a lot more scary if he was actually dangerous. Come here. Why would you say something like that? Interrupt. You know you're I gonna like screw it up. It. Yeah, but you're tempting fate. Don't. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. Keep it to yourself. See, even Jack agrees I don't do that much damage. Interrupt. If I really wanted to, I'd grab the next pack as well. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah, a no. death knight. I don't care. We don't want to be death mages and death hunters, okay? Interrupt. Completely fine and not scary at all. Ah, everyone lost the raid. Good job, guys. Well done. No me on the other hand is yeah. Interrupt. I'm gonna stand here and jump on this for a moment. Nah, go faster. I needed to get my extra thick shield. Interrupt. <clears throat> Move them out of my flame patch. Alright, that wasn't my fault. The obelisk ran away. Don't chase it. Chase I'll it when everything else it. is dead. The obelisks are the dangerous things. Conscripts, not so much. The obelisks are killing you guys, not me. I was far enough away that I was out of range of it. <laughs> You mean now? Yep. Yes. Where is that captain? Well, there he is. I mean, you, you can last after the first fight as well, depending on who gets it. You had yes. best make this what do you want then? Tell me. Hey, it's less It's only a 15. <laughs> Attack totem. We have the best tactic. Watch your step. Can you match my strength? So I'm ficked. Um, Just <laughs> turn around and let him. Attack totem. Yeah. And you guys back here. We can start and die right away. <laughs> yeah, we're good. My blade knows no Not exactly where I would have put your resonating arrow. What's your step? Can you match my strength? Still got a good die out of it. Oh. And we're fire locked again. That, it, that circle is bugged. Yes, it's a lot bigger than it should be. I'm up against the wall. No, I cannot get further wall, away. No, no, it's shout at the same time, doesn't it? Yeah. That's so the, the circle is just a big damage component. 
Right, okay. So I have to stop casting for that bit. Gotcha. <laughs> It's called Definitely Crash. There's no shell component to that. You show me what you can do. It's still cast if you can't hear. Attack totem. Fall before the storm. I would recommend not stunning people in the PvP. Yeah, you want to just let somebody win as fast as possible because you need the damage Three up here. Guys are coming back during the cleave section. Yeah. That's not a good idea. The idea is whoever is the better player, the other one sits down, turns around, all that kind of stuff. It just and there's no shame in that. It's just you know, <laughs> get the thing done as fast as possible so that everybody wins. Ever has killed us. I don't bother turning around because I know how bloody squishy I am. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Captain will play catch up soon. Fear must become one with them. There he is. Yeah, for Buck of Buck. Hi, the Sunwell. Brilliant. Hello, Matt. Thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Fear Nadi. Hope you're having an awesome day. Look what we have here! Oh, ah. <laughs> Screw you! Can I get one to stay in front of me for five seconds, please? Uh, no. Pretty sure the answer to that is absolutely no. Buddy, big men, best men. Interrupt. stack up or something so they stop jumping around like that. Half my casts okay, aren't going off. as they jump right at the end of every single fucking cast you do, so none of them go off. Awesome day. Can somebody get into WoW but are recommending me to play from 1 to 60, whereas I want to just level skip to 60 so I can jump in and play with them because I'm not having fun going through the game by myself while I play the high level stuff. Um, they are, they are right. Um, 
the game is huge. If you use a boost and go straight to 60, you are given your entire kit all at once and no instructions on how to use any of the spells, no kind of, you don't get to learn anything about your class at all. You're just dumped into the end game. Uh, boosts are basically intended for players to like boost up an alt without having to go through the leveling experience, that kind of thing. I would absolutely agree with your friends on this one. Uh, Kat, like Loza, Meaty and Draz, congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done, well done. Um, but if they want you to play and you're not having fun, then why can't they level a new character with you? Like they can level an alt alongside you so that you can still play together while you're all leveling together. They end up with a bunch of alts, which is great. And then you get to 60 and you actually know how to play your class and then you can play with them. Like that's, that to me would be the more intelligent way to do it. Um, you might, you might be able to phrase it to them like, hey, you know, you want me to play with you, but I'm not having fun. Either you play with me or I don't play. Uh, and that's a very reasonable, that's incredibly reasonable. Uh, but yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend boosting your very first character at all because there's just so much about the game that will never be explained to you and you'll be in, like, it'll get to that kind of point where you're like, what the hell is even going on? There is too much here to learn. I give up, I stop playing, you know? And I've seen countless people do that same thing. You might also hate Paladin. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of, that would be my recommendation is to get the friends who are pushing you to play to actually play with you, level with you. Uh, they can make another character and do it. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't cost them any extra. So, yeah. Channels are ready to play the game as you do it. There is a lot you learn along the way. There is a crap load. Yeah. There is an absolute crap load you learn along the way. Like, it's game-changing levels of knowledge that you will not acquire if you don't level a character. It would be good if they fed that info to us somewhere else somehow, but they don't. Um, a little confusing to why some things work some ways. Um, and give what all the people are playing for now, but make you happy, jump on in, always slowly level a character later. I, I would honestly disagree with that, Seeker. I've seen countless people jump in, Brewster Tune, and then stop playing within a month or two just because they don't understand anything, and it's too confusing, and they just give up. Um, like, a large portion of people who do that end up not playing anymore. So if you want this to have longevity, I would recommend leveling your first character for, like, I'd, I'd actually, yeah. Um, have you played Mythic Plus before? Hey, Grizzly. Yeah, I do occasionally. Uh, especially when there's a mount involved. Uh, plus boost to 50, so you still need to reach 60. No, boosts are to 60 now, aren't they? No, I yeah, no, neither have I, but I'm pretty sure boosts are 60 these days. I could be wrong. Gonna chop you up. Ah, if you also make some new to game. Gonna chop you up. If they want to play with you, maybe they should actually play with you. Like, <laughs> legit, you know. That's kind of, that's my feeling on this. To be honest. Oh, absolutely. Leveling characters is, is brilliant. If I ever wanted someone to actually, like, if I ever actually pressured somebody to play, I would 100% be leveling a character with them. No questions. Like, that is that is something that I would do. Um, I'd probably have to get a trial account to do it, <laughs> um, or, or, like, a second account to do it, but I would absolutely do that. Um, this is one of the reasons I don't pressure people to play the game, because I don't want to level with them. Uh, I've done my leveling, and I tend to level as a solo player game because I enjoy it that way. Uh, but yeah, if someone asks and pressures somebody else to play, it is their responsibility to ensure that that person has fun. And if they're not having fun, then they're allowed to not play anymore. 
<laughs> like video games are meant to be fun. Run. Great. Welcome on in summoning. Hope you're having a good day. What was that, chat? I managed to disengage up. Run. You did a what now? Disengage <laughs> up. That's a good yeah. job. No path available. Path you. Experience information overload makes it less fun than leveling. Yup. So there's some wear tokens unused waiting for right moment. Just level on alt, but all alt point by point. I have a full account, and I've got three boosts still sitting there. Uh, I can't use them because I have no character slots left, but that's okay. Leveling's my jam. Please go for another level, boost one, two, it's back in back in the game. Touch, continue the rotation is. Return to the central chamber! It's time to begin the main event! Um, I'm still gonna boost then. I guess still a 50 at the moment. I thought it was 60. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to always quick leveling. Yeah, it is super fast. But if you're st if there's someone's not having fun doing that though, regardless of the speed, then that's that's their like that's valid. They're allowed to not be having fun. Um, so they agree level to me. If not, I'll give them round to the find someone who's willing to play with me. There's plenty of people in this server who'll probably pay with you. Not gonna lie. Um, there's a lot of um a lot of people in this community who are leveling alts and stuff like that. Um, especially with things like party sync available, where someone who's a higher level can drop down. In fact, you could get your, your friends to do that with you. They don't have to necessarily create a new character. They can party sync down to your level so that you still get the appropriate XP in that. And they can get some fun rewards for it too, if that's something that they might be interested in. But, um, failing that, there'll be plenty of people in this community who'll probably be interested as well. Especially considering that there's transmog you can get through party sync that you cannot get any other way. Cough, cough. Stand near me. Damn it. Stay away Reaches beyond your mortal ken. Come out to the edge of the room. Easier to dodge shit. Interrupt. Stay away from me. Shall be swept into oblivion. <laughs> Stay My away from magic lines. reaches beyond your mortal ken. All things <laughs> must end. He's an explorer. I am at 1k. 1023. Oh, wow. Oh, honey, yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Brilliant. I forgot that dropped from, uh, from top. Oh, dear. So we're doing DOS. Yeah, well, guess what? 
I mean, can't you talk to the Keystone Trader and change it? No, he only drops it by one. No. I will drop it by one, though. But I still don't want it. I mean, I've got a 13 that I can change, but it'll drop to a 12, right? It, it doesn't no. change no? the thingy. Oh, okay. You, you can talk to this guy and it will change your fee. That's what I meant, yeah. Just it's saying that's not yours, how it works. But he won't change mine. Right, so do you want me to change the 13 to something different? Just do the DOS. I don't okay. want to do it, but you can do it. Well, I've already got a DOS in my thing, is all. Get a I've... DOS from last week. Yeah, true. Alright, uh... Drop a portal. Um, should play time starts. Questing seemed to average a bit over two days to get one character to 60, depending on how much time he's put into it. For two to two days. Okay, I'm thinking of you as well. I am, absolutely. I can wrath if friend came, best time ever, if friends and then together with two days, not a lot. Some games are far grindier. Yeah, but I mean if you're playing two hours a day, that's twenty-four days. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it adds up, but like, two days played is not the same as two so we days. We don't have a night fate in the group, do we? Uh not currently, I don't believe. Not that I've seen. Haven't seen any blue globby shit. You can throw your job for friends when you play, never fun, definitely leaves a sour taste in your mouth as a game. Um, found the leveling of people slows me down a bit at the start of Lands of my first 60 end of the day. Other people like, yeah, we time level together, took an extra day or so. Yeah, it, it slows everybody down, uh, in my opinion. Like, just waiting and checking and are we going here and are we going there and blah blah blah, all that kind of stuff. I prefer to level my alt solo. On day one, I'll play with Jas because it's a fun experience that he and I share. But, um, beyond that, yeah, not. Nah. I'm solo. I, I level solo. Ah, oh, he's gonna camp stuck with an extension. I haven't played the tune. Can't wait for new expansion. Fantastic. Give me Discord with them. They're all playing WoW and they sound like they're having a really fun time while I'm doing boring questing by myself. Then speak up. Tell them that. Like, tell them. Communication is literally everything. No matter what type of relationship it is, if you don't communicate, they can't know that you're not having fun. You're in there with them and they're having fun, so they may well think you are having fun too. You need to talk to them. Tell them how you feel. Tell them what you want. And if they can't give you that, then you don't play with them. Easy peasy. Um, don't judge me, my friend, that's where it's at. Hello, Trud. My first time playing my house, hold run straight into a lion down. Not fun. We're still doing that in BFA. I do that all the time. Mortal Ken, what about Mortal Barbie? Not gonna lie, I still find myself doing it. Oh, absolutely, happy bug. Absolutely. Um, is this a grind for the KSM mount? Little bit by little bit, yes. My 16 Gambit, I never read it all. Hey, yeah. Gambit or DOS? Uh,. I've got a 10 Fortified Gambit and a 14 Overtime DOS, so I think the Gambit's probably going to get me more right. points, right? Yep. Do we have a healer in the chat that wants to come? Ah, uh, yeah. Do we have a healer who would be who would consider themselves capable of a 16 Gambit key? Um, give me just so much fun. It is fun. Um, hello, Loza. Welcome on in. Ow. I've never, never run a Gambit before. <laughs> It's not too hard off. They've nerfed it to Kingdom coming back. Did you ever do Tazavesh as it was normally? Once. Cool. Read the dungeon journal. Just refresh yourself on the mechanics, you'll be fine. Um, I could you're a little bit newbie for me. Aw, oh, Dale, such a pity. Don't really care. Don't really want Elita Spoke in our party anyway. Um Try to heal the key. Nah, it's alright. Not if people are busy. Like, I, I don't, I'm not trying to call people out individually to see. There's a very specific reason for that. I don't want to anybody to feel like they have to come and do something. So, yeah. Please don't do that. It's not fun. Oh, what other stuff am I... Don't, totally fine, Loz. Not a worry. Not a worry at all. Uh, looks like we... Yes. Pugging. Shouldn't be too hard this one. Nah. The Arbiter Perfect. sees all truths. All right, I'll just tell you, tell me what to shoot and, and, and interrupt. <laughs> Don't even play the game, just watching to see what it looks like. What, then what's the point in trying to like, aggravate people? I don't understand. I mean, if that's what you think is fun, then I mean, enjoy, I guess, but oh, not really a very nice thing to drop into a place and the first thing you do is insult the people that you're using for entertainment. 
not not a super nice thing to do. Ah, uh, unfortunately this is gonna be really bad at fire mage. It's okay. If you're having fun, what does it matter? Ah, uh, all of them, Jess. Assume everyone. Assume everything. Either way, I'm probably pulling a lot of them. I mean, obviously. Obviously. He's trying to learn. Oh yeah, of course, absolutely. You get there. This looks so easy. <laughs> no. Keep in mind that I've been maining fire for a very long time and I'm still not very good at it. Like, my numbers are not great. I, I can push buttons quickly, but it's, um, my my numbers are not, not super good and that's okay. I have been. It just feels like shit to do that. And then you go and pull your bloody mobs out of my flame patch. That wasn't like, my fault. It walk was. Out. Bo don't, don't, don't let them walk out. You're the goddamn tank. Mob control. Do your job. If they're inspired, I literally can't stop them. <laughs> they weren't inspired. I always single target down the inspired mob before I start spamming flame strike. Because why the hell would I? Because I'll just waste half my casts. It's like a three and a half second cast. I'm not wasting all that time. If you tell me to spam something and then move shit out of it, I'm gonna stop spamming it. I wasn't moving anything out of it. Um, you don't know if I'm very difficult to my leg. Stand still and cast. I don't usually have to stand still and cast because I've got. Uh, huh? What? Can anybody help me summon? Oh, there you are. There was an orange nameplate over your name. I couldn't see that you were actually making yeah, a thing. Yeah. Um, I'm really, really good with range, I don't know what I'm doing with fire mage. Hey, well, I mean, you've only been doing it for how long, Loz? Like, you gotta practice. <laughs> good lord. I can't stop why I die so easy. I've been healer for so long. Ah, itchy nose. Uh, two weeks with the max. Exactly. Like, god, give yourself a break. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so are we good? Yep. Cool, cool. In we go. Ah, uh, people feeling excited about making dragons? I'm looking forward to getting more information. I don't think we have enough information to start getting excited and making plans and stuff yet. I think we just, we need more info first. Alright, Linda, you G stone thing in my bob is right here. Yeah, but the healer's not in the instance yet. <laughs> yes, he is. He teleported to the gambit, but. Oh. See? Oh, there he is. Mm hmm. Dropped a table. What's the bit they asked me for a table two minutes in? <laughs> Always the way. Life of Mage. Let's go. Oh, to see what they do with it. Such potential. Yeah, it'll be really interesting. I'm I'm looking forward to more info. Linda? That was the timer for you to press go in the key. Right, okay. Um, should we try that again? No, yeah, just go. Nobody transformed or anything. Alright. Go. Let's go. <laughs> I got watching the video. Oh baby. Give oh, me another no, no, no. Oh no. Just 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 we don't know the the we don't know the healer, so just be careful, yeah? Treat That's them nicely. I don't care. Just test them first. They could have been oh, carried, they could have paid for it.
Onward. Don't walk out there. I'm not. <laughs> no, it was just land all pets went for a swim. Oh, right. Yeah, our no, pets shouldn't aggro that stuff, right? Yeah, it, ran, it ran in the water. Crowd control. Attack totem. Your stick. On it. I always forget that I can grow those. <laughs> Mostly because it's the most ridiculous thing I could possibly grow. It's really funny to watch too. <laughs> like it's a giant. Oh. Fish stick. Kill it. the storm go up fast. Stand it up. Crowd control. Attack totem. Ah, the orbs, right. Uh, if you'll work, yeah. Crowd control. Attack <sighs> totem. Fish sticks. Attack totem. Two set. Slightly harder. Usually, I skip the um, all way here. Crowd control. Attack totem. We have three range, so it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Just watch out for the bat. Power eludes your grasp, Actually, I'll bring him in here. A planet of your cartel. Watch your feet. Power without wisdom right. leads to ruin, Solia. Watch your feet. Run. Watch your feet. Run. It's 
see how your wisdom fares against what the might need? of the titans. That's well. a long crackle strip. Oh yeah. <laughs> back to back. Boy, boy. Run. Run. Watch your feet. Okay. Last on pull here, please. You desecrate these holes. Thank you. Sorry about that. No, it's not. I know, but it's still... It's still not okay. Special coming. Somebody do the console, please? Yeah, the... Um, yep. Jack is. Where are we going? Ah, I see. Chat, uh, chat, chat. It's facing towards me. Uh, yellow top. Land dog, come right. to me. Come to the blue Toad, square. Toad, go to the blue square. And then click on the thing I'm standing next to. Shockwave. Here is here. Celia's arrogance will be her downfall. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Working my ass off. If I'm not still growing, I'm gonna be pretty pissed with myself. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it too. So I'm very slowly like working my way through chat. I'm not gonna be responding to everyone because there are some conversations you guys are having between yourselves, and I feel like I can skip over those. Okay, and and yep, but that was directed at me, so I thought I'd respond properly. God damn it. Oh really? Okay, sure. That's fun. Okay. 
and see that under me. Still dealing with every fucking death strike. Shit. This is good. Turn. Enjoy your rest to see ya. usually go uh 9 a.m till 11 p.m for saturday um the times that the expo the, the times that the actual places open is on there's no schedule but there's opening hours on the website um the expo hall will close at like eight or something i think it is or ten um but the panels will continue on until late night on the Saturday. So no, oh, I'm thinking with me. Then, if they want you to play, but they don't, they, if they want to play with you, but won't play with you, then why the hell are you like? That's no, that's not okay. That's not okay. They don't sound like very good friends, to be perfectly honest. Watch out for the out. Yeah, we're across the way. Jack's the closest to them. <laughs> mm. That sucks. It does, yeah. They, they don't sound like particularly good friends. Without, like, just off this situation, I'm sure there are plenty of other situations in which they're fantastic friends, but from this one, it doesn't sound very nice. Ah, oh, you get so much time in that puzzle phase now. I hate it when you only have 15 seconds to do it. Nah, it was more fun that way. Go, 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 go! Gotta have good communication. But now that, like, people are doing this without, um, like, being in voice comms and all that kind of stuff, then yeah, it, it, you need a little bit extra to be able to type it all out and shit. <laughs> um, when I'm gonna go for PayPal my bank. I mean, I feel you. Every month, Sheeps. Every month. Because, like, hell, I'm paying extra fees to have it happen instantly. Gifa. Let's just get back. Right, okay. Well, that wasn't very obvious at all. Um. Oh, well, I'm here now. This is literally, like, the fourth time I've ever run this section of the dungeon. Okay, let it go, yas. They want a fifth for something. We're hyping me to play though. I can fill that spot. Oh, so they want something from you. They want you to make their lives easier, but won't help you enjoy it. Yeah, nah, shit friends. Absolutely shit friends. Can make it so that um, the ads will follow you, Lando. Try and line them up with all of the other ads on everybody else. So I can blast them with the dragon. Yeah, you gotta catch him in a breath like that to kill him. Oh, that was juicy. Wasn't there the achievement for this one was to like kill twenty five somethings with a single breath or something ridiculous? Probably. Can we move her so that we can still pull them behind the breath and- yeah. Cool. Target you. I can't get out of that. I had anchor shot and was stuck underneath her. Sorry. Yep. It was, yeah, literally nothing I could have done there, unfortunately. Even tried to ice block. Maybe I was just too late. To pieces. Take no prisoners. Ah. Uh, they're all right there. Yeah, but like, <laughs> at least give me some warning. Fuck. Put me smack bang in the middle of the thing. Stop moving. Can you stop moving? I have anchor shot. I cannot not move. Taking another hit. <laughs> Would not have been over that side of the room if I did not have anchor shot. Good God. 
Just gotta communicate. Just gotta communicate. to me good question i didn't see it anchor shot finished me off i was at 29 percent health i took 20k it would 20 and a half k and it killed me i was already low god damn oh, at least it's something that i couldn't have prevented that time <laughs> oh it does but that's right. There are easy ways to do it. You just need to be just, yeah, all the communication. Alright. Spread. <laughs> I was in a loading screen. <sighs> Must you hound my every step? That sucks. <laughs> you cannot control this power. Alright, there's the a portal here. In a Take that. You in here yet, Lando? Hmm. Yeah. Alright, come over here. We go over I'm not a paladin! Uh... I see you. So look at this. It's worth it. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Definitely something to save up for. Before the packs, me too. Just eleven. Yeah, keep in mind that you're gonna be in the Melbourne CBD though. Uh, and like everything is open till like three in the morning. You're right next to the casino, which is twenty-four hours, like you'll be fine. Food is fine. Unless, of course, Sika doesn't want to be the token mum friend, in which case she's allowed to not be. Hey, can you jump in here and um, flood off these ghosts? Nope. After this? <laughs> I'm. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm good. Yeah, Mr. Drip. Yeah, that's right. I got one of the heals, but I, I can't get the other because my cooldowns are batshit. Uh, Slayer! Amazing! Is that a, I can't see if it's a sub or a gifted sub. It's a sub! Amazing, thank you so much for your prime sub. Welcome to the Fianati. Brilliant and awesome. I know I'm behind on chat, guys. I'm just busy. Damn it, what the hell am I pressing? Everything, wrong, good. Somehow I hit my reply button. I'm very good at this. Um. Ah, oh, emote only mode's not gonna help. Mythic Plus always puts me behind on chat, but it's alright. After this dungeon, I'll like speed read. I'll be good. I'll be well, fine. Ah, oh, this will be the last one. Okay, perfect. There you go. Which one, Right. What? 
If you go max range, you can see when they're coming. Target changed. And you'll be fine. Just stand at max range from the mob and you'll be able to see when that stuff's coming. Very easy. Watch your Oh. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the tear dupe. For the biddy. Such a cute little biddy. Alright, seven and a half minutes. I will make can we do it? Yes, we can. Anyway. Save us. Guards, remove coming. these pests. Special coming. No assessment. Uh, two assassin. Into now no assassin. No assassin. <laughs> Watch the stars. Are you gonna handle those stars? Yep. Cool. Special coming. Apocalypse. Okay, let me just open it again. All right, the other one did. It's alright if hey if they can take it and keep themselves he up. Wants to do it. Yeah, that's his point. Absolutely. He's got a hit with Guards! I don't know. doesn't have the burst healing, so it's better for them to pop up when they can drink. Sorry, I pulled right on that circle. I'm just He's attacking a star now. Alright, Lando, there's gonna be a bunch of stars that spawn. Go hide behind one. See these things? Go stand behind one. One each. One each. Yep, when you get an arrow on you, it has to go through the star. The red arrow is in a second. That one. Make the point to go through there. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Been good. Alright, kick her out. Lust? The watch power of the first ones. Mind to control. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't get, don't get, don't touch either Chinese. The Chinese are bad. Lion ruin. <laughs> don't do what Jack did. I can feel them all. The tools of creation at my command. Oh, don't double. Don't, don't double soak over the What's game. the healer's fault? You just let him Should I take a stack? No, let the healer do it. Okay. Good, can... The first ones! Mind to control! More healer thing. Shiny sparkles. I have already it's the technical name. Bow before <laughs> cartel's soul! I don't have another rose. Alright, this you is the take two rose. Nothing. Oppose me and be extinguished! Last one up there, Jimmy. Oh, yes, please. Got it. How dare you hinder me! Blinky, blinky! <laughs> she get more health. Oh, she heals, doesn't she? Uh, of creation at my command. Five minutes for next race. Uh, you're dead for the rest of the fight. Oh, it is what it is. I can feel them all the tools of creation at my command. Lion ruin. How did I dodge those? I absolutely stood in at least two of them. The power of the first ones. Mind to control. Ah, uh, yeah, I've got two. You are nothing. <laughs> yeah. Fear and jazz, best team ever, here, except lady. every other time. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> the tools of creation. And she's in execute range now too. Haha, <laughs> suck it, bitch. There's one behind you for watch it. Yeah, I can see. I also saw it fly through my screen as it went over there. <laughs> Where's the 
Wicked. Wicked. I can feel them all the tower of the first Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, get out of the double. <laughs> Yellow thing. At my command. Hugging one of the yeah, double stars. pop, so you may be so long as just Bow before Cartel. No, That's no, rude. yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't get to do that. Stop it. <laughs> the first ones hit hey, I got twenty ratings for that. They are not I got it. 92. I am grateful our I'm at 11.15 now. Getting that slowly but surely. Will reside where they can do oh, no crunch. I would res you if I could, but I can't. I can, however, drop your portal. New piece of shit. Oh yeah, it's like... Who do you think will get the blame if you boost and have no idea how to play the class? Exactly. Fear and Jazz will be the token non-parents. <laughs> you just stood on you. Even at work, everyone who needs to think of you have a band-aid, padded old needle and thread? Of course I do. Oh, I could hang out with really sick of myself because he looks all good without our kids for the weekend. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's parents gone wild or something. I don't know. Yes! Parents gone <laughs> Oh, Seeker. Anyway. <clears throat> Didn't know it was that kind of party. Had a friend over from it just before opening a stream to like. So just, aw, oh, thank you, Keggy. Thanks for the compliment. And I hope your friend had, you and your friend had a wonderful time. Um. So oh, pff, it's totally fine, Loz. I'm ignoring my own chat. It's fine. Uh, boss isn't caster friendly. Yeah, nah. Guys, let's pick on the mage knight. Indeed. I think we're awake after 10 outside the house is wild concept. Me too. And I don't have children's. Uh, I'm going to take this portal now. So, uh, have fun. Um, hello Daz, does mean I get to stop by and meet you at pack? Oh, hell yeah, absolutely. Uh, something came to me, a lot of people want to meet you, can we just say hi and take a pic? Huh? No, 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 no. Look, uh, there'll be more people than there were last packs. But, uh, no, so what we're going to do, um, I am having lunch out on the lawn on the Saturday. So that even if people are in Melbourne but kind of like didn't get to go to PAX or didn't get a Saturday ticket because of any reason or whatever, like uh, we're going to go out on the lawn so that anyone can come say hi um, and just have lunch. I probably won't be there for like three hours because uh, I'll have shit to do, but um, I'll, I'll be there for at least a while. I'll ping updates in the Discord and stuff like that, we're obviously in October when we get there. But yeah, Saturday lunch on the lawn is the, uh, is the plan. Is the plan. Uh, maybe I just need to decide which food I want after 11. Butter chicken. The the Indian place from the food court in the casino is like perfection. Uh, is lunch on the green outside packs? Yes. Yep. It feels weird to say I absolutely love the color of your host. Oh, no, not at all. It's a chosen color. Um, one of the things that uh, we talk about a fair bit um, is uh, like the way to give non creepy compliments is to compliment someone on something they chose. Uh, so something that they have an active decision-making process in. So I love your dress. I love your shoes. I love the way you've done your hair. I love your hair color when it is obviously dyed. Like if you see someone with blue hair, oh my God, I love your hair is fine. They've obviously made that choice themselves. And so you're complimenting them on a decision that they have made. Um, complimenting on things that they don't necessarily have control over is when it starts, it can start to get into creepy territory. So to try to avoid that entirely, complimenting choices. Uh, is a really, really good way to do it. But yeah, no, this is definitely from a bottle. Um, it's Manic Panic. The shade is Vampire Red, because of course it is. And uh, yeah, I, I love it. I've been using it for a while and it's, it's yep, yeah, it's my color. Thank you. Thank you again to Slayer for the sub. There's our emote only mode. Great advice calls for a sub. Aw, that's so sweet of you, Slayer. Thank you. And I hope you like our sheets. Uh, our sheets are, yeah, we love our spreadsheets here. We're very, very data oriented. Um, I'm very happy to have you here. Five ads in my life. 90 seconds. It, it could be one 90 second ad or it could be nine 10 second ads, but it's going to be 90 seconds worth of ad uh, every time that happens. Um, the first time, best team ever. 
They seem cinematic, so intense they are, absolutely. Hello, Namas. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome on in. Um, bit more coming again. Now, fantastic! Yeah, look, all it takes is just doing like a run or two. Um, need three more days to check out V Rising and jump back into WoW. Ah, oh, awesome, Namas. Well, fingers crossed you enjoy yourself. Uh, I was cute in the battle last night morning with your friends. Oh, brilliant, Keggy! That is awesome to hear. Ah, uh, oh, congrats, Crud! Congrats! Well done! I love my vibrant hair. Purple in mine! Amazing! Love the purple. Love the purple. Purple back in the day. Used fudge! Yeah, mum used to have a section of her hair that she'd dye like blue or pink or purple. Like, oh, like whenever she felt like it, she'd just change it up and she used little pots of fudge. It seemed like she was having to redo it like every week. Um, it's currently a quarter purple, pop right brown for color, fudge, that's what it was called. Yes. Yeah, no, I, um, I have really, really good experience with Manic Panic. I don't use the tubs. I use the amplified color that comes in a bottle. Uh, one bottle does my head. So I use a bottle a month. Uh, it is semi-permanent. Uh, so it does wash out and stain everything pink. Uh, but it does wash out as well. Like it doesn't actually stain. Like my, my pillow on the bed will be like very, very pink and I'll chuck it in the washing machine and it'll all just come out because it's tinted water rather than actual dye on the pillow. Yep. Uh, my towels, same deal. Uh, but, um, yeah, it, uh, it hangs around really well and it doesn't damage my hair. I've got incredibly thin hair and it is quite damaged. Uh, a mixture of years and years of using permanent dyes, so like the ends are fried, because I've had new growth come in since I've been using Manic Panic, but the ends are still a bit fried. Uh, and an autoimmune condition plus the medication that goes with that, uh, so all of that affects, like, I, I have quite a bit of hair loss as well, like I shed a fair bit. Um, I don't have, like, patchy hair or anything, I'm, I'm very thankful for that, but I do have quite thin hair that falls out a lot. Like, I brushed my hair this morning. That's from one brushing. That's, that's one brushing, um, because... And that's just to get the knots out, not to continue brushing it, but that's, like, hair loss from, from, like, one round of going around my head sort of thing. Uh, but... Yeah, so, um, my hair is not healthy, because my body is not healthy, but Manic Panic is like a deep conditioning treatment with pigment in it. Um, the, the morning, so I put it all in and I sleep with it. I wrap my head in like glad wrap and stuff and then, and sleep and with a shower cap on top of it to like double protection and then wash it out in the morning and then do a rinse with, uh, half vinegar, half water, uh, to seal all the hair cuticles and stuff. And my hair is so goddamn soft and shiny. The more, like that day is so amazing and perfect. And I can tell when it's time to re-dye, not because I have regrowth, but because my hair is starting to get dry and kind of gross so <laughs> it's pretty funny uh but yeah cannot cannot say enough um about the good experiences i've had with manic panic um did i use fudge or did i use fudge <laughs> went down at salon because i cannot trust myself i used to do mine myself um i would get staining here and there but luckily because it's a red tone and it's a pink red i'd just kind of scrub it off and it'd just kind of look faintly like sunburn for a bit um, and now actually Jas helps me do it. Uh, so I kind of just sit in the bathroom and, and he claims that he's an artiste and gets out the, the tint brush and, and does the, yeah, it's kind of, we pop on a podcast and, and listen while he does my hair. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, uh, uh, get my front portion of bleach to and pay it, play with colors myself at home. I think that's a really safe way to do it. I would never, ever, 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 ever bleach my own hair. Like it is so shit as it is. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm not going to continue on with more keys. I'm going to go back to doing covenant callings and stuff like that. But thank you guys so much for, for doing keys and stuff. If you want to continue doing them, of course, by all means, go ahead. Um, but I'm going to drop group and uh, drop out of thingamajig. Thank you again. Okay. Um, Jess, the new Brad Mondo. Absolutely. Huh? You are the new Brad Mondo. The heck is that? He's a, uh, a head a hairdresser, YouTuber person. Oh, he, so your meat has to fit in this. Yes. Or be approximately 140 grams, but that doesn't, that I sounds like too much. It is. So I'd say probably just, keep, oh, no, no, didn't I say 100 grams? Sticking with that to, yeah, let's go with 100 then. Okay. It's like. Because I didn't, I didn't, like, exercise today. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people were talking about, I was doing the Googling and they were saying about how, like, having to chop up a steak to try to squish it in there to see if it fits and stuff like that was really annoying. Baby so what they ended up doing was they did it once and then weighed it and then stuck to that weight. Yeah, but, um, so, and that comes out to 140, but I haven't done nearly enough movement and motion today to justify having 140 gram whatever food we're having. I'm assuming it's not steak. That's pork. That's right, there was pork on the bench. No, there wasn't. It's in the fridge. I didn't freeze it. Got it on the weekend. What the hell did I see on the bench then? I don't know. This is Jazz, by the way, for anyone who's new, relatively new, hasn't so, met Jazz yet. Are we gonna do more keys tomorrow or not? More keys? Because we don't really do Like after work? Yeah. Possibly. Because we're doing really good. It, it will depend on how much work I can get done. But yeah, that's true. um probably Possibly, yeah. At least there's a 278 in your case now. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah. Because we did a 16. We timed a 16. Timed a 16. Fuck yeah. Just mince it up. Yeah, that's the other option, eh? Just have a pile of mincemeat. Um. I'm not making minced pork. I mean, pork mince is delicious. Well, how was lunch? Lunch was really good. The kangaroo mince was bloody tasty, you guys. How was yours? Was really good. You liked it? I really liked my cheese. How did you go without cheese? Mm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we had we had kangaroo mince. We made a like a spaghetti sauce with kangaroo mince and it was bloody tasty. Really, really good. Did it definitely didn't taste like beef, but it still just tasted meaty. Like there was yeah. Sorry me. I'm not trying to like scare you or anything. Um, uh, I hadn't time to chop all game, but ah, oh, brilliant, Jack. That's awesome. He was summoned always. Always. I was wondering the same. Just need play full and DOS now. Well, there you go. Um, if you're available around this time tomorrow, Jack, we might do some keys. I'm hoping that I'll be kind of reasonably done with work. Um, so I'll be able to get a key or three in, but we'll see. Um, I was like, I thought Josh was going to propose. I was like, what? Didn't see that. What? No, that is a Tupperware container seeker. What the fuck? <laughs> that is a Tupperware container. If you've never heard of 21 day fix, as in like 21 day fix. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's an exercise and eating program, um, from Beachbody, uh, that I bought many moons ago. Like I'm talking like six or seven years ago now, but it comes with these little containers. It's like a green one for veggies and a red one for meat and a purple one for fruit and a yellow one for carbs, etc., etc., etc. And they're all different sizes. And the whole idea is if you're trying to get 1,200 to 1,400 calories a day, you can have three green containers, you can have two purple containers, you can have four red containers, etc. And then, uh, so instead of counting calories and weighing stuff out, you just stuff as much you can fit into the colored container and then dump that out on a plate kind of thing. Um, and then you can have that many, ca that many containers per day. And then there's a list of what veggies you can put in that container and what carbs you can put in the yellow container and etc. It's, um, and then there's like DVDs, workout DVDs, um, is, is this. 21 day fix, yeah. With Autumn Calib Calibres, I think. And that's the, the DVDs. I can't hear you. Um, but yeah, that was, I bought it like many, many moons ago. Um, and I've started using the DVDs to exercise because it's actually really fun. And I don't have to go outside where it's raining and it's strength as well as cardio and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, well, if I'm doing this, I might as well take a look at the like portion control and stuff like that as well, because I know my diet is crap. So yeah, I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. Um, steak is like a wedding proposal. Oh dear. Why is Jess making funny sounds and fears talking to him? How rude. I know, right? Love the shirt. Jess is our high vis hero. That's one of his nicknames. But yeah, he uh, he works a job where he's required to wear high vis. So that's what he wears. It's been a few minutes. Any chance to get another better? Oh, of course. Yes, of course. I'm so sorry. I know that was running over time because of the key and stuff. Um, MM Hunter AOE boy DPS is fun. MM Hunter boss DPS is sad. Oh no. Kangaroo never had that. Kangaroo's spelt with two O's on the end, so an O instead of the E. Uh, but yeah, it's really tasty. Really tasty. Very, very lean. 
low in fat, high in protein. Ah, uh, you mix the time for in high Jess. Your to your. Yes, I can. Uh, when that was made as a redemption, I copy pasted whatever was in the redeem. Um, because I don't have time to <laughs> mess around with stuff apparently. Um, so I can absolutely correct that. There we go. Fixed. Ah, uh, it's my WGF moment. Roommate alrighty, yas. Budget ring box. Used to buy little pretty, cut a hole in it with a scalpel. <sighs> I would have melted a hole in it personally. Um, Tuesday for me to test my Saturday walking challenge. I keep up with home workouts. So for me, with joy, I put my focus into walking. Of course, absolutely. So I waited until after you. Okay, thank you, media. I appreciate it. Kangaroo. Yep. Yeah. All right, I need to, once the battle is finished, where am I going? Alexia. Pardon? I'm fine. I don't need to take a bathroom break just yet. No, I've got like a two thirds full cup. I'm good. Thanks anyway. The whole story of Max? Of course, absolutely. Uh, Silver, Zem, Meaty, Neke, Lakdras, V, Kata, and Loza. Congratulations to all of you on your bonusship. Well done. Because sometimes I talk so fast, I, my, my brain can't even keep up. Like, goddamn. Mm -hmm. I'm really wondering if I have a nail polish that'll match those colors now. Like the, the blue purple. I do have my swatch sticks. Maybe I should pull them out and have a flip through while I'm waiting for stuff to happen. <clears throat> Maybe get your opinion. So many. So many quests completed. How's laptop doing? Really well. Really well. Um, I have, I had a bit of a play with it today. I've installed Discord. Uh, I went and got open shot video. What's it? I went and got that as well. Um, I've got the ASUS app on my phone and I've been transferring files. It's really easy. It's not quick, but it's really easy and I'm happy to wait. I had a big transfer. I had 249 photos and videos that I was trying to transfer from my phone to the lappy and it cut out halfway through because the laptop went to sleep. <laughs> so I have learned that I need to keep it awake so that it will transfer correctly. Uh, but hey, learnings. Four assists from buffing. I think the Paladin actually got me a fair number of buffs last time. There we go. So yeah, it's um... So far so good. Ah, Covenant Assaults. Woo! Covenant Assaults. What do you mean, unlock Covenant Assaults? Oh, right, um, okay. Have I never done this on this tomb before? Jesus Christ, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Settled on a name yet. The laptop is named Alfred. I liked that. The, like, the assistant that, yeah. That tells me that I really should get out of, get out and then get some air and, yeah, <laughs> and take care of me. The lappy's name is Alfred. Yeah. I think that was a really good one. I think once I kind of, once I narrowed down what I was looking for and wasn't just like, what should I call it? Once I actually explained the stories behind that and why I chose Oracle and all that kind of thing, that's when we sort of narrowed it down and started getting some really good stuff. And I think one of the first ones that popped up after I told that story was Alfred. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with that one personally. Are the cute things people do when proposing specialists, people get so awkward and nervous, yep. Much more than a butler. Oh yeah, absolutely. A true caretaker. In every sense of the word. So anybody I'll see you guys next stream. Absolutely, Meaty. Rest well. We will see you then. Rest well. Hmm. So now that we've got even more new emotes, what are people's top three? 
you can say one of like if you've got a if you've got a tier one sub but one of your favorites is the tier two or tier three you can still type it out and i'll know which one you're saying it just won't turn into the thingy but like what are your what are your top three for your emotes that you would want to see on a magnet on like a fridge magnet on a sticker or on like a little badge like a two and a half centimeter badge thing not an enamel pin enamel pins maybe later but they are very very expensive to get made um very expensive to get made so i'd uh yeah stickers and and pins and uh, stickers and badges and magnets are going to be much cheaper so i'm thinking i might get like i'm thinking a couple of emotes and like the bird my logo the the burb yep um but i'm really not sure which ones because there are so many now and like they're just they're all so awesome <laughs> it's really hard so like what are your favorites and you can have different ones, like you'd, you'd love to have this on a badge, but you'd love to have this one on a sticker, or do you know what I mean? Like that, that is also valid. Also valid. Why would I return to Oroboros? Oh, because it's faster to get there. Of course, that's great. So Shiba wants a hydrate. What would you, would you want the hydrate on a pin, on a sticker, or on a fridge magnet? I feel like a fridge magnet would be really, really appropriate for hydrate, hey? Hype, heart, and share. Cozy and hype, but also mod, yeah. Hype. Hype is a popular, hype was like my first, my first emotes were hype, love, and fail at one, two, and three. Respect, uh, respectively, uh, Respectively, there you go. I'm like, what is the what? Which letter am I looking for here? It was a V. I was looking for a V. Uh, so yeah, they they definitely have uh, a soft spot. I have a soft spot for them. I have a special place in my heart. I have a hype. It is sticking my to anything. Fair. Fair. Um, I'm hoping that I can get some done up and bring them with me to packs. But if if people love them, then maybe. Maybe I, I do them up and send them out and stuff. The only problem is that shipping, oof. Shipping a sticker or a magnet or something would be fine. But shipping the badges might not be. It might be more expensive is more what I'm thinking about. Blood and thunder. Always ready for you may Meet me in hold when you are done. This is gonna be a mess, although my gear is still trash. Yeah. Yeah, the the logo is kind of a big thing. Like that's it's me, that's my thing. Um my bloody quest log. Do you What? Oh, that doesn't part as you can. It doesn't count as your campaign. Interesting. With the Margrave's help, anything is. Yeah, I I love to do them up and and give them out and stuff. It's just um financials and things. I wish I could do it through spring, but um, they just don't have the offering, unfortunately. But that's okay. That's okay. Life uh, finds a way. Leo finds a way. Yes. There is a will. There is a way. And if I have nothing else, God damn it, I have a will. Oh, I have no poisons on. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted for myself. <clears throat> there we go. I just say, you just made me laugh out loud. Include the uh, and life runs away. Well, is that not the quote? There is an uh in the quote. Like. <laughs> I 
Otherwise, it's not the right quote, right? It's exactly, exactly. Come on. Am I? I'm nothing if not pedantic. Like, that's exact. Yes. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. So many people drop it. Yeah, but those people are boring. And less fun. I'm kidding. They're fine, but they're getting it wrong. Ah, dear. After work, enjoy your work, dude. See you soon. Agreed. Ah. Uh. The big boys are gonna hurt. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Jess, I did see the pork on the bench. You were bringing it to room temp. So I did see it on the bench, it just wasn't defrosting. It was coming to room temp. Oh, for God's sake. Makes so much more sense. Have merch. Thank you, Koalatron. I do have merch. And I actually added a bunch more products to that as well. I just haven't gotten a chance to order new samples because I have a few other designs I'm hoping that I can get up uh, and then order everything at once, but we'll see. We'll see. Actually, hunt a ring upgrade in ZM. Get your spatial openers. And then go do the ring, go do the, the, um, sand, sand everywhere achieve. There were like four rings in those piles of, of sand up in that room. And they were all like 240 something. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You may need to, um, if you've got handy notes installed, it'll tell you the steps you need to take to be able to get to that room. Uh, when you hover over the, the, in the, the individual chests up there. I don't remember. There are requirements, like you have to have done story to a certain point, etc., etc. Um, but uh, yeah, handy notes will tell you. Buy a crafted 262 ring. That is also an option. Or craft a 262 ring if you have a JC. Little more expensive than free out of a box, though. I think I finished the story. My chapters are done, then you should be finished the story. If you have your Unity Lego, you're finished. Your belt, orange belt. Lucky. How's everyone doing very well? Thank you. Hope you can say the same. <clears throat> 
begin. Okay, let's find another little one. Kind of good. It shouldn't be a magnificent point. Ah, oh, thank you. Yes, the, the mountain has been guessed. It was the dire wolf. The dire wolf. A nice simple one. One actually from vanilla. Very old mount. Um, and the stream has been good. I've done a couple of mythic plus keys on my journey towards KSM for that mount because it is Mount Fun Monday. And also we got the Tolbarad mount at the start of stream. I had one commendation left to get and I got it. So I'm very happy about that. Very happy. So, um, because that mount, so I was on 661, so the Spectral Wolf makes 662, but that also unlocks the equivalent Alliance mount, so I'm actually on 663 now. So that's a good feeling too. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm happy for me too. I'm happy for me too. Alrighty, let us scoot on down to here. Oh, got all of them? Alright. I'm not gonna argue with it. This one's gonna take a bit to kill work. I'm gonna click three more canisters. I am really enjoying having multiple characters to be able to do this stuff on. It makes me feel like I'm doing more, like, it makes me feel like I'm making more progress, even though I obviously still may not get it to drop for several months. It still feels good being able to put that extra work in. Where'd it go? Did it get eaten or something? I'm going for now, sorry if you said brain's a little funny with pain at the moment. That's alright. That's supposed to be, of course. Um, so I'm going for the mount that drops out of the, so the Covenant Assaults, the Necrolord, Night Fae, and Venthyr ones can all drop a mount. And I, I've got the Venthyr mount from the Covenant Assault, but I don't have Necrolord or Night Fae. The current assault is Necrolord, so that's what I'm attempting to get. Attempting. We shall see. I've done it on two characters so far, Liliana and Melissa. Uh, this is my third, and then I've got another two after this. I've got five characters total that can do assaults. Uh, so, 
And yes. Yeah, yes. <laughs> no worries, Shiva. We'll see you next time. Rest well. Oh, rats. That's no good. Let's go. Through enjoy, Seeker. Enjoy. I wonder if you can hear Jas making the bubble tea in the kitchen. you don't feel super hungry but your body is trying to repair itself so um it is a good idea to give it fuel to do that because if it runs out of energy you'll just stay in pain uh, and if it doesn't have like the building blocks like your protein and stuff like that it can't do anything either so i would definitely recommend getting something into your belly uh but something small is fine like a little bit of food is okay uh, preferably not crap Preferably they're not like candy or chocolate or something. But um, just a little bit is good, even if you're not hungry. Like usually the whole thing is like you don't need to eat unless you're hungry kind of thing. But when you're not well, that rule goes out the bloody window. But yeah, just take it easy though. Like don't go trying to eat like a seven course meal or something. <laughs> Just something good for you. <gasps> like bubble tea! I'm kidding. Bubble tea is not good for you. Amazing. Dinner is though. Dinner is! Thank you! Enjoy. Yay! I will! Enjoy raid, yeah? Right. Smash all the things. Some fruits are good, it's light, gives you natural sugars and good with vitamins. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's kind of sweet, so it sort of feels like a treat as well, depending on the fruit, of course. Lemon, for example, may not feel like a treat. <laughs> Unless you're into lemon, which is totally okay. Uh, you probably might have some chicken soup stock I saved. Yes, that is a fantastic idea. Like, that'd be, yeah, that's really good. Because you'll have some protein in the stock as well, but it'll be, like, a mostly clear fluid, so you'll be able to drink it a bit and it won't feel like you're eating too much. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea. Well, too, it's so good right now. Yes, dinner. I never had bubble tea. Really want to try it. It's really good. I mean, yes, I am very much biased. Uh, bubble tea is, like, my favorite drink, but... It is, it's my favorite drink for a reason. 
To of course be clear, I am an affiliate of the Bubble Tea Club. So take what I'm saying with a pinch of salt, of course, because if you buy stuff using my code, you get a discount, but I also earn money. However, I would not recommend something else I actually liked it. This is a Thai milk tea with pearls. Mm. So tasty. Thai is one of my favorite flavors, I reckon. Like for milk teas in particular. Bubble Tea Club is at home DIY bubble tea kits. Uh, very, very easy to do, like really easy to make. QR code on every box has a uh, link to the instructions. Super easy to follow. If you can make tea, like if you can brew a tea bag, and if you can mix stuff into a hot drink or into, into water, then you can make bubble tea. It's just that easy. Um, but yeah, they ship to Australia, New Zealand, the United States, and Canada. They're currently working on finding a way to ship to the UNA to UK, United Kingdom. Uh, you but are not they're prepared. Ah! Here comes, hello! How are you? I hope you're doing super well. Uh, they're currently working on a way to ship to the United Kingdom, but uh, they're having some issues with um Excuse me, keeping costs down because of how much the kits weigh and also keeping things fresh as they travel that far um, because the toppings are all ready to eat and they're like they're wet <laughs> and there's sugar in there and so like it's a really good environment for certain things to grow so they're, they're trying to find ways um, to ship it so that it, it's suitable um, but they're, they're working on it. Um, what's your bubble tea of choice? That honestly depends on my mood. I know that sounds really silly, but it, it really does. Like, I'll be in the mood for something specific. Like, I might be in the mood for something clear, like a fruit tea, uh, or I might be in the mood for a milk tea, or I might be in the mood for something tangy or something more sweet, or, you know what I mean? Like, um, I'd say for milk teas, Thai and brown sugar are probably up there as my favorites, but fruit tea is a lot trickier. Fruit tea, I pretty much like anything. Um, they've had some amazing flavors of introduced fairly recently. Things like grapefruit. Grapefruit green tea is delightful. It's just so good. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, it really depends on the day. Ah, uh, Tomo is my favorite. Recently got into green apple. Yeah, green apple's really good. It's it tastes like it tastes like roll ups, like old school green roll ups from when I was a kid. It's exactly what it tastes like. Avocado milk tea with pudding, much without the red bean. Delicious. I love red bean paste. I like literally have bought sachets of red bean paste to literally eat as a snack. So I'm a bit strange like that. I have to get one I get paid. Give it a try. I mean, like, look, I would definitely recommend if you've got a like a, a cafe, like a, a place nearby where you can buy one and try it. I would probably recommend doing that first if you've never had anything like it before. Uh, just to kind of get an idea of the textures of the, the jelly uh, and the, the see if you can pick a favorite flavor or something. Um, but beyond that, like Bubble Tea Club, each serving is better than half price. Like it's it's cheaper than half price compared to something like Gongcha, for example. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's well worth it. Um, but obviously if you don't enjoy it, then it's not worth it. So yeah, finding out whether or not you like it first is definitely a good thing. Um, how is your stream, Hikons? How are you going? This just seems weird. I mean, I like tea. I'm not sure I want other things in it. Fair enough. Look, it's not for everybody. I really like it. I like having that little extra something in there. Um, the chewiness is fun. Uh, but yeah, it's not for everybody. Not everything's for everybody, so that's okay. Ah, yes, follow Fia on the social medias, please and thank you. It will do such good for me trying to uh to grow my reach and all that kind of stuff it's it's a really big deal um thank you in advance to those of you who have followed on the socials particularly instagram how are we get are we close to the 10 35 we're aiming for today 10 33 we're very close 
today's mini goal is 10.35 followers on Instagram. We're at 10.33. We're so close. So close. Ah, uh, no Finlay shipping then. Not yet, no. They are working on expanding worldwide, but just bit by bit, they've got to figure out, like, what they're doing. There might be something else that offers a similar thing. I won't be able to vouch for them, of course, because I won't have tried them. But, um, yeah, it's, a. Uh, there might be something in your area that you can look at, potentially. I'm just not too sure, sorry. War chest of the Undying Army, may I please have an Undying Darkhound? Okay. That is an upgraded belt though, so I'll take it. Ship what? Bubble tea kits! Brown sugar top tier also. Yes, char time's a good bubble tea place if you have one there. Char time is good. Um, char time is like... You know how they talk about like honey chicken not being real Chinese and, and butter chicken being, being like westernized Indian. Cha time is kind of like that for bubble tea. It's not, it's delicious, but it's not your traditional um, uh, Taiwanese stuff. Gong cha tends to lean more traditional with their flavors, but cha time tends to lean more like fruity, colorful, sweet, sugary, that kind of stuff. But I mean, nothing. there's nothing wrong with that, but those are kind of, that's what you're going to be leaning towards if you go to one of the two different places. There are also 101 million, like, little individual ah, stalls as well. Um, Cha Time and Gong Cha seem to be the really big ones in Australia. Um, yeah. I feel like many don't like textures in your drink. Bubble tea is still delicious without add-ins. It is. It is. They also do, um, like, popping pearls, where, um, like, it's a ball of, like, syrup with like a membrane on it, you can burst it, like press it against your, the roof of your mouth with your tongue or like bite on it or whatever and it bursts and it has a flavor inside kind of thing. Um, of course, that is still a texture, but it's not like a chewy, so it's a little bit different. Uh, all right. I would say that bubble tea without the toppings is probably just tea, but like really, really heavily sweetened and flavored tea. All righty, let us push the button and start the battle. Um, Harry did some Hearthstone keys, my dear. Okay, fantastic! Yeah, doing really well. I bought a new mount from, uh, I got my Tolbarad commendations, finally, and bought the Spectral Wolf, so that counts as the Spectral Horse as well. And um, we've done a couple of keys towards my KSM. And, yeah, I'm doing the Covenant Assaults, trying to get me the thing out the box, and it's not working, but it's alright. We'll get it eventually. We'll get it eventually. Can't look into my Instagram or I'd follow. Um, okay, that's odd. Why can't you look into your Instagram? That's, that's weird. Oh well. Um, I do enjoy Gongchar as well. Yeah, Gongchar is the one that I tend to go to more often, um, purely because uh, there's no char time in Brisbane City. Um, well, there wasn't last time I went in there, at least anyway. Uh, but there are like two Gongchars, so. <laughs> But I have had char time before, like plenty of times. Uh, v, Loza, Like, Ali, Draz, Cat, Neke, Brick, and Septic. Congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. There does seem to be like a lot of gong chars in and around the city. And then as you get further out into the suburbs, you start seeing more char time. Which I find really interesting. See? Paladin for, ass for assists. <laughs> It's a good one. Place three paladins, of course. Mm. Um, how many more do you need for KSM? Oh, lots. I only started last week. I did my like first dungeon last week, um, but that's fine. I'll be fine. Um, there used to be one at Queen Street Mall unless it closed down. Uh, yeah. For the, like, I mean, maybe it opened up and then closed down or something within the two years of the pandemic, but prior to the pandemic, there was no char time in Queen Street Mall. And I've, I've been living up here for seven and a bit years now, nearly eight years. And I've never known there to be a char time in Queen Street Mall. And I've always lived near the city. Uh, password thing, I haven't fixed it yet, I don't know the energy. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. 
long time before I think. <laughs> That's okay. Like, you don't have to tell us that. It's, it's fine. I thought maybe you meant like you'd been locked out of the account or something, or like someone had hacked in or whatever. I was concerned for you. That's okay. All good. All good. Okay, sorry, just had a couple of things that needed my attention. Okay, uh, we are going to do Covenant Assaults, because I want me an undying what's it. <laughs> Let's go. Um, hello Haley. how you going? Welcome back. Um, are you streaming until 10.30 again, by the way? Uh, nope. My schedule has my times in it. Um, I go till 10. Sometimes I run a little bit overtime, but um, for the most part I try to finish at 10. Um, yeah. Do you think new expansion is worth getting back into the game for? I've been away from WoW for about a year and a half. Do you coming back for new expansion of Classic Wrath? By new expansion, are you talking about Shadowlands, Chris? Or are you talking about the newly announced Dragonflight? Because Shadowlands been out for like a year and a half at this point. I definitely wouldn't call it a new expansion. Whereas Dragonflight's just been announced, but we're not going to get that for about a year anyway. Um, well, regardless of what you meant, um, it's only going to be worth getting back into if there are parts of the game that you enjoy. Um, if you're thinking about coming back, then do it. Like, uh, especially if you're going to use like a, a scroll of resurrection or, or like a free 30 day something or whatever. Um, or if it's creating a new account or something like that, then it's absolutely worth giving it a go because you've got nothing to lose. Um, if you're looking at paying for a month's worth of game time, then... Are you, like, can you afford to spend 15 bucks on something you don't enjoy? If you can afford to lose $15, if, if you can afford for it to fall out of your pocket, then there's nothing to lose, is there? Because either you play it, you pay and you enjoy it, uh, and you continue to pay and you continue to enjoy it, or you don't, and you just don't renew your sub. And you've learned that you don't enjoy it, and that's okay. Like, that's, you know, you've, you've learned something new and you've, you've crossed an option off the list kind of thing. Um, yeah, if you can't afford 15 US, then don't do it. Like, because if you can't afford it, then how are you going to afford to continue the sub if you enjoy it anyway, sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, yeah, 
I really need some new results. I have to go to the statue. Gosh, was hilarious. That would have been brilliant. Oh dear. Ah, uh, dragon fight stopped towards the end of Carcinathria. Highly depends on what you play the game for. Yep, absolutely. Um, so Dragonflight is still going to be like a year away. So if you're coming back for Dragonflight, that's a year away. Like, that's not a, that's not even a valid question yet because you can't come back for it for like a year and we know literally like nothing about it anyway. Uh, they've given us very, very limited information about the features and stuff like that. Uh, they've given us kind of the skeleton of things that they'd like to do. Uh, but we have, re in reality, we have like next to no information about Dragonflight. Uh, so no one's going to be able to really answer that question. Um, yeah. Uh, but Wrath is obviously coming a little bit later this year. Um, and again, same, same answer. Um, if, if you can afford it, then it, it's worth paying the, the singular month or whatever to, to give it a go and see if you enjoy the new content. Um, and if you can't afford $14, $15 US, uh, then I think my battery might be low. Did you hear that or is that just me? I wonder if that plays through desktop audio or whether it plays just through the headset. It was really interesting. So she was a little freaked out. Ah, oh dear. Hello, monkey. Welcome on in. It's easily a year away as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like we don't even. There's not even an alpha yet. <laughs> like, not even an alpha yet. Mm, probably 10 months away. Um, still release the newest patch, yeah. Uh, 925, yeah. That's the next thing on our on our release radar for retail. Because we're in Leak. Fantastic, Ali. Congratulations. Two months of stretching what they've said in the blue posts a lot. Yeah, look, 10 to 12, I think, is like, if, if they encounter some pickups and have delays, I still think that they're going to say it'll be on or before 31st of May because that way it gives them that flexibility in case something explodes, but that it'll still be released well earlier than that. Like I'm, I'm thinking, you know, like late March, early April, maybe mid April, that kind of thing, but they'll give themselves till the end of May, just in case. At least that's what I'd do because having a delay, like actually delaying a release date when no one knew what the release date was going to be anyway, is a hell of a lot better than shifting the goals that everyone can see in terms of public perception. But just my opinion, I obviously don't run Blizzard, so, <laughs> so it's not my call. Uh, and we will see when they actually tell us. Um. Didn't hear it. Okay, cool. It was like a boop boop in my ear, and I'm like, stews. I think it's just my battery being low because I haven't had this on. I forgot to put it on charge last night. I haven't used it for like a week, so I don't know what the battery's like. <clears throat> um, hello, Wayne. Welcome on in. I knew to wow. Fantastic, Monk. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Oh, excuse me. Asking more as a state of the game type of thing. Stop playing because it's super slow content release really, since you've still been playing, getting the insider option, uh, opinion as it were. Well, that's the thing though. Even like if you're asking about Dragonflight, Chris, there's no state of the game because Dragonflight doesn't exist. Um, I've never stopped enjoying WoW. So my opinion is obviously going to be very, very, very different from yours because you felt that the content releases were slow and I very much didn't. So whatever my opinion is going to be probably won't be useful to you anyway um so my my opinion to anyone who asks about coming back is always literally give it a try if you like it then yay if you don't then that's okay oh well because my opinion shouldn't really matter to anybody um what should matter is whether or not you actually enjoy yourself um and that's not something i'm going to be able to tell you unfortunately 
Ja. Oh, I can't grow shirt. Brilliant. Um, you don't run Blizzard disappointing. I know, right? How disappointing. I could certainly do with that kind of a salary. Ah, it's fine. That's entirely too much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Entirely too much pressure for me. I am I'm more than content doing my little content creation thing over here. Do not want to run very large international company. Thank you and goodbye. Hope you're doing very well. I'm are you is it one vinyl? Like is that how you would pronounce your username? I'm not too sure, but let me know if you have a different a, a preference of, of pronunciation. Okay, thanks. Fantastic. A little bit of a cold. Oh no. Really respect how grounded you are. Oh look, look, I try to be, but I also like. I'm like I'm guessing that's in respect to like the whole influencer opinion thing. I I'm I'm acutely aware that people turn to influencers for their opinion and then they make purchasing decisions based on that person's opinion or maybe a handful of people's opinion or whatever but they still like that's a really big thing and i don't think that that's i think like i mean yes okay if someone came up to me and said hey i really like collecting stuff in games should i try wow yes <laughs> yes you should absolutely that is definitely something that you can do in world of warcraft that is a feature that this game offers um but beyond that i don't like i'm very very content with basic bitch rating and and basic bitch dungeons and all that like i'm not an end game hardcore player and i know a lot of people who have left the game are not collectors because we have we never run out of content to do if people feel like it's a slow game like if there's not enough content for them to do clearly they don't do the things that i do so my opinion shouldn't be weighted for them because i have an opinion on a completely different section of the game um it, i think it's an enormous responsibility to have people consider your opinion before they part from their money like that's a really big really big responsibility and I think that a lot of influencers don't take it seriously and they just take the cash say yeah it's a good product and then run with it like the sponsorships and stuff and like I mean not everyone obviously but there are a lot of people who do that so you'll watch for example I used to watch a lot of um like makeup YouTube right um not so much anymore because I'm trying not to buy anything anymore but um every single video you saw was this is an awesome product you should try it this is an awesome product, you should try it. This is an awesome product. Because if they tried something and it was a crap product, they just wouldn't put a video out on it. Maybe every two months they do like a fails video or something where these are things I don't recommend. But it's like, there's just this, and you don't necessarily know. I mean, they could have bought it themselves. It could be a, a gift, it could have been a gifted item. Like as in they just received it in their PO box. They didn't have any idea it was coming. No one reached out to them. They just got this free thing in their in their PO box and decided to give it a try. But they could also be paid to say it's good. Um, and I know nowadays there's a lot more kind of, you know, you must disclose uh, sponsorships. I mean, you've always had to, but a lot of people didn't, especially in the makeup community. They would be really unclear with it. They say, thank you so much for sending me this product, but they wouldn't disclose, disclose that they're actually sent the product and paid additionally. So all that kind of stuff from there has made me really sort of hyper aware that there are absolutely people out there, I, I know for a fact, there are people who have bought the hair curler I have because I said I liked it. There are people who have bought the bubble tea kits because I said I liked it. They don't know anyone else who has said anything about it, but I said I liked it. And so they've gone and parted with their hard earned cash to do that because of, because of what I said. And that is that is a huge responsibility and absolutely should be taken seriously um so yeah um that's why i'm really kind of <laughs> especially when people say should i come back to wow why did you leave because if you play any if you play like i play there's no reason to have left so in my opinion maybe shouldn't matter yeah and there you go have a fair end <laughs> <laughs> you knew it was coming. That's what you're here for. 
<sighs> you know, you know that. Ah, uh, like vinyl. The one is silent. <laughs> the one is silent. I love it. Brilliant. Thank you, vinyl. Much appreciated. Um. All right, Barry. Hello. Welcome back, lovely. How are you? Chat, did you know you can collect Fears emotes for free if you have Amazon Prime? You can. And you haven't used your Prime sub somewhere else. <laughs> but you can. And they're so cute. How awesome. How freaking awesome are the emotes that Shiba's done for us? Most of my emotes are from Shibasu. Um, not all of them. There are a couple that are not. But most of them are from Shibasu. And, and Shiba is an incredible artist. So awesome to work with as well. Just super wonderful to work with. How are you going, Barry? What is happening? So good to see you. Aim for glad. Brilliant. Uh, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. No, 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 no. That's okay. The average response I've known lots of people who would just give the answer most profitable to them. Well, that's the thing. I I cannot profit from somebody coming back to well. Um, especially if they only left a year and a half ago. If if they left more than two years ago. I could give them my refer a friend link to use like as a scroll of re uh, resurrection and every three months they pay for I get a free month of well but I don't like I I can't profit like I don't have a, a referral link that earns me commission or anything like that so um yeah but you guys know I'll always be honest like I will absolutely always be honest because I've worked so bloody hard to build up trust like build up my community's trust of me that it is absolutely not worth spoiling that trust for a couple hundred bucks for like a sponsorship or something. Um, the, if you guys were here yesterday and I got that email and I looked at it like it was on, like I looked at my phone like it was on drugs, um, I got a, a, an email with a sponsorship offer. I declined it today. Um, because they offered me, so they wanted me to do a, a two hour stream. Uh, of World of Tanks and they they said we'll pay you this much flat fee and then we'll pay you X amount per download that your viewers do um, and the flat amount that they offered was less than half my regular rate less than half my regular sponsorship rate and so I told them that I was very upfront with them I said my usual sponsorship rate is X per hour um, not only that, but I am not interested in realistic war type games. I, I don't play any of them, and so I don't think that at my usual rate, your client would get their money's worth out of me. I don't think I'm the appropriate person for this. And I did say, because they were a middleman, like, the, you always get this. You, you're never approached by the developers, because that's not what they do. Um, they engage, like, a PR company, and then the PR company approaches you. Um, and so I said, you know, I, I'm assuming that you approached me because World of Tanks is an MMO and World of Warcraft is an MMO. However, I don't play WoW because it's an MMO. I play WoW because of the RPG side of things. Uh, if you ever partner up with a game or a development company that does RPG fantasy, uh, management simulation style or puzzle games, then hit me up. But beyond that, I think you're, sh you're barking up the wrong tree. Uh, and yeah, just flat up honestly, because like, I'm not just going to... Firstly, underpaid as hell. No, absolutely not. I know my worth. <laughs> um, and then secondly, like, it's just not, I, it's not my kind of game. It's just not something I would ever play of my own accord. So why, I, mm, yeah, no. Final Fantasy XIV on the other hand is very much the kind of game, I've played Final Fantasy XIV before. And so when they reached out to me, and when they asked me for a quote, rather than saying, I can offer you much less than your hourly rate. Good, thank you, no. <laughs> but they came to me and said, what would you, what would your rate be for this thing? And I said, it would be this. And they took it and they ran with it. So like, you know what I mean? That's kind of, yeah, that's how to do business. <laughs> if, if someone, if you go to someone and they say, this is my rate and it's way out of your, you can try negotiating. You can say, hey, look, I can't really afford that rate would you be willing to do it for this? And then you kind of go back and forth. And if you can find a middle ground, you're both happy, like you can afford and the, the creator is happy to take, then fantastic. If you can't find a middle ground, that's okay too. Like, that's okay. 
sometimes it is better to go with two or three smaller creators that will cost as much as one big creator. Sometimes. It depends the kind of campaign you're running. But yeah, it's, uh, hmm, fun times. Fun times. But no, they were very polite. They were all that kind of stuff. It just, um, the way they're like, we can offer you this much. And I'm like, how am I going to fit, like, what am I going to do a third of my stream be spot? No, it just, it's yeah. It, it didn't feel like it looked, it, it kind of felt like they'd grabbed a list of wow streamers, a, a list of MMO streamers and sent them all this email just to see who'd bite kind of thing. Um, but that's, that's okay. Maybe they're just too busy and don't have the time to do um, more in-depth research on targeted people. Or maybe they don't think that I'm big enough to warrant doing more research on before they contact me. And that's okay too. Cause I'm not, I'm not that big. <laughs> in terms of, you know, people who might be considered for sponsorships, I'm not that large a streamer. But, uh, yeah. I'm learning lots, though. That's for sure. Um, have a great day. Anybody ever find a play that actually farms mounts? I'd like that. That's what we do. That's what we do, but most mount farming is done solo. Because if you're with other people, then there's a chance that they'll get the mount instead of you. Because only one will drop and it won't go to everyone in the group kind of thing. Yeah, most mount farming is done solo. Um, I did amazing. I'm so glad you've had a great day. So if you like poodly hair like these, you consider it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's the, that's the hair curler uh, I have and I use. It's wireless. Um, it's just so good. When we do the, when is it? 27th of May, we're doing makeup and nails and hair stream. And I'm gonna, I'll, I'll demonstrate a whole head of curling with the Waylera then. It's so good. I've like, I've never had a curler hold on this. And it's so goddamn humid as well at the moment. I'm shocked that it's staying in this well. Shocked. Okay, I think my headset's actually dying now. I think it's getting grumpy with me. It just beeped again. Um, where's the... Are you the right cable? You are! Where's the... Wait. God damn it. Go in. <laughs> okay. Just ignore the headset here. <clears throat> um, all right. Um, hello, Hen. Chat, I like feed if make sure you host a stream. It's free and easy. Yas. Absolutely. Barry, look, you're so supportive. You're so lovely. I'm so glad I met you. Have I told you that? I'm not sure if I have, but I'm so glad I met you. Ready for we must push I was so terrified that day. Like, the the thing with the, the partner party thing. I was like, I'm not going to fit in anywhere. And then, hey, presto. I'm so good. Hello, Serge. Welcome back. Uh, because people told me it was dying, Kappa. Yeah, WoW's been dying since Burning Crusade, haven't you heard? <laughs> Love your honesty. Oh, thank you, Watlin. Much appreciated. I try. I try. I will, like, it's one of those things where I am, I try to share as much as I can about stuff, but of course there's going to be contracts I can't talk about or NDAs and things like that, but um, I, I do my best to share as much as I <clears throat> share as much as I can. Ah, uh, you know what? Being on front page back feel on off peak. Being on front page back feel and being an off peak AU streamer. My god, something, I don't know if the backfill wasn't working properly or something before Barry, but the last kind of week or so, maybe two weeks, oh my god. It has been, it has been fire. Like, it has been full on. Um, it has been full on. Uh, but it's good. It's really good. We've met so many new friends. Yay. Am I really off peak? Is like, is peak time, like, when, when is peak for Australia? Because I know, don't, doesn't our front page backfill only happen for AU? Like, you can't see it if you're, like, in America or in Europe or something like that. Only if you're in ANZ. 
depression. The world of tanks, yeah. Yeah, look, I mean, hey, I I I know um I know people who play World of Tanks and they enjoy it and that's great for them. It's not my kind of game. And I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna take money, especially money that's well under my hourly rate, for for playing something that I would never play otherwise. Because like how long am I gonna have to spend going back and streaming WoW to build my numbers back up after everyone goes, what? Why is she playing World of Tanks? Um, hey, it's back. Wrong word, but I should be proud. Thank you know you see on here these days. Aw, I'm sorry you feel that way. That really sucks. Uh, I do not love World of Tanks. I've never played it myself, but I know people who very much enjoy it, and that's fantastic for them. It's just not my kind of thing. And that's okay. Should like World of Warcraft, World of Tanks, sure they're the same. Well, World of Tanks is considered an MMO. It is a massively multiplayer online game, but it's not, that's, I don't play WoW because of the MMO. I pretty much play WoW like a single player game most of the time, let's be honest. So, so I play it for the RPG aspects. And I think that's not, like, they just, they didn't do quite enough looking into me to figure out that that's why I played it. They're just like, oh, she plays an MMO. She must be fine with other MMOs as well, or might might be interested in other MMOs as well. There's nothing. Look, there's nothing wrong with reaching out and trying and seeing, you know, whether or not you can get something out of out of an influencer. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. But there there are some points at which it can be insulting. Um, but often it's just kind of like, eh, nothing's. But I was very. I, I'm pretty sure I was as polite as I could be, and I just said, hey, look. I don't think you'll get your money's worth out of me. I'm not, like, my community is not what you're looking for for this this campaign. Um, and, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Like I said before, not everything is for everyone. And that's all right. And that does mean that that money might end up going, I mean, considering that they mentioned my CCV and then offered what they offered for, t and it wasn't even per hour, it was a two hour, this is a flat fee for a two hour stream. Um, and apparently they based that on, I don't know where they got my CCV from because that's, anyway, um, <laughs> uh, but hopefully the money that they offered to me will go to someone who maybe is smaller than I am, who, you know, it'll be their first sponsorship and it'll be... Uh, you know, something that they really enjoy, something that they already play naturally and that they would, like, you know, it's like when I got my first sponsored stream from Blizzard and it, I was just over the moon, overjoyed, blown away, all that fun stuff, you know? I, I hope that, I hope that, um, whoever they reach out to next feels that way about what they're offering. Um... What I miss, usual bit of gameplay, bit of fear chat. Yep. Uh huh. UG is also a crap company. Fair. Alrighty, noted. I I've never dealt with them before. It was not. It was not them. I was. I was not dealing with them directly. It was a a PR company. Um. Well, actually, I'm not sure it was a PR company. Actually, it kind of seemed like. Hang on, I'm gonna Google them because I feel like they weren't actually PR. I feel like they might have been a, a company sort of like Steam in which they have like a... What's it? All the noises all at once, good God. Um, all right, out we get, no amount for fear. Let me, let me Google them. I don't wanna like, I'm not about bad mouthing. I'm about educating, um, so. That's a thing. That is definitely not what... Mm. Maybe I had the name wrong. greenery stuck in my tooth. Mm. 
<clears throat> mm, I did get it wrong. Okay. Yep. Okay. So... So there, it's one of those websites where you can. It helps you monetize your stream. Players can set challenges and offer you cash for it, and then if you complete those challenges, you get the cash that your that your viewers have put up for it. Donations with a twist. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm not interested. So it's like, you can get my five bucks if you do this, um, which I'm, I'm not interested in those kind of products anyway. Um, I never have been, but there you go. Cool. Let's go stick this conduit in the thingy. That's the wrong button, but that's fine. Um, oh, it has become less and less RPG every X-Pack. Um, I would disagree with that personally. Um, I think a lot of the core RPG elements are still there. Um, you don't have as much customization in terms of like your, your uh, talents and all that kind of thing. Um, they have taken away a, a, bit, a few of those choices and stuff like that, but I still don't think it fits into any other, I think it's more RPG than it is anything else. Um, uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I agree with you on that, but that's okay. I don't have to agree. Um, so if you're the Final Fantasy XIV thing, love that game, love your streams, it'd be good for them to mix. I'm very excited. Um, I got another email from them today, um, but no, not, no finished, um, no contract just yet, but they're sorting out. Sorry, um, they're, yeah, they're sorting out a couple of final details and stuff with the contracts and whatnot, but fingers crossed I'll have it and sent it back signed by Friday, because the stream is meant to be on Monday, the 23rd. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, we're going to be streaming Final Fantasy XIV on the 23rd of May, and it'll be sponsored, which is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, Square Enix reached out, uh, Square Enix reached out via a, um, via a PR company. And we've done some negotiating back and forth. There's been lots of questions on both ends. And uh, they're going ahead with the campaign. It's twofold. It's to, um, the campaign is designed to introduce new players to Final Fantasy and the new player experience um, and to kind of go through all that kind of stuff. And the other part is uh, advertising the fact that they now have uh, ANZ data center. Uh, like an oceanic data center for for better ping and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to it. And if all goes well, if all goes well, uh, there is the option that it will become a series of sponsored streams rather than just the one. So I really do hope that you guys are able to tune in when that goes up, when and come and hang out and interact and have some fun with us and. Um, hope that you enjoy it, because that's really important to me, that you guys enjoy my content, because if you're not enjoying it, then why the hell am I even trying, you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. Want to tell us more about that? I just did! I was never truly been an RPG if you're talking about the RP part of it. Well, yeah, but I mean, there's, I'm pretty sure there's a difference between RP and then a role-playing game. Like, we're not sitting here putting on voices and, and all that kind of stuff, but we do play as a character. Like, it's... We're, pl we're taking on a role that is not our own kind of thing. Um, who being Delance Prairie and Gosha, and actually, this is the way that stuff... We mentioned it! Brilliant! 
hive mind much. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, most fun mount farming I had was the camel. Fortunately, it works as a group. TLPD was also a fun camp with four other people for four days. Ah, oh, amazing. Yeah, the camel I did by myself, actually. Um, I, I did a, a, a round, I did a loop on two different servers every so often. And TLPD, uh, I managed to get an invite to a group where they had already spawned. And they, um... They put, they, they brought me in and we got the kill and... Hey presto, it was just, it was really awesome. But yeah. Some mount farms can definitely be done in a group, but the vast majority of them are, um, are things you would ideally do by yourself. But that doesn't necessarily mean you can't do it, like, by yourself alongside other people doing it at the same time, just not in the same group, if that makes sense. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Me, nothing wow does really enables that specificity. With the Margrave's mm. help. Anything. I was talking about me, weirdo that wakes up to stream at 11. Oh, right, of course, you. Yes, definitely. I was like, wait, I'm pretty sure I am peak out. I was very confused, very. I'm also behind on chat, but I'm going to catch up now. Um, okay. I don't know why people call World Tanks an MMO. It's really not. They call it it themselves on the internet. Um, my standards Battlefield and Cotter MMOs. <laughs> I would consider those MMO, Jack. Agreed. Uh, we... They are the only standard for being an MMO is be online and have lots of players. Jess gets it, what a king. Personally, don't think 30 players at one time is massive. Bigger than a mythic grade group. Average dungeon is what, four players at one time? Five for, for WoW. Uh, if WoW was instance content only, I wouldn't call it MMO either. Right, of course. So you're talking about the MMO aspect of it being the open world side? Okay, that, that makes sense. That is, that's, yeah. Both sides do make sense here. Uh, BMB just felt actually hungry. Yay, amazing. Basically be a co-op RPG. Be closer to Diablo then. Donations with a twist. No thanks, Chief. Yeah. I, I just, like, being being a female presenting human on the internet, opening anything up to I'll give you money if you blank is just no thank you. That's absolutely not. I don't care. Like, there was one that approached me to be a part of their platform uh, with, with uh, uh, expedited partnership and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, look, your thing, your thing says, your FAQ says, how do you block you know, inappropriate requests, and you say you've got these filters and stuff, but why Why should I put myself in a position where it could happen? Like, why should I put, like, it is a slippery goddamn slope when someone says, I'll give you money if you blah. No. God, God, no. God, no. Um... Oh, what they said they're bringing the customization talent stuff back. Apparently, not apparently! It's, it is coming, not apparently. It was announced and shown in the Dragonflight announcement, uh, in the launch cinematics and not cinematics, stuff like that. Um, the problem is the term RPG itself isn't very clear on what it is. It's a role-playing game. Most games you don't play as yourself. You're right, Tommy. Most games you play a role of some kind. RPG means like five different things. Labels are shit. Oh, please sell me on the new player experience. Uh, subtext if your DPS nuclear experience is not the best. They've apparently redone it. They've apparently, like, redone the whole thing or something. And that's why they're doing this campaign to get, like, to show people that the, it's a Realm Reborn 2.0 or something. Yeah. Yeah, Final Fantasy Fridays? No, it'd be Final Fantasy... Final Fantasy 14 on a Monday. Um, my Fridays are booked. Um, that was my thing. MSQ Mondays. Final Fantasy Thursdays. I don't stream on Thursdays. Only if you're a cat or bunny. Final Fantasy XIV, like, I get it, but damn, that slug past AR uh, killed my enthusiasm for the game, which is why they've done it. Are you on the wrong screen? Uh, no, because I still haven't given out that stuff yet. Uh, I'm catching up on chat. There we go. Here's the thing, DPS over completed queues longer. Yes, which is why you can do it with NPCs. As I said, the whole point of the Final Fantasy XIV campaign is to introduce people to this information that nobody seems to know. A Realm Reborn 2.0? is the new new player experience they've streamlined a lot of stuff they've gone back and graphically updated a lot of stuff and all of the introductory dungeons and stuff like that you can do with a team of npcs you can play it the way you want to play it they're aiming to capture recapture the old final fantasy franchise fans who played it as a single player rpg and who want to experience final fantasy 14 as a single player game they have redesigned it I wasn't talking out my ass when I was continually saying, it is new, it is new, 
It has changed. They've updated it. Uh, Martin, Zem, Zeman, Kat, Tommy, Like, V, and Draz. Congratulations to all of you in a bonus shit. Well done. Uh, in we go to this one. Um, but alliteration. I know. I know. Uh, I've done a bunch of stuff to help AR in the latest. Uh, last, yeah, latest patch actually has been fun to explore. That is what the campaign is designed to expose. That's exactly what they're trying to do is to show people we did shit. <laughs> we did stuff. Come look it. Come look it. Try it again. We promise it's not as crap as it was. Uh, more MMOs need to add that NPC instance from feature. Not everyone wants to play with others and that's fine. Yeah, well, it's kind of, um, so World of Warcraft with their uh, Exiles Reach. Um, the, the the new player experience for levels one to ten has a it, it introduces you to how to do dungeons having NPCs as your other players. After that, there's no other like that's it. That's the only one you do with NPCs. But um, yeah, it's uh it's good. All right, I'm not on a melee. I have to actually push buttons and wait for casts and stuff. Good. Uh, uh, can someone mention what ARR and MSQ stands for? Um, ARR is A Realm Reborn, which is essentially equivalent to vanilla. And uh, MSQ is Main Story Quest. So it's your story, it's your quests with shield icons that progress the story. See, I know, I know Final Fantasy fourteen things. Uh, she's brilliant and have great being a stream again. Great to have you here, Chot. Thank you so much for hanging out, and we will see you next time. I say disagree. Uh, I feel like making the instance required for story progress is a bit annoying in the first place. I think that's kind. I think that's where the balance lies. If it's not necessary, then it's fine to just not do it. Like it's not necessary for story and stuff like that. But if it is absolutely one hundred percent necessary for the story, then maybe it should have an option to do it solo. Mm. Also, new dungeon things seems to be for all them. Oh, cool! I didn't know that. That's awesome. Usually, NPCs in Final Fantasy move a lot more than WoW's NPCs. <laughs> Having group content required for stories awful. Agreed. Like the Kyrian campaign being the only one that needed a dungeon. What the hell? Yeah, that's um. I get it because they put the storyline in the dungeon, but they probably shouldn't have done that. Can't you just plug it? Yeah, but. People have bad experiences with pugs, dude. People who want to go in there and, and explore the zone and take their time and then they're in a group where it's like, go, 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 let's just kill shit. I want to get out. Let's get out of here. Um, people being, you know, vote kicked from pugs for various reasons. Like, people have bad experiences and so they don't want to do it. Um, the key to that, the trick, is to find a community so you don't have to pug. So you put a group together with the people in the community and then go and experience it together. Like, yeah. And we have so many places to find those kind of groups, that those kind of communities these days. You've got all the Discord servers in the world. Perky Pugs is a really good one to look at. Um, you've got uh, Twitch communities and stuff. If you find a stream that you like that does this kind of content, chances are they're gonna have a Discord server with a whole bunch of community members who will want to do that kind of stuff. Um, you've got forums to find, you know, like-minded people and stuff like that. Um, there are there are so many avenues to find groups to do group content with these days. It's uh, a lot easier. And even the in-game guild finder, you can filter, like, if people want to do, like, if you want to find a role-playing guild or a casual guild or a leveling guild or something like that, there are so many ways to find pre-made stuff. And I mean, yes, okay, you're going to find inactive groups along the way, inactive communities. But if you keep going until you find one you're happy with, and then you can stick with it. Because they're active, and they give you what you need, and you're great. So yeah, it's... There are lots and lots and lots of ways to find players that aren't the LF the, the LFG tool. Um, but yeah, I, uh... It does take a bit of effort, that's all. But most good things in life take a bit of effort. Most worthwhile things take a little bit of effort. 
Excuse me, that's very rude of you. How dare you? Annihilated. Oh, excuse me. Um. Uh, dungeon and paddle story is okay. Boss duties is paddle story is so good. Uh, folks in dungeon fun are basically NPCs, right? No. NPCs can't kick you from a group. Ah, uh, solo juice is great. Ooh, they're trolls. Not every not always. Not always. That's the problem. People have these really, like, they have these assumptions of what group finder's gonna be like. And then even if the group is semi-decent, they'll still feel like it was terrible because of their prior, like, you know what I mean? It's not gonna change those negative feelings. Um, Greetings, sir yeah. and ma'am. Um, that's great. We're almost hug, and that's fine. People are a lot more abusive than NPCs on average. Um, three trials that was in the arse. I didn't know so much because I made story dungeons. Was duties at the people. I think it's amazing, to be honest. I uh, watched Toxic Run last night. Dude literally bailed in a key with only two buses left because they pulled one extra group of trash. I'm still going to time it. Everything just bailed out. Started flaming them in chat. Does not inspire me to run Mythics this season. What level Mythic were they doing though, Ali? Are you talking about Dark Mac? Because they were running like 20 plus keys. The, the player base at that high level of play is very, very different to the, the players at a, at a lower level of play. At single digit keys or even teen level keys are very different from the player base at 20 plus. Like it's, it's a totally different player base. Like 10 has adopted that mindset though too. Not from my experience. Like legitimately I have had better luck doing pug keys than doing keys with community, like not the community members here, but like people I know from every other places. I had better luck doing, I had better luck taking pugs than I did taking people I knew. Um, yeah. And this is, I'm talking anywhere from 10s to 16s, is what I've been running. And if you're running a 24, one trash pack can make or break a key. And nobody's running a 24 key to deplete it. Yeah, um, the one I was talking about, Jack, it was Dark Mech. They were absolutely going to time it. Like, Dark Mech is a goddamn king machine. They were 100% going to time it. But this guy left and was just was flaming him in whispers and all this kind of stuff because he was getting the shits. Um, I, I was there for that story too. But uh, yeah, no, it's um, Dark Mech knows his stuff. He's not going to pull an extra pack for the fun of it. He's a bloody good player. Um, my VP cap is going to get people with that same sort of toxic mindset in plus two farming VP. Look, um. I've not done a two in a very long time. I've not done a single digit key in a very long time. I can imagine people going to, from coming up there down to the lower keys, getting shitty that people don't know roots and stuff like that. I can see that happening, but it's not everyone and it's not every key. It's like, it, it's, I feel like the generalizations, here's the thing, right? Here's the fucking thing. If we keep talking about how toxic all these people who run keys are. We scare away the decent goddamn players who aren't gonna behave like that. They never do keys. And what does that leave? No one but the fucking toxic fuckwits in the key groups. That is exactly literally what happens. There are plenty, plenty of communities out there who have rules against toxicity who if you report that someone has been toxic in a key and you can show it with screenshots and stuff, they will ban them from the community and no longer allow them to use that to look for groups. Take Perky Pugs, for example. You're not allowed to ask for an IO rating. You're not allowed to ask for any gear above what drops in the instance that you're running. You can't, so you can't ask for someone who's a 2700 rating for a plus three, for example. Um, if people break those rules, they get rid of them. They remove them from the community. 
and those groups are fantastic and people who are nervous about keys should absolutely get in there and join those kind of communities so that they can get used to running keys so that we can flood the bloody key community with good people who are kind to one another and aren't assholes. Yeah? Let's do that, shall we? Enough of this complaining about toxic shit. Let's change it. Let's fix it. Like, for real. Not everyone looking for keys is that bad. Yes, absolutely. There are absolutely toxic people in those queues looking for keys. Because toxic people play the game too. We know that. But it really isn't as bad as everyone makes it out to be. It just isn't. It, it just simply isn't. If you have had nothing but bad experiences, then I'm very sorry to hear that. And that really, truly sucks and or blows. But it is not. 100%. It's not even 90%. It is so much lower than that. It has been literally years since I have had a bad, outwardly bad key experience with people. I mean, there are people who make mistakes, yes, of course, but I'm talking about like assault insults being hurled and, and swearing and, and all that kind of slurs being tossed around, all that kind of stuff. It has literally been years since I've experienced that. And I'm not someone who never runs keys. I haven't missed a KSM in a couple years now. So like, <laughs> it is really not as bad as everyone makes it out to be, genuinely, truly. Um, getting dizzy sitting up, gonna lie down, enjoy your rest, we'll see you next time, Lucky. Dark Mech is from BDGG, in, well, sponsored by, yes. I don't believe, I don't think he does the raids and stuff with them. He runs keys with them. Um, but he is sponsored by BDGG, yes. Which is super cool, by the way. Uh, sorry, that's fine. It's fine. I'm just like, I'm so sick of everyone talking about how crap everything is. It's like, it's really not. It, it's actually genuinely not that bad. If you communicate with everyone with respect, regardless of how they communicate with you, even if they're coming across as aggressive or defensive or anything like that, if you re just remain calm and respond as calmly as you possibly can, remember that text is incredibly hard to read tone. Someone might be saying something bluntly and straightforwardly. It is not them being toxic. It's them trying to get it out as quickly as they can so they don't die. Like it's, it's all those little bits and pieces. People, if they're already nervous about going into a key, they'll read into every little thing that's being said. And it might actually not be what they're trying to say, what they're trying to say. Um, but yeah, I just, it, yeah. If you are looking for learning keys and low level keys and stuff like that, two suggestions. Perky Pugs is a phenomenal community for that. They do learning keys and all that kind of stuff consistently throughout an expansion. Uh, and also our Discord. There are so many people in this community who keep talking about how they'd love to do keys, but they're really nervous about it. How about you get five people together who really want to do keys, but are really nervous about it, and y'all take your time. Ignore the fact that the timer exists and just learn what you're doing. Have fun with it. What's the harm? If everyone approaches it with this, if everyone wants to get the same thing out of it, then you will. It's, it's really just that simple. This community is freaking amazing. Absolutely awesome. It is full of great people who are not toxic, who understand that everyone's at different levels of play. And y'all know that, because you're part of it. <laughs> so put together some groups. It's just like putting together a D&D &D group, except you're using less of the talkies and more of the key pushes. And then if you as a group decide you're ready to move up to a seven instead of a three, then maybe you try it. Doesn't matter if it times out because no one's there to meet the timer. You're all there just to learn. Perfection. Nothing could be better. 
working together to achieve a common goal. Oh, am I? No, I'm just locked. Okay. Am I? Oh, leave Kevin. Okay, yeah, I'm done. Good. Uh, people tend to remember the one bad experience over the five bland ones, and it that's the, that's the other thing. It's it, They remember the bad experience, but then they let that colour everything else as well. Like, you could have someone in chat say, pull faster, if you're the tank, right? The honor of the blade you can take that as, oh my god, pull faster, you're a shitty tank, what the hell are you doing? Why aren't you pulling faster? You suck. Or, hey, I can see that you're being really careful here, but I'm actually a fantastic healer and I can keep up with what you're doing. Feel free to pull more packs faster if you'd like to. Literally both of those can be communicated with pull faster. But if you've had a bad experience or if people have told you that the community is toxic, you are gonna take it as the first one, even if it's absolutely not what was intended. Uh, but she's a player, Destiny 2, Elder Scrolls Online, Assassin's Creed, Odyssey, nothing big, like Dark Souls, I'm not ready for this yet. Brilliant, Daz! I hope you enjoy them! I was about Puggy, I haven't played in years, I'm gonna do a DPS and heal and loved it. Good, I'm glad you loved it. That's fantastic to hear. Uh, ah, oh, crap. I forgot I was supposed to blow the horn. <laughs> Oopsie, wrong button. Ugh! I'm a noob. Especially only you know all of them are English first language either. It's another thing to keep in mind. Yes, absolutely. Even even on here, like with NA and Oceanic, right? Not all of us are first language English speakers as well. We share uh, we share our stuff with what is it, Brazil and Latin America, all that kind of stuff. So we get a lot of people, especially people see uh, like Ragnaros as a server and stuff like that. Often it's ESL. Like English is a second language, so yeah, yeah, for sure. It's an, it, not a, not as much here as I would imagine as in EU, because good lord, you lot have like a lot of languages in a very small area. But um, <laughs> it is it is a similar thing here as well. You never know. Like just because they're playing on an English speaking game doesn't necessarily mean that English is their first language. For sure, it's a really good point. Ah, uh, DPS who wouldn't wait for the tank, or tanks who wouldn't wait for the healer's mana, but on the whole it was great fun. Oh, yeah, of course, you'll absolutely get hiccups with little people here and there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, little things that happen and, the yeah. Very person is so toxic. I mean, I know, Mary, like, what the hell? How could you? How how dare you? How could you? That's so from a specific instance in current keys, tanks should never wait for healer mana. <laughs> Unless they literally scream for it and then you're like, oh, that's okay. Um... I say that as a healer. Don't know anything about WoW, but this sounds wrong. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, specifically for high-end keys, heals should have mana pots and food to drink while the tank pulls the next pack. If the group needs to be healing within the first four seconds of a pack, they massively screwed up. I mean, yeah, but it's like, it's good to hope that, you know, you kind of want to hope that if there is a big screw up, that your healer can do something to kind of help a little bit, maybe. But, you know, who, like, pff, I don't play heals. 10 plus mana should be a mana. It shouldn't be a problem anyway, really. If you're healing right too. What about many moons ago? Yeah, different. Something has changed recently. Mm. That is kind of cool though. But yeah, look. It's I, I really I absolutely think that if you guys want to do keys and like learn them together as a group, you should absolutely put together something. In that I can even I can make you a bloody thread off the off the Warcraft um thing if you want. You can put together some times and and all that kind of stuff. You only need to do, like, if you've got a group of five people who have never done a mythic before and you all do a mythic zero, like a regular mythic dungeon, you'll all get a two key. And then you can have a look at the variety of dungeons you've received and talk amongst yourselves and figure out which one you'd be most comfortable with, like which one you feel like you've run the most, and then you can go do that. And then see if you get it. If it depletes, it's still a two. Oh well. If it goes up by one, it's a three. If you do really well, it goes to a four. Like that's really great. But it's it's like, and just don't worry about it. Like make a weak aura that's just a black box that goes over the timer or something. Like just totally ignore it, and just explore. Learn something new. I think that'd be a great idea. 
He also just asked us at freaking Arbos if you feel- Oh, really? Ah, uh, of course. That's fantastic. I didn't know about that. Is that- that's reasonably new? Is that reasonably new? Uh, if nobody has run, then pick a key, read over Mythic Trap after doing it to learn. Exactly. 100%. For God's sake. I always manage to pull literally everything. I don't know how. <laughs> Maybe my butt's just too big and I keep pulling with my butt. I new add ons. Did you hear how hard they're cracking down in Final Fantasy XIV on it? No! I didn't. Like, I know that they're, like, they don't have an add-on interface like WoW does. They're not really super keen on that kind of stuff. It's it's definitely not, like, in order to get in add-ons working, you have to do stuff, like, in the game install files or whatever. Um, like, I knew that much, but I, I didn't know, like, they were cracking down or anything like that. I mean, if they don't want that in their game, it's like any other terms of service violation, right? If you don't want racism in your game, you got to crack down on it. You don't want add-ons in your game, you got to crack down on it. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Uh, I don't want to speak to him. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. It's really cool, though. Hey, you don't even have to run a dungeon now to, to get one. Takes that barrier to entry away. That's really good. I like it. Everyone has to start somewhere, right? Uh, Cease policy is no add-ons at all, and like mostly it's been don't ask, don't tell. But right now they're like, heck, it's your band. Okay, fair enough. Well, I mean, again, like, yeah, if they don't, if they don't want them there, then I guess that's. These vile creatures serve the jailer. We will grind them. Judging by the brief, the the draft brief that I received, so I got a document. It's not a contract. It doesn't have a signature page or anything like that. But it kind of lays out what the expectations are, like what I what I am supposed to do, how they will support me in that, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Just like the brief as to this is what we want you to do for us. And uh, it does, there is a, a, quite a bit in there about like, for example, not moving the camera too fast, especially if you're on a, a dodgier PC um, to like make sure that everything is displayed smoothly and looks good and all that kind of stuff. Like it's, yeah, so, I mean, if they've got add-ons that are making things behave interestingly, and then those screenshots are getting around of the game looking like that, that could potentially reflect badly on Square Enix. It is a conv it's a very different um, culture as well, obviously. This is not a, a Western game studio that we're talking about either, so it may well be something like that. Fine then. <laughs> right, so Archivist Codex. Actually, no, bugger it. I'm going to I'm going to uh ZM. I've got half an hour left and I can go kill the boss and I might actually be able to get a resultant. <clears throat> Mm, why are they so against it? If someone sells me a chair or a pineapple, I'm allowed to modify it any way I like. Correct. But they're not selling you a chair or a pineapple. They're not even selling you a video game. Read your toss. Your terms of service for any game that involves a subscription tells you that you are renting your account from them for a monthly payment. You do not own your account, which is why they can ban you from accessing it. Games, subscription games like this have always had that in the terms of service. So they can absolutely control the way that you play it because they have not sold it to you. They have rented it to you. And you cannot irretrievably alter a rental property. You cannot take a chair from a rental place and cut the legs off and replace them with metal and give it back to them because it'll be in the contract that you cannot amend a rent. You can't change a rented piece. You would be correct if you had purchased it from them, but you haven't in the terms of service. New things learning with fear, Yars. <laughs> Welcome on in, Dissidium. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I don't vlog about it, honestly. I don't know. Chill pineapple aren't hosted on a server shared competitively with others. It's a thing. 
with these games more like you're renting it. It's not more like it is. Read your toss. I know you don't want to, but you need to. Read your toss. Espe oh my god, especially if you're a goddamn streamer. If you are a streamer streaming a game, read the goddamn fucking terms of service. Like, the last thing you want to do is get banned from your moneymaker. Good lord. <laughs> like... <sighs> Don't be a silly. Read your terms of service. Wait, have I already done... I have... I did answer... Good god, I'm a numpty. Alright, that's fine. Um, World quests. Um, Final Fantasy add-ons aren't even add-ons though. Aren't most of them basically external programs that overlay on the window? Uh, potentially. Potentially. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I've never used a Final Fantasy 14 add-on. Are you allowed to search? Are you signing a toss that gives you access to blah blah blah? Exactly. Yeah, you're not purchasing a thing that you can then go and alter. You're, you're literally renting. You're, you're hiring access to their game on an account that they own that you are renting from them. Yeah. You're also not allowed to sell it. Yep. Absolutely. You can't sell accounts because you don't own them in the first place. They can try. They can try. And they may be successful if they can detect that someone's using an add-on and they ban them. It is their right to do so. Especially if it's in the toss. You want more about the pineapple mods though? Same with Apple iPhones. You sign a toss that prevents you modifying the iOS code iOS code, everything. Yeah, interesting. There you go. You're welcome on in, Nuz. Absolutely. Castle Panaplia. Never read the toss because I never agree with them. Then you can't game. So you don't game. No, I just violate it. Well, then it's on you if you get banned, buddy. Like, that's how that works. <laughs> to be clear, don't violate toss. Uh, if you, again, if you're a streamer, don't violate toss. You can actually get banned from Twitch for violating in game toss for certain things. Um, and that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, look, just, I, I would highly recommend not signing something and then intentionally breaking it. Uh, I buggered it. I wasn't paying attention. Um, yeah, like signing a legal contract and then intentionally going out and violating that legal contract is not a good idea. It's, it's just not ever a good idea. If you don't agree to a toss, don't play a game. It's it's really that simple. It, like, really that simple. Uh, all right. Yeah, so that's gonna be... Last time I tried doing that, it bugged out the last one because I did it too quickly. Um. Okay. Kind of strange. You exchange money before you get to sign a toss. Uh, so you could get a refund base just on that. Yeah, you should be able to. There's usually cooling down periods with any kind of subscription. So they don't comply because their toss says you don't get a refund. Uh, well, no. If the toss says you don't get a refund and you haven't agreed to the toss, then no. That's you. That's when you'd contact your consumer affairs in your country. Um, but no, very often, yeah. If you if you sign up for something, there there is usually a toss prior to your paying the credit card, and then there's a toss in game as well. Like there's yeah. So yeah, you just kind of do that kind of thing. But if you're honestly, genuinely concerned that you're going to disagree with something that someone wants you to agree to with playing a game, their terms of service and EULAs are often available of like online separate from the game itself. Uh, so you can always give a read of that prior to handing over your cash if it's something you are concerned about. Uh, and if they don't have it available online, you can always reach out to the customer service and I'm sure they will be able to send you a PDF document of it or something. Like if they don't have a PDF they can send you, I would find that to be very, very silly. I have two. I need more. <clears throat> um, honestly, don't thank you two friends. You do what I want. Yeah, no. You do what you want and then you get banned for it. Totally fine. Um, worth noting that TOS isn't legally binding, but equally the game provider doesn't have to give you access to the game. So if you breach it, they have every right to ban your account. Ah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I do often, like when, when I'm talking about, you know, going against TOS and things like that, 
I, I often make a comment like, that's illegal, uh, but it is not actually illegal. What I'm talking about is in a joking manner, and I'm talking about illegal within the game's ecosystem as such. Uh, but yeah, no, tosses are usually not legally binding, but you can also not usually face legal consequences for those. There are so very few uh, instances where you can face legal consequences, but that's usually like, you know, you are making money off a program that automatically plays their game for people, uh, in which case, you know, you're taking away income and blah, 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 blah. Like there's a, there, there are clear like legal things about business rather than gaming. It's a business thing that they, that they'd get you on in that case. But yeah, terms of service. Yeah. Not legally binding, but they are under no obligation to provide you access to their business. Um, same with pretty much anyone, any business. There's some MMOs you have to create an account before you sub play. Yes, correct. And there'll be like an agree thing when you when you create that account. Hello, Vikings. Hope you're doing wonderfully today. It's like shrink wrap TNC. Yeah, illegal in most countries. Shrink wrap TNC. Uh, what is that, Talexi? What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, pleasant time zone. Absolutely. I make the same comments about the illegal. Yeah, good. Okay. Thankfully. Um, yeah, there have there've been a couple of people who are like, actually, it's not illegal. I'm like, I, I know. Could you not tell by the way I went, that's illegal, that it wasn't actually a serious <laughs> Like, you've always, when when you're on the internet like this, every single thing that comes out of your mouth has to have a goddamn disclaimer. <laughs> it's just, it's, yeah. It's fun. Some things should have a disclaimer to be like very, very clear, like disclosing when you have an affiliate program or disclosing, you know, I talk about my finances when I'm like from a streaming perspective, how I put money aside for super or for tax and how I pay my taxes and all this kind of stuff. Uh, I don't tend to talk about how much usually, but I talk about that it's a thing, but I always talk about how I am not a financial advisor. I am in no way qualified to give you advice what I am advising you to do is ask your financial professional. Those kind of disclaimers, absolutely necessary. And I think that it's important because there are people on the internet, because I especially, especially because my day job, I am an assistant accountant. So they might think that I am actually qualified to talk about that stuff. And I am not. Not only that, but I know none of your personal situations and I don't want to know about them. Don't tell me. Go tell your, 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 I was about to say mental health professional because we talk about that a lot too, but like your financial professional. Silver, Zem and Death, congratulations to all of you on your bonus Well done. Well done. Uh, TNC terms can just, oh no, I knew that bit. What I'm talking about is the shrink wrap part. That's like shrink wrap TNC and they are illegal in most countries. I don't know what that means. What's shrink wrap TNC? I didn't realize that my glad wrap had terms and conditions. That's, that's where my brain went, you know? So I'm, I'm very confused. Uh, <laughs> Place them units. Do I have six? I have ten. Good. That's what happens when I don't pay attention. Hello, Lawrence. Welcome back. Waiting for daily reset and get rid of full eye the jailer. I've been working on my boomy. Ah, oh, brilliant. I'm guessing you haven't quested far enough just yet to remove the eye of the jailer. If you go and do Corthia, if you go and unlock Corthia, you'll have no eye of the jailer anymore. Um, they don't take your money before showing you the TNC software used to be shrink wrap packaged inside was a TNC saying if you opened it, you can't get a refund. Ah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It also makes sense that that's not allowed. I mean, I think the whole argument there is we can't take that as a refund because we can't guarantee you haven't used the key, blah, blah, blah. But now companies have a lot more, like, most of it, you, like, yeah. They have, that's why they have like the scratchy things for the, like once you've scratched it off, that's a sign that you've agreed to the terms and conditions and all that kind of stuff. Um, because that way, if they can see that the cut, the code hasn't been scratched free, then they know it hasn't been used because it's still covered, etc., etc. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense why they transition to that. Toss generally doesn't protect you. It gives them a set of clauses that they can use to protect themselves from litigation from the users if they take specific actions. Yeah, it makes sense. This isn't legal advice, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But Tlexi said, brilliant, perfect. Thank you for that, guys. I, I appreciate the additional explanation. I had no idea what you were talking about, but now I do. Yay for communication. Some court cases, maybe the shrink wrap judge may deem TNC unacceptable. Oh, no, there's, yeah, there's also that kind of stuff. Absolutely. But it usually comes around like it won't be the terms and conditions of playing a game, like getting banned from a game is probably not going to come under the purview of a judge. Um... 
it's just like a bar has every right to kick you out if you're being disruptive. A game company has every right to kick you out of their game if you're being disruptive or what, do you know what I mean? Like that's, that's kind of the, you, you can't sue a bar for kicking you out as far as I'm aware. Um, <laughs> thankfully, cause good Lord, could you imagine? Um, but yeah, in terms of actually getting refunds for, for games and stuff like that, that will definitely be covered by legal stuff because that's a business transaction rather than an internal agreement between two parties, being you and the game developer or publisher, depending on who's actually done the bloody thing. Uh, all right. I should probably actually kill something, but um, everything has too much health. <laughs> I'm supposed to just throw that and then it eats it, doesn't it? Does that do nothing? Uh, uh, Maybe... Because it's 60s Brilliant! Amazing! Um, there is an item just next to the flight path in Ouroboros that you can boost your covenant to 40 renown. Uh, and it costs you like, I think it's like 10k or 1k or something like that. Or if you're wearing the wrong clothes, yeah, they can have a dress code and that's perfectly legal because they are operating a business and they are allowed to determine who's allowed in that building uh, based on non-protected categories, like what you're wearing. If you're, if it's a protected category that they're excluding, then, well, I mean, the, the terminology there is going to be different from country to country, obviously, but um, that causes issues, obviously. And lid does some damage, debuffs it, so it does less damage, takes more damage. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, it's been a while since I've actually done this one. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm getting there. I wish I knew that before. Yeah, um, I've been leveling a few tunes lately. I've just gotten to eight. 60s. I think I have eight sixties now. Uh, and yeah, like threads of fate. I take threads of fate. I go upstairs. I grab that, boost myself to 40. And by the time I'm done leveling, I'm like 50 something. It's really nice. Much recommend. And then there's another item that once you hit 60, you can buy it for like 500 gold or something ridiculous. Um, that gives you every conduit and all at eye level 200. You just have to use it like you would a new conduit at your conduit bond, what's it. Um, but you have to be 60 to be able to use that. You can't use it before then. Big holds. Of course makes fun, but it's Oh, okay. Crap. <laughs> a bit late, aren't I? I can do that, though. Oh, I must have. Uh, okay, Hulk. Oh, except they're not for the- yeah, no, I don't have time to mess around with that. But yeah, next time it's up, I can definitely do that. Um, but yeah, I don't really have the time to do that today. Oh, it's okay, it applies to both of them. It's like an AoE. Okay, perfect. Noted. Look, I'm learning so much today. You hugs can tell I got the mount recipe. I yeah, I don't have the mount recipe yet, but um, I'm also uh, running out of time today, unfortunately. And how the conduit one worked. Now I know. Thank you. Very welcome. That is how that works. Just use it just like a normal conduit, except it's a multi conduit. With the so well oh, look, a ring. I'm assuming that's the one you got. Ali, where am I? Thank you, Sika. For a second there, the way that that displayed in chat, Sika, I thought Jack was replying to it. I was like, um, what? Hang on. <laughs> We're all good. We're all good. Ah, that's not the best quest for it, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's cool. Awesome. All Stay right. a while and listen. No! 
<laughs> Here's some good. Aw, Pess, thank you! It's my Wailera Curla. Can you feel a code coming on? Yep. Uh, <laughs> I actually bought this curler for myself for my birthday. Uh, Cause I'm like, hey, this actually looks like it might work. Cause my hair's terrible with curling. It, my hair is so thin and so oily and Brisbane is so humid that everything just drops the hell out. It all just like, it drops out. Um, so I, I bought this for myself thinking, hey, this could be fun. I like this, this actually looks like it might do something properly. Uh, and it did. And I was on their website looking at some other, like, looking, watching some of their tutorials and stuff to try to get, like, the waves rather than, like, the queerly curls. And, uh, I noticed that they had an affiliates button. So I clicked it. And I filled out the form. Uh, so I have a code. And you can get one for yourself for 20 bucks off by using code Fiamma. You can type exclamation Wylera, W-Y-L-E-R-A, into chat to get the link, if you so desire. How good's that? Thank you, dude. Don't stay away. Don't listen to me. Why would you do that? Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, can you tell I'm getting real sleepy? Oop. Uh, oop. I missed some stuff. Uh, also worth noting. That when trying to get your legendary on ult, you need to make sure you unlock the ring cover first. The legendary recipe won't be a 100% drop chance if it's from a dungeon. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah the other side, oh, no! Oh, well. Well, I hope you had fun in the dungeon regardless. Excuse me. Not guaranteed on normal in any circumstance. I think they change it to guaranteed on all difficulties. Unless that changed in a patch in the last couple weeks. Go find the link. Ah, uh, yeah, links are blocked here. You'll be able to see it, but everyone else just sees a bunch of asterisks. Um... When is daily reset? Uh, 1 a.m.? I want to say 1 a.m. Daily reset, 3 hours and 13 minutes. Yeah, 1 a.m. for me. So 3 hours and- yeah, 3 hours and 13 minutes! Alright, so I need to go kill some rares, because I'm 93%. I'm not gonna get 9,000 rep today. God damn it. I'm so- look at- and I'm not even- that's honoured to revered. I'm not even revered yet. Good God. Okay, that's fine. There, I just, I feel like the dailies should give you stuff. I really, I know, I understand why from a law perspective, they are not part of the enlightened. Therefore, their stuff does not give, I get it, but it sucks. I get it, but it sucks. Um, this will be the same time for me. Perfect. Um, suggest is guaranteed on 915. Moving protection. Wait for me. One sign locked him. Oh, good. There you go. It's awesome. I don't come my heart much. Maybe if I'm going to like a wedding or something, my hair is similar. I know the feeling of finally finding something that works. Let me show you something, Purse. Because I have a, like, I, I didn't either. I've got a couple of curling irons and I never used them because they were just such a hassle and it took so long and my arms hurt from doing this. And yeah, it was just terrible. But then, I want to show you. Oh, I forgot I was still plugged in. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm so used to having the wireless stuff now that it, oh my God. That's hilarious. That is so goddamn funny. Let me just, uh... Oh, crap, what'd I do? Something. That was hilarious. I hope that all... I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed that. I'm gonna heat that baby up. This is what it looks like. Super cute. Totally wireless. Charging port. It also acts as a power brick. You can charge your phone with it. It's great. Good God, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, I, <gasps> I haven't done patterns. Oh my God, I might actually get, okay, I'm, 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 where's the next one? 
pretty sure I have a purpose cache, cache key. Um, I don't know, support, I don't know, sleepy speaking reels. Have you followed Fear on Instagram? Do the thing. Do the thing. You ready yet? You hit no, not yet. Almost there. Taurus the provoked. Oh, that was the collapse. Shakes the mountains. Um, got just a silver pain. And if you get honored, my boob in you can get them all at a decent level. Yes. There we go. Beep beep. Let's take this little bitty here. Shit. Put it in the slot. Hold the button. Curls. Look at it. <laughs> Just that easy. And that is why I have actually got curled hair more often these days, because it's actually something I'm able to do with my limited number of spoons. Ah, oh dear. Yes, follow on socials, do the thing. Never go back to wired headsets for sure. Wreck my setup by yanking cables out. Yeah, it's because it was beeping at me before because it was dying. Um, so yeah, that's hilarious. Only a little bit hilarious, but hilarious unless. If flying is taking so long to get. Yes, here's naturally curly versus. Ah, oh, brilliant. My arms hurt, yep. Yep. It's, uh, my hair's naturally wavy, but it's not curly like that. Um, and then if I brush that out, it tends to do like the wave thing. And then yeah, bam. Like, just that easy. <laughs> I love it so much. Like I am, I am so happy with my purchase. I would not have chased down an affiliate program if I wasn't. But yeah. Boing. Why is your hair curler reversing? It's telling me that it's doing the thing. That it's working. Ha! Ah! Yay! Wait, what? Really? Oh my god, okay. I just got an upgraded neck from that cage back there. Awesome. I didn't realize I was wearing a Cypher Rich thingy. That's really funny. Ah, uh, now I'm just gonna wait for some Rennes to spawn like a god. Or for Pocket Pock to tell me there's like caches nearby. Um, if we ever need a Boyden sound command, that's so cool. It's how super cool is that? And so, usually, what I've been doing, like, I'll be sitting here doing work, like, you know, one handed with the mat, and I'll just kind of sit there with this up like that, and then just kind of pull it out, grab a piece, pop it in, and then just kind of lean on the desk with the. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a. Oh no. I am. I am definitely. A lazy sometimes, but also like efficient. I need efficient. I should probably turn you off, hey, before you like do bad things. There we go. Um, damn flying is very easy to get relative to older shapes. I agree. Okay, I made this worrying. Just unlock the map because apparently that's step one. Yes, go you. If special occasions start happening anytime soon, I might look into it though, like my curling iron I have now. Nice one is just self-care. Of course, absolutely. Well, there you go. I'm I'm actually, now that I think about it, unsure where they ship to, but I can't imagine that they wouldn't ship to the US. Like that's one of the biggest bloody consumer markets in the world. They'd be silly not to. Um, but yeah, three of the five curious collections. Perfect. What tune are you playing? Fiamma, my fire mage. My main, actually, Vikings. Uh, Seeker, don't forget today's wordle. Path of Enlightenment is done! Yay, Seeker! Oh. Is the Engulf already? Yeah, the Engulf has died already. Good lord. 
Okay, fine. I will take the treasure vault though. Oh, I should go spend my ciphers too. This is achievements for that. Although Wednesday stream we're going to be back here again, so if I don't get revered today, I will absolutely get it on Wednesday. But I'd really like to finish patterns, but oh, 10 more percent? Oof. Ah, that's what I needed for BFA flying recently. What a pain. I mean, it wasn't back when it was current, though. That's the thing. It was just part of playing. That's the thing with going back and doing old content. Um, it's a pain in the ass if you didn't do it while it was current, but it's still definitely possible. Good morning, buddy. Did you get increased cipher drop change thingy on fear? Next person speaks. I'm stealing your name. For ship class in Hoi 4. So you're going to call it the Fiamma? Because, I mean, I will absolutely take that. But I mean, I also speak a lot, so maybe that doesn't count for me. Um, can I get that thing? Do I have... Which one is it? The, is this one? Ah, oh, no. I don't think so, but I don't have enough for it yet. But I'm only 25 off, so I could probably get it. My hunter four piece, time three keys back to back. After raid, hit 1600. Well done! Good job! Really wins by the look of it, but what about Fear? Does Fear win? Fear likes winning too. Oh. Excuse me, bugger off. Where's the cache gone? Did it disappear? Must have. I said two bad guesses and did I give up guess now I'm stuffed. Wordle, you cannot win the wordle if you do not do the wordle. Correct. I mean I occasionally do the wordle, but it's just on Jas's one. If you can be the CS class. I don't know what that means. Is that an insult? Is Jack insulting me? <laughs> Sika, are you in ZM at the moment? Because, I mean, I can fly you around to rares that I notice are up. What tune are you on? You know, it's got crazy too. Oh, okay, good. Okay, Destiny 2, doing all the Yay! Awesome. Oh, I mean, I'm quite close to the end of stream, but, like, I think we might just run until the battle's ready to go, and then we'll close it off there. Um, are you on my list? I found you. I invited you to join my group. Because, yeah, the bigger, the most difficult part of getting flying in ZM is killing the rares, because once most people have flying, they die too quick. Drive by! <laughs> oh, look! This is the one that drops the, the red lava sword. They absolutely do. Yeah. Yeah. Also, ZM is beautiful from this guy. 
Once we've killed this, I'll I'll take you up and show you. Like it's just heckin' gorgeous. Mm. Oh my god, don't die! No, ah! no die. Yeah, the swirlies on the ground are hard to see. <clears throat> there we go. I'll pop a circle on me so you can see where I am. Oh, I got a glimmer of focus. Oh, actually, before I do that, let's do that. Have some brains. Oh, where'd it go? It was here, and now it's gone. You bastards. Uh... Yeah. How, how freaking, like... Yeah. I think Super Driver, yeah! <laughs> Look. Look, gotta make money somehow, right? Gotta, gotta, gotta do the hustle. What are we on? 10.33. Are there two people hanging out in chat who could toss me a like on Instagram? I reckon there might be. I'm trying to grow my, my social media reach so that I can earn more dosh through sponsorships and stuff because I would like to be a full-time content creator. So if you're enjoying my content, and you think I deserve to be able to do this as a job properly full time, uh, then feel free to support. It's free! By the way, can you see that nest? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. You do have your pocket pocket out, right? Oopsie, I missed. Ah, there we go. Oh, do you get tossed off? Are you good? Bouncing buffonids. Oh yeah, right, good. Also, is it like ah, cat? Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Ooh, I can turn in patterns. I can turn in patterns. I'm gonna do that, but I will absolutely continue on the the loop with you. Do you want to link me? Your rare, what's it? The like the th check marks of all the rares you've killed, just to, like towards um, what's it? Flying. That's directed to Seeker, obviously. I fear darker days. I am a revered. What did we learn today? I am a revered, which means I can buy. <laughs> My memory of unity. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ooh. Um, recipe crafter's mark. I've already got that. Got that. No inscription. That's a crafting thing. That. Is my mount. Happy adventuring. Where is it? No wait. I need to so that means number six sixty four. Oh crap, it booted you off. Na 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 Oh Grion. Oh, it's all the way over there. <laughs> Look, let's see. We might be able to get the shipment as adventurous. Yes! Should we one of the shipments or sushi? Oh, yay! Amazing! Maybe influence someone to follow. Look at you! Influencer in training. Yeah, so if you... Yeah, so it's Adventurer of Zerith Mortis. Um... And then, yeah, if you link that 
if you shift click it, if you open up chat and then shift click the achievement, it should drop the link in chat and I can see your progress. Or you know what I should probably bloody just do? Is look it up my goddamn self. I keep forgetting I can do this. Oh no, but I can't actually see progress. Oh, that's crap. What? Why? I... Sure, whatever. Ah, oh, ingredient's gone. Oh well. Six hundred and sixty-four mounts. Not bad. Oh, wait. No, Grudion is up. Must just be that the event was finished. I got the blanket of feathers again. So yeah, if you find Adventurer of Zerath Mortis in your achievements, and then shift click it into party chat, it should give it to me so that I can check what you don't have yet. There we go. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> cool. Alrighty. Um. Oh. This will be another one for you. If it's up and available. Okay. So, do you see these two? So, there's that one, and there's that one. There's the two little symbols. You gotta grab those two different symbols. Um, which one is that one? Okay, so that's one of them there. The other one was the square looking one. That one? That's like the H. What was this one? This was the two ish days. Yeah, no, that's okay. That's okay. It's pretty good for two days. This one. Pop back on. Uh oh. We're good. Oh, we're good. One hell of a leap there. Alright, so what I'll get you to do is grab this one for me instead. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I explode things fast. Alright. Yes! <laughs> Puzzles! Uh, keep shift clicking this tracking on track. Oh no! Yeah, you have to have the thing open. Uh oh. 
We will do the, I know that there's the stuff from the thing. I'm gonna do this and then get Seeker to safety. And then, um, yeah. Oh no, you're tanking. <laughs> um, Cause I've popped my cooldowns and that includes a, an, an aggro drop. Oh crap. It's all right, more people will apply and more, more people will arrive soon. Cause that's his own wide announcement that it did. Pop out of that. Up out of that. Oh no. If you just hang out there, you should, like, if you don't release, it should still give you credit, I think. Because I don't want you to have to run all the way back and then have it be dead. My taxi for me, this is a tube. That's awesome. I'm squishy. You are squishy. You're also a healer. Like, you're extra squishy. Except Jack. Jack, some. Um... Alright. I wish I could res you. I cannot. Unfortunately. But I can, uh, absolutely wait for you here while you get here and then all that kind of stuff. I'll stop just outside for you. Uh, Alright. So, for these, Loz, Martin, Seeker, Cat, Cat, Catalyzed, and Catalina, <laughs> Deathlock, Elytria, and Elysiov, all the double ups today. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Uh, and we are going to wrap it up there. Uh, there are going to be no more battles, and I'm going to finish off stream as well, but I am going to wait for Seeker to get back um, so that I don't like, just abandon her out here because it's not a fun place to get back from. Um. <laughs> Healing my little pants off. Even if you realize you still get, like, kind of lens detectors and reset. Oh, okay, cool. Good, good. I just, I wasn't too sure and I thought, ah, it's probably easier. There's enough people here. That one, you just stay back, avoid the puddles and the spinny things. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, dear. All right. Um. Do, 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 do. Well, I have a stretch. I have two stretches actually, so let's do two stretches real quick. Rather safe than sorry, yeah, absolutely. Especially when this is literally counting towards her flight achieve. Like I do not want her to miss that tag. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um Uh good. One moment. Let me find someone to do the things with. All right, this button. That's okay. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, um, um. Might go here. Um right. I'm gonna take us up here so that we don't die because that's I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I, I know what's gonna happen. Um yes, you can still get in and contribute embers. We're at 18% raised. We're behind. We're, excuse me, we're well behind. 25% um, was the goal for today, so 7% behind. Get your embers in now if you would like to see a um, leveling stream next month, 50, 60s leveling stream. Uh, we have this button to push. Uh, today is the 16th. We have had Mount Farm Monday. On the 18th of May, which is Wednesday, I'm going to be here in Zerath Mortis doing some completion-y, collection-y crap. Uh, and then I'm going to be heading into the raid. Uh, it'll be great fun. I hope you'll join me for that. Ray, a stream will run a little bit late that day because the ra the group I raid with raids till 11. My streams usually finish at 10, which is roughly 15 minutes ago, but shush. Um, and then on Friday, we're going to be playing a game called TikTok, A Tale for Two. It is a puzzle game. It is going to be so much fun. It's a two player game. I get half the puzzle, Jess gets the other half. and We have to communicate to put the pieces together. I, I'm just, I'm so excited for that. Super keen. Uh, and then leveling. On Sunday, 
I again, super keen. Can I get to my ninth level sixty? That'll be the that'll be the question. Uh, and then wrapping around to the twenty third, which you'd think would be another Mount Fun Monday, but um, it is supposed to be a sponsored Final Fantasy fourteen stream. Uh, I just haven't changed the calendar yet because I haven't signed the contract yet. And from my perspective, until the contract is signed, it's not happening. So uh, it's it's in the in the works. It's being planned. I uh, still need that contract though. So that is the idea. Uh, something else that's uh, kind of something that should probably know is uh, May thirtieth, which is all the way up the top there because I ran out of space. Um, May 30th is a Mount Fun Monday, uh, but it's also going to be a charity stream. I'm going to be raising funds for War Child UK, which is a charity that provides services and help and, and whatever kids need, uh, kids who are affected by war. Uh, they're quite active in Ukraine at the moment, and they've got a few other pockets of the world where they've been helping out a lot of kids who are affected by war, because war is hell, and growing up in it would be even worse. Um, in addition, because it is a UK charity and it is during the month of May, any donations that originate from the UK for that for this entire month uh, to War Child UK will be matched pound for pound by the United Kingdom government, which is really freaking awesome. So I know that occasionally I pop up on the EU launcher. I'm kind of hoping that maybe that happens that day um, so that we can promote that and, and maybe get them some, some more dosh because, I mean... Look, everything in this world takes money, uh, even, you know, the good shit, uh, especially the good shit sometimes. So that is, that is what's going on there. Um, um, hello, Jabba, what UI am I using? LVI. Thank you, dupe. Uh, that's how I found you. Oh, no way, Watlin, there you go. Well, thank you so much for being here. Awesome. Thank you. You're very welcome, Jabba. I hope you're having a, a lovely day. Uh, but I'm going to see you on Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and thank you so much to everyone who jumped through and followed on Instagram. We've hit 1035, 1035 followers on Insta, which is amazing. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so thankful. You guys are just so good. Uh, y you're awesome. You're super, super awesome. Thank you. And spread the word. Let's, let's make the number get bigger. Cause, uh, that's how I become full time. I'd like to be full time. That's the dream. So let's see how we go with that. Um, Uh, it's great. It is great. Yeah. Um, so that was held because sexual, but, um, yeah, match pound for pound. Yeah. So that's the, the UK government are going to be chipping in money to the charities. It's like, it's a, a push that they're doing for May or something to try to encourage charitable donations or something. I'm not exactly sure how it's working over there, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty bloody awesome. Well, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. We're going to raid closure. Grab your copy paste. If you do not have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you're not a subscriber or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, both of which are totally fine, you can still grab uh, the entire copy paste, copy and paste it, delete the Fiamma hype and then replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, uh, and then toss it into Closure's chat. Give him some love, he's doing some Mythic Plus, he's mid-dungeon, he's in Tazvesh, we're gonna scare the pants off of him, and it's gonna be hilarious. Let's see if we can make him whack. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I hope he succeeds. Fear. What? 137. What? Huh? What's 137? Did you miss a zero? No, what are you? Huh? Followers on Instagram. No, I've just refreshed. It says 1035. I am following 137 people. Maybe I need to close the app. I don't know. It's not what it bats, okay. Yeah, I did, were you looking at the wrong number? You absolutely were, good. <laughs> <laughs> good, all right. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'm gonna see you on Wednesday. All the love, Mwah. bye guys.